Hi, chat. Hello, chat. How do you do, chat? All right, let's see here. What are creepy playlist going? All right, so hello, hello, hello. I apologize. Game is super loud. Excuse me. Oh, I, I was like, what do you mean? It's muted. <laughs> um, yes, I am aware. I am aware. I have already launched the game. I have got my settings set up. I have figured it out ahead of time. You frightened me, Tato. Don't do that. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry it's so late. These guys just wanted to degen with their schedules. So, uh, here we are. Very late, but tomorrow's schedule should be normal. Um, yeah, me and Harms took advantage of the day and, uh, went and, and played with the RC car a little bit at the park and then uh went and got over on some goodies at the pet store so that's what i have done we watched the new ant-man movie as well but tomorrow tomorrow's schedule should be normal and the rest of this week should be normal i don't think i have anything coming up elsewise so should should be hopefully better um i was feeling better today um still a bit of a cough but much improved from last week um yeah also thank you winter And Soltastic, thank you for the gifted sub, by the way. So yeah, we're just kind of uh, chilling for a second and waiting until it's time. Jenny said she needed some time to get started, so we'll wait for her. And then I think Chris is ready. I don't know about Christopher. But we're doing state police game night. We've got a Jenny Bear who plays uh, Peach. We have Chris Tombstone who plays Flop. And Christopher Yee who plays Kachow. So that's our plan for today. And we're playing the Outlast Trials. Uh, I have no idea what this is about so um yeah i know it's gonna be scary jimothy thank you for the two gifted subs i appreciate that Uh, I did not play the tutorial. I didn't know if there was, like, something I needed to do ahead of time. I played the intro. Uh, up until the point that it let me move, which 
at that point I was like, okay, I better wait. Okay, let's see. Do you have to play the tutorial before you can join friends or how does that work? Sharing some of the birthday bounty. Happy. <coughs> oh god. I'm gonna cough. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Happy heckin' birthday. Oh boy. I'm in for it. Is it late for me? It's about 8.30. PM. So not terribly late, but it will be once we're done, I think. It's okay, though. Gonna be great nothing will go wrong <laughs> considering how my playthroughs of the other outlast games went i'm just not sure if uh it's gonna go well but that's okay hey darth I'm good, how are you? That's okay, Liam Wire. I appreciate you being here anyway. We're just giving some time for people to trickle in and for the other chuckleheads to get ready. You got your beyond energy? Good. Oh, mini moo, really? Golly, I just cleaned the litter box like right before starting the stream and he just he definitely just went in there and pooped. And he didn't bury it. Oh, that stinks, man. Why are you like this? He's awful. He, he prefers the potty pads, too. When he goes, and it's just like... I just changed those out, man. It was all nice and clean and didn't stink in here. <laughs> it smells like poop.
anyway, how's everybody else's date going? Anybody do anything fun today? We went out to the park and drove the RC car around and, uh... I ran it into some rocks and I broke it. Oops. Didn't he just fix it? Yes, he did. Um, so he was going out today to test it to see if the fix worked. And I think something, the rear differential was, there was a problem with it. And so he had confirmed that before I fully broke it, but I was driving it when it finally pooped out, so. Your husband took you to get crumble cookies. Oh man. Were they good? What kind did you get? Family barbecue later, so needed to charge up your batteries today. That's good. Had the new Oreo pastry from Papa John's. I need to know what that is. Hold on. What is that? Is it the Oreo bites? Oh God. Sweet bites of Oreo cookie wrapped in our original fresh dough drizzled in icing. Baked fresh and served with cream cheese icing dipping sauce. Yeah, they do look dangerous. <laughs> I feel like I would not be okay after that. They remind me of fried Oreos. That's probably how they taste, too. They don't taste like fried Oreos? Interesting. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can join this call. It might be loud, so I apologize. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm capable of playing this game. I I know me too, what I'm. Me too. I, I'm not scared. I know what I'm doing. Oh hey. Nikita? Nikita! Hello? Hey. hey! Hey! 
Hey. <laughs> we were just talking about Chris here being super not scared. Prepared. Oh, oh Chris yeah. is not scared. That's yeah. interesting. I'm excited. I'm 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 prepared for this. I've never been more excited in my life. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The uh, the the beginning scared me enough that I jumped out of my seat with a loud noise, and then that was the end of it. So, I'm in for the long haul at this point. How do I change my push to talk button? On Discord or in the game? In the game. Okay. Uh, go to settings and then con. Was it control? Uh, controls. Oh, key bindings. I yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh. <laughs> There we go. So is is there like a is is this beginning part like a like a a single player part or something? Um, I don't know. I think they might have a tutorial that we have to complete first, but I don't know if we can do it together or if we all have to do it ourselves. I think we have to do it ourselves from what I'm looking at, maybe. Have you guys done uh, it? I'm doing it right now. Um, yeah, I've done the tutorial already, but you guys, you guys can go ahead. Okay. I have a quick question. How do I use this website you shared so that I could show, like, the things, Jenny? Oh, I'm sorry? How do I do the thing that you... Okay, so once you go on the website, um, you're going to go ahead and log into your Discord. And then that. after that, um, you can edit your pictures and so on if you like. Um, and then one for idle, one for when you're talking. And then after that, over on the left, there should be like browser source yep. options. Um, if you click the group one, um, you'll get everybody in the Discord call. Um, or unless you want individual. Um, individuals like that way you have one picture, not a line. So then you'll have to add three different individual. Chat, yeah. she's so quiet. I pictures. Just do the group one. I don't know. Hey, okay. <laughs> going. What's up? Hey. Hey. I can't hear anyone. That's 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 good. Perfect. That's... Great start. We're off to a wonderful is... start. This is good. Okay. No, that's cool. I can't. I have Tato. I, I guess she's, well, we have the she's sitting at 145% right now. Kachow. Oh my god. She is so you... quiet. Meta? Huh? What? No. You're ruining my immersion. No, no, no. I, I... Now that you've said that, you have to do the opposite. Oh, I think that's better. Uh, I mean, what day are we going to rehire Kachow? Mind? <laughs> Do I have to climb? Oh, no. Oh, I'm... Listen, I, I'm, I'm going to be real. My situational awareness is fucked. So, this, this is going to be a... Uh, this is going to be a good one. Okay, I'm going to do the tutorial real quick, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. I'm a... I'm a... Okay, I'll be here. Okay, sweet. Okay. Oh, hello? Hello? Hey, um, Nikina and Chris are going to do the tutorial. I don't know if he can hear us. Okay, I'm so sorry. Give me a second. I literally can't hear anyone. Uh -oh. oh, wait, so uh -oh. apparently he, chat like can... It, Ooh. This one is yours. I'm chat sorry? Knows the meta. Wow. Apparently his chat knows the meta it's now. Myself. Apparently chat can hear us, but he can't hear us. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, a room where you can absorb the hard lessons of the trials. Okay, I'm gonna mute for a sec. Oh, I can customize my cell. Oh, cute. Wow. I don't know if you guys want me to like play the intro and stuff. It's kind of long. Did 
do it. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> I need to turn the volume different? I don't know. It's a rat! It's Tiny Pete's. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm gonna restart my computer because I don't okay. know why. I oh, wait, no, now I can hear you. Oh. What the fuck? Did wait, you restart can... Discord? Yeah, but I couldn't yeah. hear you when I first restarted. Now I can hear you. I don't oh, see an Akita in this call. Oh, uh, she's here. Wait, she is? Yeah. Uh-oh. Wait, is Wait, Akita are you just, here? Can you hear how me? How about we end the call? She's right here. The Akita is here. I, I don't even see her icon in Discord. I, okay, why don't we just end the call? Oh. Uh. I see her in the <laughs> Oh, I forgot. I blocked all the admins and staff. So. No, no, no. I actually I can't. Oh I, I can't see her. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I I oh literally I no 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 I can't I can't see her I go to Discord I only see you two I don't see her you can, you can um retry again in three days shut the fuck um we I can't see her okay, I'm not I, tell him I'll rejoin it. Oh, After I, I finish the I can hear. Thing. No, I can hear. I can hear. Oh. I don't see oh, her okay. profile, but I can hear her. Okay. Well, I'm watching the intro thing, and I have to do the tutorial. Okay. Okay. I'll just, you know, I'll just restart. Are we good? Yeah. No, yeah. It, who cares? I, it's fine. Restart one more time. You know what? Restart the call. How about we just restart the call? Okay. I can't do that right now. I'm, I'm in the thing. We'll do it after. We'll do it after. We'll do, we'll do it after. It after. Sorry. I'm doing the tutorial and I'm scared. Oh, I'm gonna scare you. No, you can't. This is, it's kind of, there's a crying, like, baby. No, that's just Jenny. What? Oh, this is pleasant. Oh. Oh my. Don't be afraid. I want you to know that you're safe. My name is oh, watch out, chat. Juliet Easterman, and I'm your friend. I'm your help. The gods are cruel. More than dreadful. But at the end of this journey, you'll be reborn. A whole new you. Oh, we're all going to get this right then. Together. It's all right here. Yeah. These are all the belongings recovered from your person. This is a collection of your public records, along with the investigatory information about your private Hello. life. Hello. Oh, you've got some secrets, don't you? Naughty. As the restraints make a signature impossible, please acknowledge that you consent to these collections. Oh, that's... Yep, that's definitely not consent. Thing, to be honest. That's not enough. Go for that type. That's not Hi. enough, sir. Okay. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, okay. It's gonna be that kind of game. Oh dear. Tell me, friend. Who is it you oh. think you are? Uh, I already did this, so we'll pick that. And the hair is right. Hi.
Oh my. <laughs> oh, I can see my feet. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I should be without shoes in here. That's... It's a bit... A bit gross. There's people down there. Um, okay. Is the sound too loud, chat? Do I need to adjust? Okay, night vision consumes battery. Oh, they're mannequins. <laughs> okay, I hear things. I don't like it. Yeah, well, I've already forgotten the night vision number or, or key. I don't know how to turn it off. Since no one's telling me what it is, I'm gonna figure out what it is. F. Ah. I feel tall. I feel like I'm I'm extra tall. <laughs> Hello. Wow, you're doing a great job, Chris. <laughs> I don't know why my computer's just having a million issues right now. I don't like this game. You don't like this game? Why? Okay, I don't like that. You'll be fine. Or whatever that is. Oh! Playroom? Okay. Before you could even speak, you had instincts. A primal you. Those are an animal's instincts. You have to forget them. Uh. 
add an app to the title it'll show their info um i'm gonna have to do that in a minute that's a hand this already oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay 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 oh no oh no <laughs> Wow. crying out loud.
you know, it, there's just something tells me. I don't want to go that way. And that's just, you know, a hunch that I have. That it's not a good idea. Um. Oh. Look, lady, do you have any other direction we can go? I just don't want to go that way. Oh. No, oh. 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 <laughs> I hate that. I hate it. Oh, that's nasty. Have I tried telling it I have a gun? I don't have a gun though. That only works if you have a gun. Oh, nah. Nah. I'm good. I'm good. We're gonna go back this way. Nah. Oh. I hate it. I, I hate everything. Oh, no. What is that? What is that? I don't like it. <clears throat> okay. Hey, is that an apple? Is, is that an app? Is that for me? I don't really want that. I, I, uh, uh, okay, that door's not an option. Oh, okay. I just, I, re oh, <laughs> what is this me? Oh. <laughs> Ew. Yes, yes, Poor fishy. I wish I could help, but I'm the size of this thing up my tuckers. I don't think we're all Oh. That's nothing compared to what you're gonna get. I'm just gonna grind out all those sweet bits and rotten bits so they can put in something better! Ah. Ew! Oh, how are you gonna do me like that? That was mean. Okay. Cool. <gasps> a ducky. Can I bring him with me? Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah! Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> okay. I don't know what you guys were worried about. So it's alright. It's just a little bit of a... You just... You know. I hear a gosling. Oh. I a jostling. Oh. I don't want it. I don't want it. No.
you so thank you for the uh four months I can't even join a voice call in Discord now. What Hello? We can hear hey, you. Chris, can you hear? Hello? I can hear him. Chris? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I knew this game was a little funky. I, I the see your guys' I... things lighting up, but I can't fucking hear anything. <laughs> and my stream's going to, like, fucking two frames. I'm about to scream. And I tested this off stream, too. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't think it's the game. The game I, it is. It's definitely the game. What are you talking about? I don't think it's the game. Oh my god! It totally is. I'm having. You, I you mean, you saw that pop up, right? It's just a driver thing. Yeah, he. Yeah. So Christopher, you updating the drivers. I didn't do it because I was like, oh, I have a 390. I didn't want to risk it. I, love makes you weak. I, I don't I'm know. just. Go. I'm just saying. I, I don't. I don't think it's. I. I don't. I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Okay. It's not the game. Most games. It is a game. I don't think it is. It is a game. I don't know. Well, let me tell you. I. I don't know. I, maybe he needs to uninstall. Or his drivers. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to call reschedule. Cause I, I feel bad. I think we'll have to reschedule. Um. Sometime this week. Go away. I mean, I'm open that um, and it's tomorrow or Thursday. Works for me as well. Yeah, it looks like Christopher is struggling. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't know why. I mean, yeah, yeah. So why don't we schedule for a Wednesday or Thursday? Ignore what he has to see in the chat. I would like all of us to play together. Mm hmm. <laughs> I, um, it ain't evil. damn, I know, I you know. get, you, you're getting, you're getting called out too. Okay. What are you, hello? Getting called out. Okay, well, I'm. Well, we can't. I want to play with Chris too. I mean, I, I, I agree. Bye. Uh, 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 I'm just saying, it's a little bold that he's saying, knowing Jenny, she's going to come up with any excuse not to play. But I, to call out, isn't he coming up with all these excuses not to play right now? Exactly. Why is there stamina? I'm saying. Oh, he's a tech guy. Where is that? He's got computers and keywords. Just saying. When baby listens to the voices on the radio and doesn't listen to mother. I don't know. I was just reading what chat said. A child. When babies are bad, mother gets disappointed. Like help her with the suggest. Um, let, me, let me see. Let me see what he's going through. Hold on. Um, well, I, it definitely has to be the driver that he installed. Um, I think he has like a 3070 <coughs> that he's playing games on. But the thing is, with this for being there, I was in a Discord call with him earlier um, to set up my settings. Everything. You see and what like happens he when children try to grow up before their time. Well. So, <sighs> I don't know. Can I leave? Fine. After Outlast Trials. Ooh, I don't know. It's not, it's not looking good for him. So, he had it working before? Well, no. He didn't really do anything. Uh, oh, can his chat hear us? God. Oh, is he... Oh, can his chat? Good question. Let me take a look. L let me know. Let me know if his chat can hear. Hold on. Yep. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. 
They can hear you? Okay. Okay. Um. I'm pulling up his stream. The, oh, yeah. He's got they, his head to... I, I, he, he's I see him. A, I see he's him. having a breakdown. Yeah. He's having yeah. a breakdown on stream. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, he's, How? he's got his hands in his eyes. He's about to gouge his eyeballs out. I, I think he's just moving his... I think he's moving his glasses so he can wipe his face. Um, I... I'm trying to think. I don't think yeah. the driver thing would have caused anything with his Discord. <laughs> the... Sorry, I wasn't, la I wasn't laughing at what you had to say. Um, I was just laughing at a Chad's comment. Saying to walk away. Mm. I'm gonna be real. I don't think we plan on using Discord. I, I think we're gonna end up using the in-game VoIP. Oh, he, oh wait, I forgot. I think he can hear us. Okay, chat can hear. What do you mean Jenny was talking shit? I wasn't talking shit at all. I don't think either of us were talking shit to be fair. Jeez. <laughs> um. Mm. Oh, okay. Damn, yeah, chat's issues. ruthless. It's gonna be the death of us. Um, yeah, why don't we? I mean, if anything, I don't mind rescheduling for tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, that I would me. have to see if I'm around, but I'm sure we could figure it out. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to um, think what to try. <laughs> um. Did, when he did his test, do you know if he updated his drivers prior? Like, like did yeah, he... Yeah. Um, yeah, he updated his drivers. And it was working fine? Oh, I don't know. If it was working fine, just because... Um, oh, I see what he's saying. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to try something real quick. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. So is it just Discord that he's having an issue with? No, like... The his game game's too. dying. Um, also, Weird. Discord. Um, Discord's dying. Too Land, well. thank you for the six gifted. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I mean, we're not going to be using Discord. I don't think very much, to be honest. That's true. I wonder true. if we. I wonder if we do a. Uh... Let me try calling him separately and see what happens. Um, okay. I mean, that worked earlier. Uh, let me go do that. Yeah, let him know in his chat real quick. That's weird. Because if that's working, then... What the I heck? don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, oh. It's, it's one thing to get the, uh, the Discord working, but I guess this game's running at like two frames, which I don't understand why that's a thing. Jeremy, thank you for the four months. Oh my god. So 
he can't even hear me as well. Um, doesn't look too good for him today at all. I think I think we should reschedule. Good job. Uh, I would have to see when I'm around. It's who the world okay. thinks you are. Okay. I'm gonna finish. Yeah, I'm gonna finish the tutorial at the minimum. Um. Free yourself. I think. I would tell him to just restart his Discord again. But outside of, I think the Discord stuff is completely. I'm gonna be honest. That that's that's his computer. That's something going on there. Yeah. The the game. If he tried it with the driver already and it was working, and now it is no longer working. I don't know. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. Yeah. Do you know if you if you run the uh, a dual PC setup? Yeah, he does. Yeah, there's no reason why his game should be running at two FPS then. Yeah. No, I'm watching him have a mental breakdown right now. No, I know. I I I was I was watching before. He's uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, poor Chris. Um, I think. Yeah, I think we should just reschedule. To be honest. Um, and. We'll try again next time. All nice. Right. It happens. I... It happens. But I still want to play with all of you guys. So, uh, let me know. Sounds when. good. Um, I know you guys are like night owls. So, um, I wasn't going to, to do nesting. Um, <laughs> let me know. Um, like I said, Wednesday or Thursday will work best for me this week. Oh, okay. Um, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, sounds good, Matina. Maybe. Sorry, hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm gonna stay on the call. I. I will. I. I will pass it along. I. Oh my guys. I. Oh. Check your schedule. Let, let know. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. I will let you know. No, this isn't fair. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Nikita, you got this. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I hate everything. What part are you at right now? I don't know what. <laughs> Explain. I have a box and I need to like bring it somewhere, but I, <laughs> if there's a guy and I had to drop the box, I don't even know where I dropped it. I'm in a closet. I have a question. What? Are you at the first box or the second box? What? <laughs> Oh no! Because I'm on the second I hate box it. right now. <laughs> as soon as I picked it up and I saw it was so slow, I got scared. Is no an option? <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate about, uh, tonight. I wish I'd started oh. my stream sooner if that was the case. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd still be down to try a two-player co-op if you wanted to still kind of run it back. I'd still be interested. No, we can wait. I'll, okay. uh, I'll figure something out. Okay. I mean, unless you, you have something else in mind, I'm still down to try something else if, if you have something else in mind. Mm, I'll probably get on an RP or something. I gotcha. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll switch back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it through this tutorial at the minimum. This is, uh, oh, yeah, I want to try, but I'm scared. If, if uh, I'll say this, if I give up on this now, there's no hope for me. I know I do. I do a lot better when there's like actual co-op going on. So do I, um, single player. So stuff this is hard. Is, yeah. Single player stuff is horrifying. This is, this is not helping. Wait, does she see me? No, 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 no. Uh, 
Core Loss, thank you for the two heckin' years. Oh, oh, oh. How do I get past that guy? Oh, oh! I'll make it in here. There's glass? I didn't see any glass. What do you mean? This? I thought that was papers. Okay. Oh ma'am. Oh ma'am. Oh ma'am. Okay. Listen. Listen. We can we can have a discussion. Or not. Uh well, I guess this was where I was supposed to go. psychosis and I need to find an antidote. Ah! Ah! No! Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. Hello. Can I have that? Thank you. I'd like to consume this. Okay. That's cool. Oh. All right. Easy. On your deathbed, uh. what guilt and shame will haunt you? This box contains a careful investigation of your private life. The things you thought were secret. Destroy it. Free yourself. I gotta find the grindy box, the grindy box, grindy box. I gotta find the grindy box. I think it's over here. Hello? Hello? Uh, 
Okay. No. I got the second box. And now she's out there and I'm scared. And I'm hiding. Oh. Well, I got great news. What? You know what? You're you're gonna do fine. What you're do, do you mean? You're gonna do great. I'm so proud of you. Hear her yelling. You want me to be honest with you? I don't know. <laughs> if you like the honest answer, I can give you the honest answer. I think the worst part is I think I ran the opposite way I was supposed to and now she's like in the way. Um, you could say that. What do you mean? Well, you didn't necessarily run in the right direction. No. You ran, you kind of ran backwards, <laughs> but you know. I think you, I'm going to be blunt with you. This was the worst part of the entire tutorial. Okay, color me surprised. I think I did it. Oh, you did it. If you if you knew what I did, I ringed out cleared and ready. There was a lot of screaming. That's all I'll say. There was a lot of screaming. Um, I can tell this game is going to be very good in co-op. <laughs> Yay, we did the tutorial. So the ending there, I thought was you hit the button and I thought this it was an elevator. elevator. <laughs> I thought you had to wait. After each trial, I'll assess your progress. 
guiding you through recovery and growth. Know that you're special. You're loved. You're worth our effort. You have to trust that we wouldn't have chosen you if you didn't deserve to be here. Please, explore what? the sleep room. This is your neighborhood. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Okay, it just it put me in a game with a bunch of random people. That was not yep. what I wanted. Yeah, no, that 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 yeah. It it did that with me as well. Um Yeah, so you actually made us through that end part a lot easier than I did. I she was like camping that door and I literally had to like bait her out, run around a table run to the button, press the button, run around her, hide. She went back to the door and camped it. I had to bait her back out, and then I had to scream my way all the way to the door. I didn't realize it just opened instantly. <laughs> There's a lot of screaming, and there were almost tears involved. Um, so, yeah. Now we would be able to get together and play. Yeah. Um, which I guess we'll do another day. I yeah. The Jenny mentioned Thursday. Do you think you would be able to Thursday? Uh, I can give it a shot. Okay. I wish it was um, a little earlier. I'll be honest with you. I could probably pull off a little earlier. Um, I can't promise much earlier, but I can promise a little earlier. That would probably be better. Only if you can. I don't want to make you. Um, the only reason I can't do a lot earlier is because with my schedule, I'm usually waking up at like five or six o'clock. And I usually try and give myself a couple hours before I start the day or I guess the night. All right. So that's why I, I, I try to not pull it too far from everybody. But if I have to, I, I will. Um, I'll figure it out. All right, well, I'm going to get on RP. I think I'm going to do the same. Good. All right. Well, Goodbye. I will. Bye. I, I will talk to you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Later. Later. Bye. All right, so it sounds like Christopher was having some major, major issues. I don't know if he's going to be able to sort them out, but we will see. Hopefully, maybe Thursday, it sounds like. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out, but I'm sorry, guys. I know it was a late start. I thought things would be okay, but sometimes these things happen. So what I'll do is we'll just finish the night out with a little bit of RP and see what we can get done instead. So I didn't really have a plan for anything else. The laptop's still not really uh, good to go, so we have to wait on that. I can't do any IRL stream stuff. Yeah, he's got some stuff he's got to figure out because it sounds like it's more than just the game. I, I'm not really sure he was having trouble with his whole computer, it sounded like. But that's okay. Let me get um everything in order.
Oh, it was something at the train station, Mr. Waterlington. I don't really know. Actually, here's what we'll do. Okay. We'll just do one of these. So I think regardless of uh, what happens, we should probably have them do a test to see if uh, he can get his game sorted out next time before we schedule anything. It sucks to have technical problems when you schedule something like that. I feel bad. <clears throat> yeah, we have some text, I think.
Change to corporal stripes. Corporal one scuff. I don't know why. At least on this shirt. I haven't watched no pics in a while, still laugh every time you think of the clip where you said, uh, I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm gonna need backup. <laughs> was that when there was like a bunch of people in the, uh, motor pool? <laughs> And then there wasn't any backup to to arrive, so I had to like just leave. So I was like, I'm not dealing with that by myself. <laughs> What am I missing? I have my IFAX, taser and cartridges, gun and ammo. Radio watch. Is it bad that I don't remember this? Typical Tessa, yeah.
This is honestly an S tier character, and her wholesome nature gives me faith in humanity. <laughs> well, thank you, Solo Chips. Oh man, Patrick just being the MVP as always. Spoke with Steven, found out what happened. It was literally so small that I offered to hire him back. <laughs> he must have gotten a ticket or something and he freaked out. Typical Steven. See what Eric did. Reckless evading. Okay. So that's what it's warrants for, but he also had Grand Theft Auto the day before. And he helped on a boost? Oh my god, he's a menace. He's a menace. It's okay, let's see. Let's see.
see if Kermie's gotten up to anything recently. This thing was four months ago. I think I was involved in this. Yeah. Nothing too recent, but still pretty bad. This was a bad incident. Yeah, I don't know. Eric's been... Eric's been a bit naughty lately. <laughs> it's okay, Tato. I contemplated asking, but then I figured I'd just do it. things up from Big White, right? Um, most likely, there's going to be two suspects that are down on the top of that building that's between me and Yupon. And then there's probably some from the suspect that was down at the Big White as well. <coughs> um, do we have to hold these people in holding? or need to talk to Avery. Like times felony obstruction possession is fine for everyone but Peter, he said. Oh, they're getting... Look at your obstruction. That'll just add obstruction onto yeah, theirs because obstruction, they obstructed eight it. Times attempted, uh, accomplice, and then possession. Yeah. Okay, copy that. And Peter also gets ruckus evading. Blah, 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 blah. evidence see how this guy's been trying to hurry in yeah you're fine pretty covered got a lot of officers on scene we we'll give it a big white now to collect evidence from up there come on do you want to collect the evidence on the building that's between us before big white uh, the red different. one uh it's the one that you just passed if you go right, right back where we were and then to your directly to your left a ladder uh yeah so to your right now in that alleyway and then left on your left Vlad. What's the ladder? Uh, it's directly we're gonna have to talk to Avery. There's gonna be two, two, two suspects that were down on that building. One on the south side, and one on the north side. One's right when you climb up the ladder, and one's all the way to the north. 
Uh, if he keeps uh, threatening, though, I mean, I don't give a fuck, I'll just fucking clap him again. Yeah, we need to know her side of this because uh, I ha I have this weird sinking feeling that um, whoever attacked DOC might have been making up some lies. I, I don't know, but we'll see. Hey. Uh, hello? Hi. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you for a sec. Oh, it's okay, I just said hey, so I guess I didn't say it loud enough. Oh dear, we're two peas in a pot, aren't we? Are you okay? I you could sit down and then, well, I just got shot, like... Oh, jeez, okay. okay. I went to the hospital, so we're okay. Alright, so... You've been called to the captain's office. Now... I think I have an idea of what it's about, but I could be completely off. Okay, well, why don't you tell me what you think it's about, and it about we'll go Sarah? from there. The what? Is it about Sarah? Sarah? Okay, no, it's not about her. Never mind, I have no idea what it's about. Is that your friend? Yes, the, the friend who you and... Uh, Tommy were fishing. Malarkey, fishing. yes. Yeah, yes. she was very strange. She was acting odd. I can tell you about that, but I want to hear what you have to say first, so. Well, no, it, just, it wasn't really about that. Either. It's a whole other situation I was calling you here for, but. Yes. Um, so, there was a situation um, at the prison. And I've been made aware that something was going on up there. That resulted in a Department of Corrections officer getting attacked. Uh, the names I was given were uh, Alicia DeWitt, your name, and I think one other person was involved? Yes. Do you have any recollection of what happened there? Yeah. Yeah. Can you run me through kind of what went down? Because I'm, I'm hearing one thing, and I just want to hear it from you to see what you had to say. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, it was me, Alicia, and Perry, I believe, uh, were down at the prison. Yeah. And we were just all writing together, kind of talking with the... Oh my goodness, I don't remember what gang it was. But it was maybe... May Can you remind me which gang it was? It was Mayhem, yes. Mayhem, okay. And, um, they were messing around, and it was something, like, pretty much people were making jokes back and forth with each other, like, everybody was just kind of having a good time, you know, in the, in the visitation center. And I don't remember what the joke was, but they said at one point, if, one of the guys said, if you call me that one more time, um, we're gonna beat up the DOC person. And, uh... We didn't call him that, but somebody from his gang ended up calling him that anyway, like to egg him on, who was outside the prison with us. And then they punched the DOC. And then after that, um, Leisha ran into the uh, visitation part, like through the locked door. And I just kind of followed her in there. And so that it was two versus two. And they were just kind of punching her for a second. And I was just kind of watching. And then, because um, it was, I don't know how to say this. They were just kind of having a good time, which I know sounds really weird when you're punching each other. Yeah. Um, but then um, why they were being punchy and having a good time, somebody came over radio asking for DOC. And we were on the DOC channel, and I said, hold up on sending somebody up. Uh, that, like, there's a situation, like, there's a fist fight happening. And they said, do you need 77s? And I said, no, we're good. Which, I'm granted, we probably should have said yes, but at that time, we weren't taking it. We were just kind of all... Anyway, um, we hadn't ever yeah. left visitation. We were still, like, in the visitation front side room. And um, 
they end up like getting more serious and they're like, hey, kind of stop, guys. We can't go down. We can't punch each other down. And then they punch her down. So I pull out my gun and I shoot him and he goes down so that he's no longer a threat. And then I help the DOC guy up and I help them get medical and I say on radio that it's code four. And then and then we took them all to medical and the DOC handled the situation. Okay. Um so from your recollection, was the DOC in the room the whole time when you guys were all talking or what happened there? Yeah, no, he was there with us the whole time. And then he was watching the fist fight happen. So they punched the DOC <sighs> down and then I think they took him into the side room and that's why Leisha ran in. She was like, you're not taking that DOC out of our sight. Um, you know, because we thought they were just, she was just yeah. going to punch him down and then help him to her feet. But he went and then that's when she ran in. And I'm not going to lie, I did think for a second, do we need backup? But then she ran in with him, and I also ran in. And yeah. There was other stuff happening in the city, and my initial thought was, we don't need to call everybody off of their current scenes for this. I was very confident with our two pistols, we could win a fist fight. But I understand that that's wrong. So. Okay. So the way it was kind of relayed to me was that you all were there egging them on, and they got mad, they were annoyed, they said, call me that one more time, and then I think they got called that one more time, and then they attacked the OC. Um, yeah, no, 100%, um, we weren't, I wouldn't say egging, I guess, okay, I guess you could say that. The, we were throwing insults back and forth at each other. Uh, we have a pretty good relationship with Mayhem. There was about five people of Mayhem gang outside of the prison, like in our side of visitation with us. And inside there were two Mayhem guys in the DOC. And at one point the guy inside says, if you call me that one more time, I think it had something to do with him smelling bad or poop. I honestly don't remember the exact phrase. Okay. Um, then I'm going to beat up DOC. And we're like, all right, don't call him that. We won't do that. And that's when the other Mayhem members went ahead and said, oh, well, we're going to call him that anyway. And so his own gang called him that. And then in retaliation, they beat up the DOC. So you're, you're egging it on and, and insulting and stuff had stopped at that point? Yeah, I mean... Once you were asked you know to me, stop, you I was you never stopped. actually insulting. I was just there. Okay. Um... I mean, and they, I do you remember who insults. was who was saying it? Too. What? Do you remember who was saying stuff? I mean, everybody was. Okay. Yeah. But I think the point is, when you were asked to stop, you stopped. Is that correct? Yeah, all three officers did. We all stopped. We we're like, okay. okay. Yeah, we were like, don't you know, don't hurt the DOC. Like, don't you know? Was the DOC uh, participating? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I guess, yeah. To my knowledge, we were all just kind of waiting for their time to be up. Like, we were just, I don't know. It was kind of just banter between you guys? Yeah, banter between it, and then it did escalate. Nobody nobody was being mean or, or like... Not to my knowledge. It, everybody was laughing and, like, having a good time. Although, granted, the DOC may not have been. I will say he wasn't, like, super talkative during the whole thing. Okay. But he also didn't have to be in the room. Like, he was choosing to be there because those were the two in the prison with us. So. Were there any other DOC around at the time? I don't think so. No, because nobody called out okay. when he got punched. He also didn't hit his Bravo or anything when he got punched. Or maybe he did. I don't. Yeah. That's okay. It's been a little bit. Um... Okay. I kind of just wanted to get your side of it because uh, I'm being told one story and I, personally, I don't see you as the type of person to go and just be uh, instigating things. And if that was happening, you know, I don't think that it was meant to escalate in that way. And it sounds to me like you guys realized what was going on, and you stopped, and something still happened anyway. Uh, I'll have to speak with the individual that got attacked, because I think they might have been the one who brought this to our attention. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so I, mean, I kind of want to get like, their story as well to see why they're upset, uh, per se. Um, I will understand. Okay, I do understand where the DOC is coming from in a sense of he got punched down and we went inside and we had a fist fight for a while. If that makes sense versus immediately it may be, shooting yeah. them and then getting the DOC up. So I can see where we'd 100% be at fault for that. We left him down maybe two minutes versus just going in there and shooting within 20 seconds. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So maybe it was the that, afterwards yeah. part that they're I don't, annoyed I, by? I don't know. I can't, I can't speak for him or what he's mad about or the situation. Okay. So, yeah. I just I could understand from his point of view, if I got beat down and I watched two police officers then get in a fist fight in a situation that I thought was serious, then... Instead of just shooting them, like I, I can understand that. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, I'll follow up on this. Um, I know that uh, Libby was looking into it on her end because she, I think two of her officers were involved. So uh, uh, she only SDSO. brought it to me because it was you. Uh, they were SDSO. They were. Perry and Leisha. Yeah, Perry and Leisha are both. Oh, okay. SDSO. Yeah. Maybe I'll mention it to Toretti or uh, Shelby. Um, but yeah, that's, um, kind of all I needed. I just wanted your side, uh, cause I don't, I, I'm a trust but verify kind of person. And if someone's telling me one story, I'm not just going to immediately believe it. So I wanted to hear it from you and see exactly what you think happened. And, you know, your perception of what went on might've been different from everyone else's. So, um, we're going to talk to the other people involved and see kind of, how we can maybe prevent this from happening again, because uh, yeah. I think DOC have been feeling a little bit uh, abused lately, and um, for good reason. Uh, they have been neglected, and I'm trying to kind of help uh, alleviate some of those issues. So if there's a, a policy we need to update, maybe, or... You know, when stuff like that happens, I, I want to make sure that we can figure it out and help them out. Okay. Um, I'm learning I should just stay away from the prison. Because <laughs> both times I've been in trouble has been because the DOC supported me. Um, yeah, well, I wouldn't take no, that. Um, I wouldn't take it that way. I would just say, you know. No, no, that know. was a joke. I would just, um. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, I actually... I'm trying now because you mentioned it. I'm trying to look at it from the DOC point of view. He wasn't actually talking that much in the situation. It was kind of us as the officers having fun with mayhem, and he was just kind of there, if I'm remembering correctly. And then I think yeah. he kind of got the blunt end of it where he got punched. And then, but also, I don't know. Okay, so I wouldn't have rushed in like Leisha did. I would have waited if I was leading and called for help is what I would have done, and got additional units there and then breached together. But she ran in, and I wasn't going to let her run in alone. Yeah. And then after that, I kind of kept with the theme of joking around and let their fist fight play out um, because I was in the mindset of helping, like, enjoying it with the mayhem, but I should have considered DOC more, and I should have immediately then shot them down and not let that play out. Yeah. Because DOC could have been in serious pain. So I will admit, I did not consider the DOC's thoughts in that moment, and that was wrong of me. Well, I appreciate your perspective on that, and I will uh, pass along your sentiments to them so that they know, you know, it, it wasn't meant to have escalated that way, and I don't think that was your intention. Um, but yeah, I think probably in the future, if something does happen like that, I would definitely get a couple officers on it. Uh, especially, did you know if there were any other DLC or any inmates, uh, inside? Um, I knew there were no other inmates, because I had checked the list. Okay. So I knew there was only two. We were the only people in the prison. Okay. So, I, I don't think that call was the worst. Um, you know, especially since someone else ran in before you. I think backing them up first was probably the priority. Um, I probably would have called for some backup, just because I don't like going in the prison without people knowing that I'm going in the prison. Um, because it's kind of a, a weird... Uh, it's not our territory, yeah. And yeah, it's, don't I, I don't want to say it's okay. no man's land, but it, 
it's sort of DLC's purview and uh, my priority would be contacting other DLC if they were around, if possible, and then if not, I would get more officers. That's just what I would do. Sure. But it was a split second thing, so I wouldn't yeah. worry too much on that. I'm a bit confused too because afterwards, like after we got to the infirmary and the DOC was up and the two guys were in cuffs, the DOC was like in the best mood. He was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have fun with the, I got this under control. I'm going to put him in ad sack. Nobody pay attention to what's going to happen next. Like he was so on board. I was like, okay, you got this, your territory. Yeah. I always stick around with them too after an incident and I try to make sure that they know like they can utilize us if we're there. Um... You know, I had an issue recently where somebody was there. She was a DOC officer by herself. And there were like four inmates that had just attacked her. And they'd attacked her over changing clothes. So, you know, what I did in yeah. that situation was I had the officer stay back and help her. Rather than just all of us leave after helping pick her up. That so that sense. kind of yeah, stuff I think... Yeah. I think we need to do a little more of that in helping facilitate what they're doing because they get screwed over a lot and sometimes it's on our account. So that's probably what this felt like to them. No, that and that's sense. why they're kind of annoyed. But yeah. people don't call, you know, for when we're sending people up either. And so it's like any little thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I will definitely consider and I think some more. I think we're getting some systems to help alleviate some of their stress. So hopefully in the future we'll have some more stuff. Um, uh, especially like to notify them that they're getting inmates, stuff like that. But anyway, um, I just want to kind of emphasize uh, this is not a you're in trouble kind of conversation. It's more I'm trying to get to the bottom of it and figure out what happened. Um, I don't think I'm going to look at strike points at this time, but I will let you know. Okay. And if you do end up deciding you need strike points in the situation, <laughs> I perfectly understand. And All right. I appreciate that, Avery, and I appreciate you coming and talking to me and being honest. Uh, okay. If you have a second, I'd like to talk to you about some other stuff. Oh, okay. If you don't mind, yeah. No, that's fine. Hey, uh, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, she immediately after with talking to you guys came and talked to me and told me her side of the story. And then Tommy told me his side of the story earlier and I just kind of wanted to give you a full picture from what I know. Okay, tell me what she did because I want to know. Okay, um, well, a couple hours before you saw her, um, one of her good friends died and I was there on scene. And so she was sitting at the river, half fishing, half sitting down crying. And oh, when dang it. she was fishing, she no, she did do something illegal. Hear me out. Um, when she was fishing, she got a treasure chest. Inside that treasure chest was a fishing hook. She wanted to know what it looked like, so she put it on her fishing hook. She then realized she couldn't take it off of her fishing hook, <laughs> of her fishing pole, but she didn't want to get any fish. So she took it and she threw it in a bush, and then she went back down for like a quick swim. And I knew it. Again. Yeah. Ah! And then when she came back, you guys were there, and she had no idea you were there. Apparently, Tommy said you'd been watching her for a while, and she just thought. Oh, it like, couldn't have up. been more than like a minute or two. Yeah, but that was the timing on that was insane, and I made it. She said, "Should I go apologize to them?" And I was like, "I can go talk to Tessa and, and Flop, and if you want to go apologize, you're happy to." But I made it clear: no more fishing hooks or fishing nets. She just wanted to know what it looked like, and I was like, "Don't do that." <laughs> I wonder if she would have used it. No, she didn't use it. Like, she threw it out before she knew you guys were there. Yeah, she... So, we watched her for, like, maybe a minute, minute and a half, maybe. And we saw her go across the river. He saw her put something in the bush. And so we were like, okay, well, that's strange. Then we saw her go up to her car. Um, she was messing with her phone. And then she went down to the river and sat in there, and I think that was kind of where she was upset and stuff. So, um, we never at any point saw her with a fishing rod, which was why we were like, what is going on? 
Yeah, I don't know at and, what point, um, but at some point she threw away her fishing rod because it had a hook on it that she could yeah. off, that she got from the treasure chest. Yeah. And um, when we pulled up behind her, she was swimming up from down river uh, by the waterfall, which I presume is where she put the fishing rod. And um, she came back up to the shore, and by the shore she had also put down some, um, I guess, marked bills that she'd found as well. So there were three separate locations that she had dropped stuff, and it just was, like, really suspicious to us. And No, I believe it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. That's why she, and she knew that it felt suspicious, too, which is why she came to us and said, yeah. call them and tell them. Yeah. And then, um, I, I didn't record anything or pick anything up. Um, so on the shore, the money got washed away. And then by the time me and, and Tommy were like, okay, well, we're going to go look across the river and see what she she left. Because she basically, after she talked to us, packed up and just left. Like she was, there was still half a fishing tourney to go on and like there was still stuff to do. And she had asked us how, yeah, she had asked one. how to yeah. get new fishing gear. And... I was I like, that. that's suspicious. Yeah, there. You don't yeah, do that. Okay. yeah. And so, um, she also handed us her fish bucket rather than let us look so that we wouldn't see that she didn't have a fishing rod. But, um, Malarkey did it anyways. He checked her person because we don't just do fish yeah, buckets. She, yeah, and he noticed she, she didn't so. have a fishing rod and we were both like, that's odd. And so by the time we got around to looking around, there wasn't anything left in the area. It had all been washed away. So it was, it was like six oh, no, you're, different, you're like, right super suspicious. sus yeah. activities. Was, and we were like, what is she doing? So yeah, I think no, he wanted to tell you. timing and of her putting, I mean, like I said, technically you could <laughs> interrogate her and try to... You know, convict her of illegal fishing hook. Oh, no, I don't didn't, I don't care but, that much. Like, okay, yeah, that was just what, yeah. I just thought it was funny. Because we she both... told y'all what happened in the moment, but I think she was... One, she's scared of cops. And two... Yeah. She was worried about her friend. So. I could definitely tell she was scared. Um, So I, I didn't really push anything. Um, Honestly, had I wanted to do anything, I would have gone across the river much sooner in the conversation. But, yeah. you know, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. So, I, I, I don't mind uh, whatever she did, so long as she doesn't continue doing it. Um, oh, she definitely won't. Yeah, no, I made that but very I, clear. Me and Malarkey both guessed that that was what happened. That she had a fish hook that she didn't know what to do with. And so she, she tossed it. But yeah, she did toss it before she even knew you guys were there. So. That's funny. All right. I do have one other topic. Um, okay. There have been a lot of new rangers, and they've been doing a lot of different stuff. And I've noticed it a lot of conversations between like rangers, senior rangers, all of that kind of stuff. And I would love to put in my two cents, as my with what little experience I have, if you'd be willing to hear my side. Uh, well, sure. Okay. Whatever you I got. I don't think it's an issue with how many senior rangers we have personally. I know you have more than some of the other departments, but you also have less than troopers. And I like the rangers, and I like that we're a separate, smaller department. And I don't think we have to necessarily, like, collide with what LSPD and BCSO are doing. I kind of like that there's something different that separates us, kind of in a sense how like senior rangers can use the FN and maybe senior rangers could also use a charger or whatever, just like troopers do. It's just that idea basically that gives that like separation of we are our own department, we can do our own kind of stuff in a sense, but also still united with other people. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm so you don't think we should change around any of the rank guys. stuff? What? You don't think we should change around any of the rank stuff? I mean, if someone's not meeting, like, a senior ranger requirement, then sure, demote them. 
but don't demote them because you think we have too many senior rangers. Okay. If that, yeah. But also, I don't know. I know people have expressed, uh, there's a lot of like fighting over the chargers and the FNs and stuff. Is there any particular reason why all senior rangers can't drive them and why some can? Is there fighting? It's every, everybody wants it. Let's be real. They all the want to drive the charger. Hmm. And so, their and their lo logic is like, why can all the troopers, like for example, um, troopers, my rank officer, like Crystal Claire and Peach, and all of them, can all have like FNs versus Rangers. We can't have FNs, which is fine with me. Like we're a different department, but then it leads to stuff like, why can such and such do this, but then why can other such and such do that? I don't know. It's just like a whole. Basically, I'm just I don't know. I'm just here having a no, good time. No, I I appreciate that feedback because it's stuff that I don't see. Um, okay. I will think about how we can, uh, further clarify the certifications for the charger and the pistols. Oh, and, and stuff thing, like that. We are that. hired as junior rangers in the scouts program still. I know junior rangers aren't a thing anymore, but that's what I, I, employment. <laughs> I actually did that on purpose recently, oh, okay, cool. um, because oh, I... I think there was a permission issue that I was worried about for hiring and firing. So I wanted to change that and see if there are people who are actually interested in working as the scout stuff. Watch. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, cool, you. I think we need to redo all that, to be honest. Um, but the only thing that you're going to be doing with this account is charging people yeah, um that's pretty much the only I use so it. that's all you really have and all you really need at the moment but yeah i think we need to redo this whole thing the whole structure of it that's okay all right that's pretty much all i got um oh i still want a dolphin okay i i still am uh working out the logistics of it Perfect. That is all. Okay. Is there anything else you need from me? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Thank you for your time. I'll be uh, next to DOC, I promise. You got your badge, right? I did. It looks great. Okay. I show it to everybody I can. It's beautiful. Thank you. All right. I'll see you later. All right. Take care. Bye. What rank is above senior ranger? Um, currently it just goes senior to sergeant. Because we remove the corporal, I think. All right. Uh, by the way, Swag Daddy, thank you for the four months. I appreciate you. Okay. So Avery's been talked to. The next thing is we need to talk to Johnson at some point about him dragging somebody around like a snail. When they're supposed to be in a wheelchair. And I guess verbally insulting and threatening them. I'm not sure. Oh. 
Oops. And the Kachow thing, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do about that, to be honest. I think King wanted to talk to us about it, but he's not around. Actually... I make no such promises. Goodbye. This GTR is circling. So that flag 1060 comes back to a rod long. I don't know his involvement with the 95. Who do we have in custody? Yeah, I don't so really know what to do about the charger situation. I, cause I don't know what our current charger SOPs well, are. I'm gonna need to look at it and uh, put some thought into it because what do we have in custody? I don't want us to all be in chargers, cause I don't think we need to be. Thank you. I I feel like it's something that should be like. I don't know, not just standard patrol, I guess. Mustang, red Mustang. Keep up. That's it. Camacho, now. We got a 77 or two, if you're on channel two, down on Davis. We got a bunch of vehicles circling here. Eagles in question, gray GTR, red in color Mustang, and it looks like a blue, or correction, a orange in color Camacho. Yeah, because I don't know if I think uh, everyone should be using them the all the time for all Davis their patrol. At the merge tour, Dutch London. Because, I'll be honest, the park rangers are not a pursuit unit. It's not something that we need to be focused on. And if that's the something that people want, I'm not really sure. Honestly, that's a wild way to get stuck. That's insane. Uh, 270 10-8, where do you need, uh, 77? Uh, I just need, like, one or two down on Davis. Uh, the cross is gonna be next to Mutiny Road, uh, where Davis intersects with Dutch London. Copy, thank 270, you. same traffic. I haven't seen the vehicles in a minute, but the three vehicles in question is a primarily orange in color Camacho, red in color... A 65 Mustang with a white stripe down the center, and I'm drawing a blank on the third one. This is 2.14. Show me 10.2. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. Third vehicle 
was a uh, great GTR, I'm sorry. Seventy six to MRPD with one ninety five. All right, four nineteen. I'm gonna be going back to an eight. Alpha three seventy six SMH nine one one. You know, just just hanging around, just uh, you know. Are we ready for PD to move? Enjoying the grass. Yeah, from. Yeah, should be good. Uh, I'm gonna have you help with the transport here. Yep. Cause we have three cars. Copy that. Uh, myself and 270 will also assist. Again, three vehicles to look out for: gray color GTR, primarily orange in color Camacho and a red in color 65 Mustang with a white stripe down the center. Like that one? Negative. Oh, it is turning and following. Is that Tessa? Hello. Fuck. <clears throat> Bob, you want to grab a plate on that ruiner or whatever it is? Yeah, I'm trying to catch one. I'm actually just going to approach him. Stand by. Flop. Okay, he's got. Dispatch number seven. I need 77 to the vault. Uh, I want you to get my paycheck because they've got somebody at gunpoint inside. I backed out of the vault. I currently have the front door held. Uh, there were multiple suspects inside. Uh, First of all, you're on motor. I, Second of all, you were by yourself. Uh, we're going to go collect the hostage. Yeah, 10-4. Ten, ten I, I just I just need 77s because there's multiple arms. Yeah, I'll be in route. Triple three twenty three at the tow yard with boots gone. Blurry said, penguin coming in with the 44 time. months. Thank you so much. Good Julie to see you. Back on the roof to negotiate where they're going to come out of. Copy. I, when I walked in, they were in the in the lobby on uh, the second level of the lobby above where you would pick up your paycheck with the uh, one at gunpoint. Yeah, you, have, you can only get there by going uh, down from the roof, and then they, you can open all the doors. Oh, 10-4. Ten, ten well, they might have left out of the back already then. I was just holding the front door since I, I just backed right out. Outlaws been impounded. Okay, well, I guess triple three is seventy six. Hey. <clears throat> don't be doing that. But don't be doing what? T turning off oh, the, the convoy to go and talk to somebody that's following the convoy. Yeah, you ding dong. They weren't no following. Inside. Okay. That, yes, they were. The I could see was wearing a Flap. Uh, brightly colored well, like they, a leather they, jacket. They were uh, You went and confirmed that they weren't chair. following us, but they were mm -hmm. actively no following us before yeah, you went there was and also confirmed. A was shirtless and pink yeah. Colored, uh, sport pants. yeah. That is extremely I dangerous. I will not do that again. Okay. Just be so be careful. Uh, if we can get one more unit to go with you. I was like scared you were gonna get shot. The ATMs and then push in from there. 
I'm not going. I promise it won't happen again. Okay. Bye. Just just be careful, okay? I'm trying. Listen, I'm trying to stay off your table right now, okay? I'm trying. I'm trying. I know, I know. I'm, I'm failing. I'm, I'm failing. worried I'm about you. I don't want you to die, Paul. I won't. I won't die. I won't die. I'm trying. Okay, okay. okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. I, I, I promise I'm not going anywhere, okay? Thank you. I got you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Unless you want to ride, question mark. I mean, I'm, a, I'm always be... down. Okay, I mean, I, it doesn't have to be goodbye. Just saying. I'll meet you at MRPD. I gotta refill. What the heck? Hey, get your car fixed. I think that was the cars. Your car's all broken. Trying to get it fixed in the imp from the impound, man. Oh, okay. Damn, they did fuck up. Got two thumb drives up here and they're just in here. Broken. I don't know, that was weird. I wasn't sure what they were doing. They also don't have a hostage. That's kind of odd. Hey, Flop. Yeah? What were those cars' descriptions that were circling? Uh, it was a red and color Mustang. Uh, with a white stripe, a gray and color GTR, and a orange and color Camacho. I got plates on two of them. One was Tesla okay. lamp. Oh, yeah, sorry. That... I didn't get anywhere. What? Sorry. One was, one was Holden Nate, and the other one was Rod Long. Hmm. Okay. Apparently no affiliation with the 95, but I don't know why they were circling. Maybe just to make us uncomfortable. Probably. Because people okay. snoop. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go park up the bike. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll you at the PD. Okay. Did you see them? Uh, no, I thought I did, but it was two different right, cars that were well, black. And, uh, they probably just you. fucked off. Yeah, I think they messed up. Kovacek said hello? they did have a hostage. Ah, hello! Is this the un goddess of the forest? Well, I wouldn't go as far as a goddess, but I am a queen. Ah, ah yes, yes, queen of the, the forest. I, in blind van Boosen, I am sent by me, me lord, uh, Rice Miller. He wishes right. for me to obtain uh, uh, driving uh, lessons. Uh, uh yes, I'm a squire. <laughs> yeah, have him on me. You're oh, Bryce Miller's squire. Ah, ah yes, you know He speaks uh -huh. quite highly of you in your various deeds across the forests. Um, okay. Well, yes. uh, Tonight's not the best night for uh, me, uh, but we yes. could schedule something. Ah, yes, a schedule. Ah, wonderful idea. Yes, uh, he wishes for me. He wishes for me to control the devil boxes with my mind. The the what? Yes. 
the, the devil boxes. Ah, they pave the roads. Ah, right, I've right. seen uh, thousands of them. I wish there were horses, a noble steed to ride. But alas, the road is plagued with these uh, vehicles, as he calls them. He's, uh, he wishes oh. for me to drive them. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Um, well... Oh, I need to use your cartridges so hard. I can try to help you. Ah, uh, yes, thy, thy noble goddess, thy noble queen. Yeah, yeah, let me know when I can schedule this lesson and I will be at your service. Are you going to be around tomorrow? Y yes, yes, my lady. How about um, w somewhat earlier tomorrow? Yes, my lady. Okay. Um... Thy goddess can give me a call and I will make myself available for thee. Okay. What did you say your name was? Ah, yes. Wyman Van Boosen. But you may call me Squire. Wyman? Yes, that is correct. Do you know how to spell that? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, 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 no. I figured as much. Okay. Uh, yes. I will do my best to spell it then. Ah, uh, yes, you are quite kind. I am much in your debt. Uh, I will serve thee nobly. Oh, okay. Thank you, Wyman. I will give you a call tomorrow. Ah, Lord Miller will be so delighted. Ah, I will let him know the good news. Thank you. You uh, you let him know. Ah, uh, before you depart for your evening journeys, ah, uh, are there any uh, quests in which you wish to uh, have me partake before we arrive for our lessons? Um, the only thing you will need is a uh, identification card. Ah, yes, a fair card that states my name. I, I, I have been granted one of these by, by a nice lady at, at, at the castle. Yes, yes, I have one. Okay, and then, um, usually there's a fee with the test. It's $3,000. Do you think you can manage that? Ah, three thousand doll hairs, yes. I will find the dolls and I will acquire okay. the hairs. Yes. If not, I'm sure your nightmaster will sponsor you. Ah, yes, Mr. Miller has given me a lump sum of coin for which me to spend on our uh, journeys together. Okay, I will, um, yes. I will call you tomorrow, and that should be ah, good. wonderful. I am indeed in your service, noble queen. Uh, if there is any uh, task which you should uh, have me partake in, simply let thy know. Until we meet again, may the stars align in your divinity. Uh, y yeah, you you too. Dally ho! Uh, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Where's Flop? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. I don't know what to expect from that. I think we're going to have to give him the alien test. That's made of, I don't know. What do you mean he's not gonna flip in here, okay? 
Jeez, he's probably gonna tell me, go put some flipping rash cream, okay? Huh? Tessa, yeah. apparent, apparently the jacket for the state is made out of 100% polyester and it's itchy. Yeah, we need 76 uh, of those okay. on Alta. Yeah, see? It's just super itchy. You had to take it off. You sure it wasn't from stress after throwing Kachow out of a car? That's crazy. What? What are we talking about? Listen, you said that I could talk to other people from the state about it, so I figured I'd bring it up no, with Tessa. No, I didn't. I said that was you just something. You said from Sadie to Sadie. Oh my god. So I'm I'm from Sadie to Sadie to Sadie. Okay. You can trust Tessa. Go ahead. Tessa? We mean to tell me. You know, we we have you know, he's my finance and all. And then, you know, um we get really we get really handsy. We like to lay our hands on each what? other and stuff. Okay, well, I don't need to know about that stuff. See, don't you? you. See? And we look handsy in the car. Flop, I don't okay. need to know when everyone gets handsy with one another in the department. Yeah, Flop. Golly. Jeez, Gross. I didn't, think that, I didn't think that was the main concern, but, you know. Peach, am I saying something wrong? I don't think the fact that you get handsy is a concern here. I think the fact of concern is that Pichow may or may not have found himself out of a car at 100 miles an hour. And then you told him to walk. You know what? He likes it. What? Ew. Jeez, okay. Flop. What is the big deal? Okay, I, you know what? I don't tell everybody what you and your flippin' husband Zadie do. Okay, on shift. We're not even around! We're not doing well, anything! Well, well, well. The only thing I'm doing is laying in bed and crying and leaving a fucking puddle every time I wake up. Because of all the fucking tears, Peach. The only thing I got going on. My bed is a certified pool. Maybe you should get water, Ben. Sure, I can always keep it filled, I guess. 60 has shots fired. Sounds like... You, you ever slept on a water bed before? No, no. I have not. South of Olympic. It's pretty, it it's pretty wobbly. Oh, yeah, shots fired right next to me. I... Straight in Alta. There's no way those were the shots fired I heard. Fuck yeah, it. yeah, I, think, uh, I wonder if some people get seasick. You're there? Are you unseen? You know, from the yeah, motion? Yeah, literally right next you know what to they see? I don't see anybody. I think it's um, inside the... Don't walk the boat. Area. Do we even want to deal with that right now? Look at the time. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, what are they going to do? Shoot me with three minutes left? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's hey. some she didn't do it. I'm she just tried to kick her friends because yeah, that's her what gangs Amara, do. Her and Amara are fucking around. But they weren't the ones that shot because... You thinking about divorcing your husband? Wow. I would never divorce Shiggy. What do you mean? Besides their comp, I don't know. I don't He's know not meeting their needs. They're All you do is fly home alone with. in bed. They're what? That is kind of depressing, Flop. You look what's fighting? Are you sure he's not dead? Yeah, but she just ran over her. I don't know. If you want more her. shots fired to the east. I haven't heard from him. These locals fucking each other up. Tell, Can tell I put out like over a, a bolo and then... I'm gonna shoot him. What? Seven days? All right. They keep running each it's other up over to you. and they're gonna get shot for it. I mean, can we, can we confirm him missing or dead? Did you no. kill him? Did I kill him? Yeah. I mean, you can go check my apartment, so I don't... Yeah, I don't... <gasps> That's so maybe you should do a welfare check. I've been trying to do a welfare check. You're being shady by directly telling Every him... Every day I sit at home. <laughs> and I have a welcome home side. There's now 43 in the garbage. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Flop, do we need to do a welfare check at your house? I mean, you can check if you want. There's, no, there's, there's not much there. 
Yeah, but a body. You wanna go check? Come on. Okay. Let's go. Right, we'll go let's check go. my house. Not gonna find much, but you know. Oh wait, I I should probably drive. We can't all be the passenger. Gee. Well, I I could drive. I could drive. Look right to our left. Great thing. Bye. I'm gonna do my best. Seventy-one just came in. Well, the thing is, they have roof access, so they can just. That's a. Can I ask plus this for sake of? Constraints. Here, Lily, hop in. Sure. You want to go on top of the rocker closet? Oh, I Where didn't we realize. I heard right we had a lot of weather really good. Must be heavy mean? wind. We were, I mean, there's a tropical yeah, storm warning. Right here, right above it's, me. Take shelter. So, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to find the ladder. Is there a ladder or is there just like a door that goes to the elevator? There should be a ladder. I forget where my house is. What? Oh, yeah, it's over here. Is I have lying. six of them. He doesn't want to show us. Oh my body. god, he's intentionally uh, going the wrong the way. No, we're, we're here. Welcome we're to my house. Mafia. They would just get on the roof what? with their back door. Come on in. Oh, yeah, you live over here. The back door. In their house. My god. The way that this planky of them makes it easier for us to kind of access. Fuck it, I'm going into one of their houses. Zing? I am on top of Rocker Zing? Plaza. I see no one. Where's the body? I think they're just Where inside there? someone's there fucking no crib. Just... <coughs> I'm in one of their houses. I'm trying to find the back door. Is he Hold under on, the I back? See someone on the roof. I don't know. I'm looking. I do an axe. Man. On your oh foot. god, oh, there's an axe! Underneath the crown. What are you? Is it, it's just You're running a, up on him. It's he just has an a axe. firearm out. Be careful! I think he just put it away. Oh god, there's yeah, torture yeah, that's what devices. You said about Biggie. He's, He's just an axe. Hand. No, those axe are husband. those are those are I home defense weapons. Down. Just in case intruders come in, I usually grab the big paddle. Why? Right, okay. Is he in the bathroom? No. Wow. He's running. Is he gonna go? Shots fired? He pulled, I shot him. Oh uh, right. shit. Alright. Oh my god. Oh god. Have you checked the bathroom, Tessa? Ah! Is there really no ladder up there? That's kind of crazy. Come up there. I don't think he's in the bathroom. Still got his stockings out on the thing. <laughs> it's a cute little uh, interior that they have here, though.
getting back in? Yeah, we'll, we'll patrol after storm. I, I had intended on doing a pretty like, decent stream tonight, so... I'll, I'll do what I can. Uh, if my cough gets too bad, I'll call it, but... For now, I'm good. I'm, I'm locked in. I wish, um... Our plans hadn't fallen through, but that's okay. That's life, you know? Because I feel bad that I, I stayed up super late and didn't stream early. Uh, Tesla spoke to Avery tonight. Um, I don't know when I'm going to see Johnson next, so that one might have to wait. Uh, but it wasn't as urgent. It was kind of just him... It, it possibly could have been just him bantering with someone. So I'm not too pressed about that one. Kachow, though... I think we're waiting on King to talk to us about it, because there wasn't anything documented. Tessa has, like zero to go off of aside from the word of one person so for right now we're not going to do anything for Kachao's thing because I don't have any evidence or really much I don't even have confirmation that somebody saw it And given Kachao's history of lying about things... Until we're presented with something a little more tangible, I think it's best to take stuff about him with a grain of salt. We're back. <laughs> okay. Hi, Tess. Literally, we're back. The heck happened up there? You know what sucks is I started out my day pretty good, like feeling, feeling in good health and right now I'm, my throat's bugging me again. It's really annoying. No, it started a little bit before I started my stream today. Like, I felt well enough to go outside and like... I don't know. Towards the end of the movie. Got bad. I need to remind my EMS that something that happens too. No, that's that's actually a really important announcement. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna have that get thrown in at the, the beginning, but at least uh, okay. we can get the thing. Yeah. I'll get all my EMS. I got you. Poor air quality. Yeah, it could be that. I don't know. We had the stupid cottonwood trees 
spewing all their nasty little fuzzies around the air, so could have been that. You're gonna go to the meeting, but you'll hang out here? Hi, Garrett. How are you? I don't have anything from High Command. There ain't no way you made senior. I go take that shit off right now. Well, no, I don't have the <laughs> SOPs for the new clothes. It's the same. Just it's the same thing. I don't it's have. The, I don't have a, I, the document, man. I don't know where the. Isn't it different? Or was? Are you SDSO? Yeah, I'm SDSO. Yes, yeah, same clothes. Is it? Yeah, SDSO didn't change. I thought their clothes did change. I asked no. them. Everyone was wearing different stuff when I got rehired. UPD is different. Oh. SDSO and. PBSO are both part of PCSO, so maybe you saw a bunch of PBSO people. Just got back from a weekend That's trip confusing. to Colorado. Ooh. Yeah. It is. I've never so been to Colorado. I feel like it'd be a nice place. Yeah, Trudy is the top. Well, yeah, Trudy's the sheriff. Then why do we have two sheriff offices? I don't know. I think it's just two sub departments under the BCSO. It's a... Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I guess I'll go take my thingies off. Hey. Yeah. Also need Actually, that's a lie. I have been to Colorado. I mean, you're a government program. I have driven through Colorado. And then oh. I'll make Tessa yeah. do it. By asking very nicely. Excuse like, me? I said by asking very nicely. Yeah, let me finish. He's going to make you do something, Tessa. By asking very nicely. What do I need to do? He, uh, Marco needs uh, PD tags. Oh, I see. Please. Yo, I got what's up? By Toretti. Not much. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you for asking. I'm gonna be around more than ever. Oh, if you like candy, by the bro, way. you wanna know how we know that's a lie because you couldn't even keep a straight face while uh, saying that. Store next month. No, I'm just sick. I wasn't even trying to I cheese mean, that time. Some... I'm diabetic, so. I know that's why I actually had a diabetic ask if I could make some candy. Well, I think I figured out a system. Mm -hmm. I think I am gonna be around more. Figured out a system, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll see. I'll be right back. I'm going to go take off this rank. <laughs> oh, God. I need to find the proper tags. Why are there, there's BCSO and LSPD tags, there's SASPR, SASP. Is there not SDSO? Hold up, wait a minute. Yo, Bison. Yeah. Uh, did you request uh, the LSPD tags for... No, I don't have the power I, to I do that. You. I got you. Let me request them. Hyper asked about it, and I said that you were going to do it. That's the only thing I don't have access to. That and the roster. Oh, my God. Bloom, you're back. Hi, I'm here. Thank you. I've missed me, too. I missed the deer. Like it's been 40, <laughs> Sorry, that's what I was. That's what I was. If I singled you out and said I missed you, then that's like you know. Uh. Yeah, boom. Did you not? Uh, did you not miss the rest of us? What the fuck's going on? Really? No. I mean, I was. I was gonna say that not you were missed, but. Bald. All right, motherfucker. Bald. Yeah. He, he should be sorted. Yeah. Bald, bald, Fucking say it. Say it. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate uh -huh. it. Uh huh. Ooh, Thank you, Tessa. Marco, you should have stuff now. Flop. Yeah. With your bald ass. Let me know if not. The fuck? Huh? Oh, I'm all right. 
All right, requested. Is your head just like extra large because of the test tube? Who's bald? Yeah, I remember it was. What do you think? I think it was Colorado or anybody. Wyoming that we were driving through, and, and um, we hit a tumbleweed on the highway. Oh. It was a huge tumbleweed too. You're right, sweets. And it got stuck to the Am front I of the right? car. Yeah, I'm fucking grand. And when we pulled I, I'm, over, I'm glad. it looked like the car had a mustache. It, it, it could be anyone. Space's favorite thing that uh, for me <laughs> is when <laughs> I love when you like. You I think it was Wyoming. I'm pretty sure we went through like both uh, on Fucking our way. Grand. We were driving yeah, between know. Washington totally State and Missouri. I'm going to say I both. Know, I still feel like Scully is more Irish than him. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, but she's that, also that's, from a shithole county, so it doesn't really count. All right, bud. You know you don't need to go talking like that. Here. Your county speaks for itself. That's all I'm saying. That's a good picture. <laughs> no, that can't be the bit. <laughs> Just dead quiet. Yeah, I, I was worried for a second too. That was that very was scary. awkward. Oh. Uh, it just ships right things. Hey, nothing wrong with a moment of silence. They're very, very rare. Doing a lot of paperwork. It's like decompressing from chaos. Exactly, right? I mean, shift two. Everyone knows shift two is super calm and chill. And uh, everyone's not stressed afterwards, and yeah. it's just happy to do another eight hours. I, I got shot me first oh, day God. solo. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Oh shit, Marco, you're hired? Yeah, I got my job back. Congrats. Whoa, I'm back, guys, and better than ever. How did you get your job back? He just missed me. Yes, I don't know. I was invited to the pizza party, and that is not what happened. He did call me. What? He has dirt on someone. What? He's got pictures. Yeah, he's got pictures. He, he missed me. Oh, hey, hey, he Holiday, what's you, up? Right? Like... Well, I mean, we missed you even when you were a cop. It's not like we saw you even anymore. For me to get my job back, right? <clears throat> All right. Oh, meeting started. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> hey, Shift 3, what's up? How we doing? How's morale? Woo! What's going on? That's right. We love that. We fucking love Hi. to hear that. Hey. Who was that? Hello. It's Sterwin. Yeah, Hello, Sterwin. my name is Bob. What's right, up, wanna, Bob? I want to come to the podium. 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 Okay. Come on, Bob. Introduce yourself to the gang. And I want three facts about yourself that are very Excuse personal. Me. Hello, my name is Bob Sterwin. I am uh, a non-solo cadet with the Polito Bay Sheriff's Office. I was raised in the Sunshine Coast of Australia, and my parents own an animal rehabilitation center. Okay. That's anybody, exciting. Any questions for Bob, anybody? What's the biggest How thing big? you've wrestled? The biggest thing no. I've wrestled is a hippopotamus on an African safari. What's the biggest fear you've wrestled? Ooh. The biggest fear I've wrestled with is uh, the impending doom and damnation that we all are going to be subjected to as we all inevitably burn in the pits of hell. Hmm. Do you Have still you ever milked a, a cow? What? Have you oh, please, one at a time. Have Milky. you ever milked a cow? What? There's so many questions I can't focus. Have you ever milked a cow? Yes, actually. I prefer to get my milk straight from the teat. Oh. 
Oh, none on, of that homogenized on, nonsense. Unpasteurized. That's wild. Unpasteurized, unhomogenized, straight from the tape. What's the biggest animal you could take? Well, what, what, take what is a very subjective term. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Huh? Cla clarification, please, Bloom. Answer the question. To answer the question. Well, I think I'm nimble, spry, and <laughs> taut enough to take maybe taut. a woolly mammoth. Oh. But those don't exist Whoa. anymore. They've gone extinct. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn. All right. Well, Listen. give it up Give it up for Bob. I think uh, we've learned enough about uh, him. If I'm honest, give it up for Bob. <laughs> Bob. Thank you. Yeah. I look forward to working with you all. Thank you, Bob. Uh, <clears throat> All right, T Bone, Tessa Lamb. Anything, uh, anything from anything from you? What's going on? No. No. Uh, I want to remind everyone th that Tessa Lamb has a gun. I want everyone. I want to remind. I that. have a gun. And she is very adamant about reminding people about that. She has a gun. Okay. Oh, go Tessa. All right. No shift two like recaps. Tessa? Fuck shift two. Am I right, guys? Uh, what? Um, <laughs> I asked, how are your legs? Um, they're them? okay. That's good. That's good. Well, yes, I can. Remember the last announcement I made was that, uh, who did I say ran you over? What? Or who ran you over, I mean? Me? No, no. Tess Tessa was in the ICU last time. I think you know the answer to that, Bloom, and I don't think we ought to be talking about it. I'm trying to remember Damn. Who did. Yeah, imagine running. All right, well, I got something I got to bring up. I know, uh, Oh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, that is um, a quick shot I took of uh, Irwin Dundee. That is Irwin Dundee right there in his current state. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wait, this actually adds up pretty well. Yeah, Hold on. I know. Yeah, no, I know. Really yeah, that is Irwin Dundee. I don't know what's going on with him, man, but he's talking about setting people on fire. He's making a, a, a cult or a church. I, I don't fucking know. I just took two reports on a pair of well then you're things. perfect to come up here and talk about it up you get <gasps> Woo, scully all right i broke the scully. mdw and i got shot so go scully i will say after scully kiki does have an important announcement but okay all right uh anyways me um mdw is broken but oh is she saying she has a bag stuck to her okay going on uh they were calling themselves the syndicate there's <laughs> respectfully look at my butt. Oh there. my god. Uh, She's but they're going around basically saying, you know, the government's bad. <laughs> uh, they tax you. That's taft. Uh, it's gonna be better if Dundee burns Everton and runs Everton. That's that's the gist I got out of it. Yeah, not um, that. Oh, go ahead. No, but they they it appears, you know, no proof, right? But it appears that they might have taken. Bob Eagle, the security guard, and burned him into fire. He's got his big, uh, he's got something going on down in the sewers. Some sort of clubhouse. What fire? Yeah. It's grand. Fun time. Mm -hmm. There's a yeah, he, convoy of 10 buses around the city. He told me that he, he's sick of the government and he doesn't want to be uh, run by anyone. He wants complete freedom, free will, free to do whatever you like. Uh, he said no more leaders, nobody calling the shots. And I was like... Oh no, leaders! So you're so who? No one's gonna lead this new free world. He was like, "No, I'm gonna lead it." And I was like, "Okay, buddy." <laughs> yeah, okay, bud. Sounds good. All right, all right, okay. Anything else? Sorry, can you get something to say? Does anyone know how to make me MDW work again? It's just, just buffering. Take some eye drops. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, um. On again. Uh oh. Well, I just want to tell you guys about something that I don't think was communicated to you guys. And I realized that today when one of your 95s got left behind at the hospital in the ICU ward. Um, <laughs> so like in Pillbox and Viceroy, uh, occasionally the doctors will tell you that all of the beds are full. Uh, however, sometimes they don't. And what they'll do is we have three extra beds in the ICU ward upstairs where people will end up instead of just waiting for an extra bed and it doesn't happen every single time so i went to go clear it before you guys left and i didn't see anyone but about like 10 minutes later we found that one of the 95s was still up there i'm going to communicate with my ems that we need to remember to tell you guys about that but if you guys have the units it might be wise to clear the icu ward as well when you have massive ois's like the one you had earlier where some people might end up upstairs instead of downstairs 
There was an OIS earlier? Uh, yeah, in the Billabong what? area. Pretty crazy. crazy. I know. Yep. Wild. All right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, uh, we're going to open up to the class. Anybody got anything they want to bring up? Lewis Bloom, everybody. Hi, Bloom. Sure, I'll just Welcome fucking move back. over here. Why not? Uh, you pull your hand up. That's God, like skip. Thank God he's back. Yep. You're like just skipping. Not there quick. He was what so the cool. hell, Sweets Bloom? Sweets has not been a good replacement. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Not my shift. So uh, suck my grippers. Ew. Those are my feet. No, thank you. Yeah. Oh, what? Those? I Gripper, I grippers or toes? Those Why are, not hands? My little I can pick up a penny or any coin of any denomination uh, with my feet. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. You yeah, all know was... me. I'm a very passionate man. I have passion projects. I, uh, I like passion fruit. You know what else I like that begins with P? Oh, boy. That's... Don't answer that. Pineapple? Portuguese. PBSO! All fantastic guesses. Penis. Puns. You're gonna say what? phones. Oh, what the it. fuck did you just say? Penis. What's that? She's just the mind real. out of the gutter, Juno. Jeez, Louis. Puns. So I'm starting a new blog, a blog oh. where I post puns to do with cop work and food. Uh, this epiphany happened when I was picking up two fried pussy sandwich combos from Uwu, and uh. What? I'm sorry. Two what? Fried what? pussy sandwich combos. Like the San, though, yeah, that, awesome. there's isn't there like the sug off stew or something down there or something? There's uh, there's a lot of stuff. So here's my jail e filled jo donut. Nice. What y'all think of that, huh? It's Can you game. show that? What's it filled with? Jail why is, time. Why is this donut got a tail? Why is the cream filling it's not, red? It's not cream. It's it's jail. It's jaily. Jaily. It's jaily. It's not creamy. But if they go to jail, things could get creamy. Nice. What that That's hot. So I've just remember, guys, the inspiration can strike you anywhere, even when you're talking to a, <laughs> a wage cuck down at Uwu, uh, ordering two fried pussy sandwich combos for your girlfriend. Um, be vigilant. Always be on the lookout for the next creative idea. Uh, I look forward to sharing my blog's uh, my blog's future with you all. Any questions? Yes. I have back. so many. Lucian. Uh, yeah. Is there a uh, expected date of release that we can like I can look to check? There will be updates? uploaded daily, uh, every single day. Ooh. Uh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> every, something. Is everything all right? There? Yeah, your voice cracked, so it was funny. So I made a oh, joke really? about it. That thing uncontrollable. You can I don't make it. fun of you for your ED. What? I don't have any, what? <laughs> you make fun of me for my dead grandfather. I can't control that either. Hey, you. I didn't bring it up. Why the uh, fuck you, would you bring that up? Hey, you brought it up. <laughs> Speaking of things that I'm bringing up, is my next blog post uh, will be a drawing of a flavored condoms in a police vest, and it will say something along the lines of always use protection or something. What? <laughs> Thank you, Bloom. Very flavored. All right. Because I'm keeping the trend of food-related things. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't eat the condom. Well, what? you know what? Never mind. Well, I don't use them. How the fuck do I know what those are used for? Wait. Can you, though? No. Well, condoms are for quitters, anyway, honestly. You can anyway, do anything if you put your mind to it. We've got a, we've got a <laughs> uh, Juno Sweeney with her hand up. Podium. Um, I have an update. You need to shout? I am shouting. You need to shout. I can't hear things. I'm anymore. shouting. Can anybody hear her? What? I can hear you. Okay, Didn't you used hair. to be a dirty blonde? Huh? Am I imagining your hair used to be darker? I think no. it's the shade from her hat. It's because she used to have a different color uniform, so it pretty looks different from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Uh, she could have just gotten what? a bit more sun. I'm fine. Hey, Taraja, what do you mean? We hit and we hit sweets, job. not what bloom. Hey, Goober. Hey, I have an eyes. Eyes ahead. What? I have to go for what? No, they're not saying anything. Hi guys. Hi Juno. Hi Juno. It's me, Juno Sweeney. But y'all already knew that. Um, I have an update for yes, Bloom. 
Did your parents name you after that movie about uh, what's her face getting knocked up? Juno. No, no. <laughs> it's okay. No, they, they... That was funny. I think you confused half of chat Wait, just there's then. There's a guy that eats people named Juno. <laughs> no, named no. Sweeney Ton. Oh, um, I mean, I don't, I no. When that's my last name. How do I get named after? My, well, everyone's huh? name, like, last names are indicative of what you, your ancestors did. So Smiths were usually, like, blacksmiths, you know? They I'm Maituros. Sweets, they know. There you go. Sweets, they Didn't, um... Flops, uh, they all, like, fell off you... of stuff, Look, I guess. If you say something... Is... If you say... If you... What? Do you know where Shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, hold on, Bloom. It's, your last Shut name is what their up. ancestors did? Typically, yeah. Shut oh. the fuck up. Sounds like most of yours is dying, so it's like, is your last name dead? What? <laughs> Sweet. No, 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 no. no too really much. Low. Okay. What the heck? Okay. All right. Sorry. Do we have a fucking what? problem here, Sweets? <laughs> oh, oh. Do we have a fucking problem, Sweets? Hey, 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 you brought you brought him up earlier. I thought it was like a softball, like a free opening. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen softball is is for people like Nancy. Which one? What? 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 Nancy. Uh, former dispatch, current officer. Oh. Nancy Reed. Yes. Why is why is softball for her? Mean? Uh, she said the other day that softball's for the sexually frustrated and how how sexually frustrated she is. Oh. Anyway, um, it's me, Juno Sweeney. Um, I um I have an update for the uh, for the upcoming event next month. PD Scott Talon, if you didn't know. Um, it's gonna it's gonna transpire over a day, um, rather than two days. Um, you everyone is allowed to go off duty for it. That was a permission given by Bass himself. Um, anyone's able to audition for it. This is well, this event will only be for the PD. Um, it will be at the Maze Bank Arena, and um, on Monday, uh, <clears throat> we have two open slots for judges. So. Planning on having auditions for it. So if you if you want to be a judge, Monday, be there. Don't know what time. Don't know where. But uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yes, Bloom? Would tearing a phone book in half impress you? Bloom, any form of talent is talent. You don't is have to tearing be... tearing a phone book in half talent? Yes. Did everyone have big buff guys come to their high school and rip a phone book in half? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Nope. No. 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 I Listen, I know what you're talking about. That doesn't sound like a thing. Yes, I did. That was definitely Also, oh, it's not a talent. To? It's yeah, a gimmick. Kinda... It's actually really easy to do. Yeah, I know, right? You ever see someone tear an apple in half? No, that's impressive. Oh, yeah, I can do that. It's cool. I you like it. I can't figure it out. I just... I impale like the apple. Karate, you ever karate chop it, but not, not like hard, just like <laughs> put your hand as if you're karate chopping it and then take your other hand as a fist and use it as a hammer? Yeah, yep, yep, that's, yep, that's yep, yep. Yeah. Have you ever seen someone tear a man in half? What? Yeah, I, yeah, I tore I your... Know, never like, mind. Never mind. No. Recently, no. <laughs> I've seen a hippopotamus tear my uncle in half. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, I thought it was a... Never mind. They're like the deadliest <laughs> mammal. Yep. I thought he was cuddly, but no, it, it was lying in wait for... For, for its prey and dinner. I have never looked at a hippopotamus and gone, that guy looks cuddly. It's uh, all thanks the to that one movie with uh, uh, Chris Rock. The hippopotamus, I believe, has killed more human beings than any other mammal. Yeah, they're yeah. angry. Yeah, they no, are one right. of the most they're dangerous, angry. yes. Pop quiz, what's Dude. the most dangerous animal? Cow. <laughs> it's a cow. It's a cow. It's a cow. It's no, a cow. It's mosquitoes. No, it's a cow. Oh yeah, it is yep. mosquitoes That's because not... of the diseases. That's All right, not well, what? the disease That's though. Not what? The disease mammals. is the dangerous part. Just change it to mammals and you'll Well, then it. we've already answered that. It's hippos. Have you ever stared a cow mm. dead in the eyes? I it's think there's soulless, more man. deaths. I fucking from love cows. cows than hippos. Cows are amazing. Cows. Yeah, are... I'm not saying that, but if you look them Very, dead in the yeah. eye, they're soulless, they bloodthirsty creatures. Cows uh, feel a lot, man. They cows feel like elephants. Climate change. I think there's just a lot of people working closely with cows, and you can get. They feel a lot when I'm putting a nice salt dry rub on them and frying them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Uh huh. Uh, huh? but yeah. Anyway, that that was it. That was it. Um. Um. There'll be a cash prize 
again, and a big one. Uh, um, a, a very big one. How big? You fight, fucking around, find Remind out. <laughs> what the? Um, Honestly, so you heard it here, folks. Show up somewhere cool? at Remind some time to audition for something. That's sometime next month. That's sometime next month. It's just me basically <laughs> organizing it. And, you've got, and you've got this. And you got this, Juno. You're killing please, it out there. We're all very proud oh of you. Oh my god. god. I have so gun. much going on. I am. She's I've been gonna reading. Rip that book. It's your phone book. She's going to rip oh, it out. No, that's my please. phone book. Sweet says calendar. another fucking thing. I'm throwing this book out. Do not throw the book out. Another thing. Fucking crack his head. Phone books are meant for tearing. <laughs> Okay, some cool Ooh. news. Uh, I'm opening a cop bar and I'm actually doing it because I already have the storefront and it's right oh, outside Mission Row PD. Yeah. You'll see a beautiful yeah. sign. Yeah. Yeah. Stumbling distance. So Ooh, you'll see driving. the sign out front. It'll say a storefront. Uh, it is currently being built. It is. We have the storefront. It is there. Uh, it's a cool bar. It's called the 42. It is going to be name. myself and Hardcastle, who I know he's an ex cop. But he uh, is helping me with this whole thing. Uh, it's going to be me basically running it. Uh, Harkas is kind of there as like back-end management. Uh, I also will be looking to hire some people soon just to help out. But I will be also selling cigarettes. So you guys will not have to go far to find those. And also hopefully looking to sell some kind of memorabilia glasses. I'm going to be working with the Liquid Library and Max to create uh, up to 10 drinks. So if you guys have any special drinks, it's going to be an occasion. I'm going to have like a five main on the uh, menu and I'm going to kind of rotate in like another five. So if you guys ever have an occasion or there's some kind of celebration or something, it's also going to be a lounge area. So if you Talk guys want to have a meeting milk, that's know. not in Mission Row, you guys can feel free to go over there and there will be a lounge and meeting space for you guys to chill. It's going to be kind of like a dive bar lounge kind of esque vibe. So come look for that in the next coming or. I would or, say a couple of weeks. I have an uh, idea. Be fully decorated we could do house, Ranger it. Ale, which is just yeah. ginger ale. We the I think that would be funny That's for it. Tessa. That's fucking That's awesome. We love that. Oh. I bought a house today. Um, guys, it's time to get a little serious. Oh. In light of the la latest announcement, um, oh I just God. need people to keep an eye on Fitzpatrick and Fingal. Huh? Just, uh... Hold them accountable for their actions, even when intoxicated. Especially Fitzpatrick. Fitz is Fitz has done nothing wrong. He was screaming, leaving the lobby earlier today with two beers in his hand. Yeah, been there. Yeah. Um, listen, what? we all like Wait, Fitzpatrick here. I don't know right? why that made me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was, he was <laughs> double fisting in the lobby. Said, <laughs> whoever said that maybe whoever said that made me fucking laugh. I'm not gonna was lie. He Lucian? Yes. <laughs> Making bison laugh is not a big feat. Oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> it was during this meeting, dude. This has been boring as fuck. What? The you don't hell? like my jelly donut? Except for, do except for Juno's announcement. Juno and oh, uh, Pawn's announcements were pretty nice. Actually. Oh, see. What the fuck about my blog? I don't think anyone's been excited about a blog <laughs> since like the early 2000s, man. I haven't been excited about well, a blog on. since I got who's rid of my MySpace. Show man. of hands, who's excited about the blog? You announced the block? What the hell? Blog. Only like five people? <laughs> or you should have seen all the hands that went up yesterday for Bass. You people don't appreciate art. <laughs> you got that one. My art. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> My truth. <sighs> oh. All right. Well, you'll now that all that's come to regret it. That's you'll all awesome. fucking regret it. All right. Anybody got anything they want to bring up to this lovely uh, gaggle of people? Hello? What hand in the back there? Who that? It's Samantha. Hello, Samantha. You got to tell you what's up? You good? How's your day? Yeah, one, this bag is glued to my hip. You can search me. I don't have anything. I was wondering about that. Wait, why? Yo, oh, I think she robbed the bank, guys. <laughs> I literally never robbed oh. Wait, how long have you been here? Like, the whole time. <laughs> how the fuck did a lawyer get in here? I'm a prosecutor. I'm not a lawyer anymore. I, dude, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Your voice box cut out for me when you said pros, and I was like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> That's, <laughs> thing right now. That's the announcement. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. This is the stuff Bison Lab said. <laughs> Can someone please explain the joke to me? I don't, don't get it. Uh, well, no, no one needs to explain the joke. Well, go, See the go, jo the go ahead, Samantha. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I want to know this joke. Well, the joke is you said you were a prosecutor, right? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, your voice cut out a little bit, and Bison prostitute thought you were gonna say prostitute. prostitute. Yeah, you said pros, and I didn't hear you say cute, cuter. And I was like, oh shit, what the fuck? And then I, I realized you said prostitute. There we go. No, I don't. I haven't done that since college. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? You know what? With the law school. How do you All right. Oh my. Let's hear this announcement, guys. Teach your own. Teach your own. Your own. Your own. You do whatever you want. No. In all seriousness, one, uh, I accepted an offer about 12 hours ago for the state attorney's office. Uh, I'm a prosecutor, uh, so if you need anything, let me know. Uh, I, the only three cases I can't take are for the next 30 days are anything to do with the clowns, Kenneth Glorbelson, or obviously anything to do with my son. So. Who's your who's son? Who's your son? Erwin Dundee. Oh. Oh, that's. Oh, that's oh. What? <laughs> So, I figured, uh, I'm just gonna ask you a very obvious question. Yeah, go for it. Am I gonna have to sit here and worry about you doing shit that you've done in the past? Uh, no. I've I've given full reign for anyone in the UPD to raid my stuff, subpoena my stuff. Like, it's one of the things that with with Knight and Glafaxi, I'm extremely open about everything. Okay. Who's the state attorney's office? Is that, is that who you said hired you? Yep. Who, who is that? Uh, that's run by Odessa Glafaxi, and then that's right underneath Brian Knight. Okay, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. My paperwork should be finalized by Friday, but I accepted the offer earlier this afternoon. Yeah, it's like a DA's office, but we, like, we run for the whole state so we can help the rangers and the troopers well, and stuff I have like a, that. Uh, so, Lucian's question first, I guess, on that one. Oh, no, I was just, uh, so, like, Dundee's, you're, you're, are you gonna, like, admit that you're a bad, a bad parent first? Uh, whoa, good whoa, 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 okay. Whoa. Good question. Whoa, that is personal. She's stuff. Are you threatening me on the phone. Hold on. I hey. get it. I have not been threatening say, on the phone. I think there's a better I, way to oh, phrase this. Fuck. I think there's a better way to phrase this. I'm sorry, Samantha. I think what he meant it's to ask fine. was, have you come to terms with being a bad parent yet? Yes. That's oh my god. god. That's oh not any better, god. dude. I mean, I mean, I feel like that actually is worded better. Okay, so I'll, I'll say this, and it's what, I've, it's what I told a couple of people today. Everyone who commits those kind of levels of crimes has deep levels of trauma and needs support. As long as he's, like, if he tries to murder 10 cops versus 20 cops, I think I'm doing <laughs> a good job. So what, what is your deep level of trauma and need of support after what you did? What did I what do? What did you do to him to have this level of deep trauma? Well, I, oh, yeah, I, hang I, on a minute. Yeah, that's down, a better question, you, actually. What, I'm okay. What did you do to Dundee that gave him this level of trauma? See, I didn't do anything. See, I've been his mom for three question. months, yo. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh, he, so, so in, in the past, since, thing. since you've become his mom, he's he's created a cult. What the fuck did you do to him? I, I, I didn't do anything. He, someone tried to murder him, and then he got brain damage. I've been trying to get him into therapy. It's it's a whole ordeal. This right? is all news to me. Shut the fuck okay. up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Sweet. Right, anyway, who asked? What? No, I do. He was dead. What? Yeah, I held his skull in my hand. It's a long That's story. That's insane what? to me. Yeah. I have a question, Samantha. You're such yeah. a bitch. Yes, <laughs> the man in the back. Uh, hello, Bloom cop here. Um, I was actually just talking about the DA's office earlier and how it always failed. Uh, the reason it would fail, in my opinion, was because the DA's office actively worked against cops whenever the entire reason for a DA's office to exist is to, you know, work with the police. Uh, so going forward, are you here That's to not true at all, us actually. or help us? Absolutely not. It's one thing that I agreed with Odessa on. Uh, sure, is that our, our, whole po our whole intention is to, one, if there are officers that don't understand how to articulate laws, uh, it, is, it is our job to help articulate that in a way that people can understand. Uh, secondly, we're here to support in the back. If there are charges that you guys want to push and you need an attorney, uh, then it would be us going, hey, this charge might be better. What do you think? And you go, nah. And we're like, all right, cool. And so we can either take the case or not. Like, say, for example, uh, someone's like, oh, yeah, this guy punched me. I'm going to charge him for attempted second degree murder, even though he was basically naked and didn't have a weapon. Then we don't have to naked take that people case. people can kill people. Yes, but like, man, if he doesn't have brass knuckles, what are we supposed to do? What if he's slamming your head against the pavement over and over? Oh. And screaming, so, I'm going to kill you. So I, I just want to... The has had in the past, Samantha. I need you to open your horizons. Okay. Well, first of all, the DA had no choice but to take your bullshit case if you had bullshit charges. Secondly, you're telling me, Samantha, that as a prosecutor for the state attorney's office, you have the right to say no to representing a case for the state. 
Uh, yes, because we okay. want to encourage the officers to also continue to to do that because we don't want to be overworked. So because the, so the suggestion in the DOJ, I don't know if anyone knows this, the suggestion in the DOJ for non prosecutors is four max cases uh, like soft max and then a fifth one for friends and family. I obviously work far more than that. Before I was disbarred, I had 12 cases under my belt. <laughs> uh, I just released a few more and now I'm under five. Uh, so we're pushing really hard to keep that minimum so we don't burn out. <laughs> so since you have the ability to decline any case that you don't want to take for whatever reason, I'm assuming we don't need to employ y'all as well? Uh, as far as I'm aware, no. That would be something to bring up to uh, That wasn't Odessa. like a diss. I, I definitely like getting lawyers to do a lot of shit for me and paying them, as I'm sure you and you know. Uh I feel like officers could really utilize this, but I was curious if it was being forced on us or not. Uh, as far as I'm aware, no, that'd be something to bring up to to Knight or Glyphaxi. Alrighty. That being said, I, though, if I find out anybody's disrespecting them or treating them like shit just because, in quotes, they're a lawyer and you're a cop, I'll beat the fuck out of you, and I don't care about the punishment I get for it. Prosecutors are the good lawyers. It doesn't. I, I know, but people are still going to try to shit on them because they always have, especially when we had a DA's office. If I find out people are shitting on them just because they can... I'm going to get pissed. They're trying to help us. They're going to get the shit into the sick majority of the time. Don't fuck with them. Be as nice as you can. They're going to be as, as nice as they can. That being said, the positions above me uh, for like assistant state attorneys and the deputy state attorney and obviously the, the, the head state attorney will be running law classes and offering it for officers so that like those who are weak on their, their case laws or need help on articulation or, or, or processing specific things, we're happy to help. If That's the intention. Cadet, sorry, I thought you were finished. I was just going to chime on to that. If you're a cadet in this room especially one in the PBSO or the BCSO in a whole, you should know that we have, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Court sign-off. So that should definitely be something you're interested in, in talking with Samantha or the aforementioned people. I, well, well as, as a direct representative of the SAO, <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't oh, run the me. law classes directly under that, but if anyone actually needs help, I'm, I'm more, more than happy to do that. Classes, but yeah. Yeah. That's it. I don't got nothing unless anyone has any questions. You avoided the answer earlier, the question. Which was what? Yeah. Did, have you come to terms with being a bad mother? I do the best I can. The Thank best you. I can do is support oh, him and try to make him have best, better decisions. He's his own person. If he commits a terrorism, that's on him. You still love he him, is though? just not answering this question. <laughs> I'm not a bad mother because I try to support so him to make better to decisions. Terms. Okay, explain to me. Okay, how do I... How I, do I, I, I I think we should move past the uh, that, and you know, if uh, she wants to figure out her mother issues, you can go to therapy for that. This is not. Happy late Mother's Day. This is not a place for. He didn't call uh, me for that. Mother's Day. Oh there my is. God! Oh, right. oh, yes. Now here is coming oh, yeah. out. Now. I mean, not, not really All right. Even my okay. clown children did that. You, have, you, you got have clown children? children? Yeah. Yeah, the oh no, Tessa. Why right. are we okay, okay well, uh, thank you for coming up and telling us about oh, that. Oh, relax. Um, it's fine. Again, awesome. Fantastic. Good night. That no was a lot to process. Um, yo, is that is that Libby? Yeah, that's me. Hey, you got anything you want to bring up? Don't bother oh, her. No? no? All right, bet. Anybody have anything no? else they want to bring up? Fahrenheit, do you have something you want to bring up? Huh? You have a, you have something you want to bring up? What, what, what do you mean? Like an apology to me or something? This motherfucker ah! hasn't been paying Podium. attention to the meeting. Podium Fahrenheit. Just got here. Uh, I got something. Fahrenheit? I got something. Oh, 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 oh you an apology? I'm definitely here and listening. Oh, you remember the last time I spoke Wait, to can you? Wait, uh, can you tell us oh, who you are? Because yeah, none yeah. of us know who you are. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> what? Hi, <laughs> class. Oh, uh, I'm Marco of Holiday. Not in front of. Oh, but as long as you respect their habitat and give them a wide berth, then you'll be fine. They're just natural creatures, and they'll they'll react accordingly if they feel threatened. Give so as long as you have a creature, Bob. That's right. Kind of like so, your for those of you that right, probably right, don't know me, which is majority. Okay, right Thank I'm you for Marco the 13 Holiday. months, by the way. I used to be an FTO and a senior deputy, and then I got fired. Hold on. Stop living in the past. I got fired. I was homeless for like a month and a half. You and everybody else, man. Yeah, and now I'm back. 
I'm back. I got rehired at the last pizza party on Friday. Uh, Woo! Yeah, I'm back and better than ever. And you will you see me 100% more than you have before. How you are there? How you are now? How are you better now? 100 times zero is still zero, man. What's this gonna mean? You'll see Wait. me 100% more of the time. Bison's point stands. <laughs> My point still stands. 100% of zero is still zero. And I said what I said. You turns. You're gonna be surprised. This is my this is my glow up era. Yes, my hero. That's right. When you say glow up era, do you mean like your eyes are gonna glow or some shit like the photo? The, the yes, like this. Hippo. Ow. Are you becoming a hippo? I am gonna become Ooh. the hippo. I'm gonna oh tear God. these criminals apart. Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, oh, Holiday. Oh, you know hippos can't That's right. swim. They just jump off the bottom of the seabed or the floor or like the lake bed whatever they're in yeah they just lunge yeah, they're like, very they're like quickly. a couple times if they could float i'd be fucking surprised those motherfuckers are like giant muscles with feet imagine how strong their legs are for pushing off that hef uh, that heavy mass i've seen them like ram a car once that shit was crazy should, we should ask Damn. your uncle an expert on uh how strong they are oh my yeah. god although, we although that is it <laughs> but only half, the back. other half was in the hippos more Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he okay? You, your turn. Is he no, okay? Oh, Did you just oh, what, what, what am I doing? Podium. Podium, fair enough. Okay, Podium. what am I doing? I feel like we have some unsettled business here. Oh, what, we, what do, we, we do, we do, we do. Yeah. Hold on, let me, let, me, let, me, let me do this correctly. Let me do this correctly. Give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'll do this correctly. <sighs> Just Look what you did. All right. Wow. Wow. All right. Cool. All right. That was a great all announcement. Right. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, um, maybe anything else they want to bring up? Fahrenheit, you've had your opportunity. Not oh. happening. Oh. Not happening. You had your opportunity. What? Oh, okay. My bad. Hey, wait. Has he got a job? Because if so, right I mean, did you get a job, Fahrenheit? I did. Well, get up here and oh. talk about it. Did he just, did hey, get he the just... fuck up here. What are you doing? What the hell? Give me what am I doing? What's up, guys? Oh, uh, this guy. Yeah, I want to getting a job. Uh, over at the Sonor, you know, Sonora Desert Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Just, uh, woo! Uh, congratulations, man. Yeah, it's, been job. it's been pretty. It's been a pretty bumpy ride, but you know, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work hard, make you guys proud. We're gonna run this shit up and do it good. Are you stealing valor? No, I'm not stealing valor. Why are you still in the UPD and dispatch and have a 300 call sign? Oh yeah, I need to change it. I just got hired recently, so. Really? Then what's your well, get on that. Yeah. Triple nine. Congrats. Sweet. Oh, we love that. We love new hires. Is someone going to tell them that triple nine is Christmas? LSPD really? also picked up Jessica Williams, wait, 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 baby. Wait, 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 I don't know if she's here, but she's the best. Just, we just did Columbo. We just did Christmas. What the fuck? I need to uh, talk all to right. Nico. Do we have a slay word of the day? No. Oh, yeah, no. No slay word. And is Kurt here? Is Kurt here? No. No is no, the slay no, word Kurt. of the day. No is this no powerful no. word should be used more often. It's a fantastic no. word. All right, if anybody have anything else, otherwise no. um see I use it in a sentence. Perfect. Ooh. All right. Oh wait, test you. Hold up. Something's going up. Something. Whoa, is that gonna be a hippo? <gasps> it's a hippo. Oh my god. 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 Is it chasing flashbacks? Me? Hold on, it's chasing okay, them. It's I have seen this video. It's, it's actually chasing the bull. It's terrifying. I'm, I'm gonna be. Have you seen? Have you face. seen that video of that giraffe chasing <laughs> that dude? Oh that shit's frightening. Oh yeah. Deep throating a flagpole. Huh? What? All right. What? Well, with that, with that being said, everybody, get out there, have fun, but do your job, but also have fun, but also don't do your job. You have an announcement? I just don't want to see that. Hold on. We're right here. We have another announcement. Wait, 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 wait. It's not important. But it's important to me. I am a, I, I am assistant to the sheriff today, Canoli. But yeah. He did say I could wear the stars and drive a charger, but uh, anyway, the, the the point is, uh, I'm the assistant to the sheriff for today, and uh, Canoli never actually gave me his contact details, so don't actually come to me for anything. Uh, if you need anything, um, I, I've just been doing uh, PR stuff for the SDSO today. Someone died. Rest in peace, <gasps> them. I Someone. believe there were a police officer and a doctor at Is some point. Me? Wait, what? Kazumi anymore. has passed away. If you are aware of Kazumi, mean? they what? are. Oh. Uh, uh, they have sadly passed away. Um, if you're a family friend or a contact of Kazumi. Yeah. 
Yeah, there, there's there's some details there that I'll uh, omit. Um, but uh, if you knew her, uh, she has unfortunately passed away, and you can reach out to her friends and family uh, for more information on that. Okay. She was part of the SDSO and a, and uh, and was a doctor, so you might know him. All right, thank you. That's all. All right, somebody. Yeah, died. hippos aren't. Um, um... Keep them I wouldn't in consider thoughts them a predator. And, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers, everybody. Thoughts and prayers. Oh my god. Uh, all right, get out. <laughs> get out. No. Can you put uh, that on the projector? Your mother's hippo related. <laughs> all right, get out of here, everybody. Oh Have a good oh one. Stay safe out there. Oh Stay out of trouble. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Well, that's a compliment, honestly. I assumed you were looking it up. I need to piss like a racehorse. Hey, did you, I'm gonna be around for you My brain shut off about 45 uh, minutes ago. How long are you gonna be around for? Oh, almost two hours. Are you actually? Yeah. Tessa, why? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me chat to Tessa. Wow. And I'll call you. What? The? Uh, whoa, whoa. I don't like that cut. Hold on. What a fine you Jesus. Yeah, whatever, man. God. All right, thanks, man. I'll be waiting. You're gonna be waiting. Isn't nature beautiful? That's fine. Just let me know. All right. <clears throat> okay. Oh uh, Tessa, can you put the thing I sent you up on there? I. Why can't you do oh, it? Is it? I just oh, realized. Right. Is it the same? <laughs> I don't know. There it is. No! <laughs> oh, I've seen this one nearly as far as I thought it was gonna go. Bloom, Bloom, I should call get her. rid of that, <laughs> Bloom. Well, am I imagining it going all the way down the throat? How could it oh, go geez. even further with Jesus the fence Christ. there? The, the head is turning, oh, so it actually, I think, is, um, just going cheeking along the side. Um. <laughs> just cheeking it? I, I don't think cheeking it. it, but I think I it's, like, coming out the other side. Marco, you want me to send you this? Let's not go down the throat. <laughs> no, I'm good. You sure, Marco? I hate this. Yeah, anyway. Good. Honey, I need to do my head a minute. Just move it. It's better than using teeth. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, man. All right, what? Holiday, I sent it to you. <laughs> what? SDSO. Oh, Hello. You. I'm back home. Look, it just brought back so much nostalgia. Did you say that shit was happening on a Monday, Juno? Um, the auditions for the judge stuff is happening on Monday, but the actual oh, event okay. is next month because I want to do an event every month. Once, I don't know uh, if I month. should be a judge or show off, uh, spread my wings and show how talented I am. You know, you could you know, do whatever your heart desires, Bloom. Bloom, I'm if thinking... you're a judge, then you don't have to show up. Hmm. What do you mean you don't have to show up? He has to show up. DOJ Otherwise, joke. You're going to be banned. You're going to be banned from all the future events then. A DOJ joke. Yeah, no, it's uh -huh. open your DOJ app, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. I was actually on a talent um, show over a year yeah. ago, and, the, and I won. Uh, it was when Bobby Belgium was still a normal human being. Oh, yeah, he's gone full Bon Bon now. I'm taking advantage it. of it for a TV I show. I don't have any oh, talents, so. if that makes you feel better. Any, like, if you feel, if I'm you sure you have better. talents. Look at that giraffe. Oh. Oh my Anything God, can be a talent. Are you... Well, I mean, I don't know how to play an instrument. You mentioned last week I wanted I to chat with sing. you. Um, I can barely... God, I don't remember that. Uh, what did I want to talk about? A single sentence? Can you like um, put your legs behind your head and walk on your hands or something? No. Oh, contortionist, yeah. Can you chain um, smoke? No. I'm allergic to whiskey. Oh. What happens and to I your body? I think I might be colorblind. I haven't figured that one out. Wait, yet. what color is my hair? Um. Yeah. Oh, she's thinking about it. That's bad. What color is the plant over there? Which one? That. The plant. One next right. to the TV VCR. Green. Okay, so it's, it's not, not red, red green, green color right yeah. 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 I'm good. Huh? Someone saw someone said that the, the red line on the road, the curb was yellow, and I was like, no, it's Oh red. yeah, that's the damnest thing. I, I run into those people all the time. He was like he said not in my eyes, and I was like, Fuck, there might be something wrong with hey, my Tessa, eyes no, now. No, no, like, same to me, line? but the the thing is yellow just uh, means loading yeah, and unloading I have to zone, talk. which Did still you know is a yeah. Thank you. It's meant for box trucks and that variety of shit to unload stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, can we step outside? Like, it's out there. Okay. Do you want me to be a witness to this fight that's about to happen, Tessa? Wait, what? What, what fight? Scully, she just asked to see you outside. 
Oh my god, now she's trying to fight me. Yeah, I'll fucking fight you, Bloom. I'll fight you. No, there will be no fighting. But I won't. No. Because I. Really? It's okay, I'm not a violent person. Hello. Um, Hi. I'm just checking in on you and seeing how you're doing. Oh. My God. Um, oh. Yeah. Did you just swap this out? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh. You're saying that because I say that when I feel bad and I've been feeling bad an awful lot lately. This is not okay. Uh. Maybe. But that's okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I know a lot of people will say this out of courtesy and whatnot and because it's the right thing to say, but I'm here if you want to talk about anything. And I'll take it to the grave considering the fact that someone we both know is going away very soon. That's that's something that I can't talk about. The only people I can talk to about it is is, is you. And I'd probably I probably won't talk to Bass about it. Even though he knows everything. Um well I guess what I'm trying to say is like what you tell me I won't I won't say. Because I, I value you and I wouldn't risk risk that. Um well, But uh, I also know that there's other people that you'd probably want to talk to. Well, to be honest, I've been forced into a corner having to talk to some people about some things that I didn't really want to talk about. But, um... I'm dealing with a lot. And... Admittedly, I'm not really doing okay. But... That's okay. Because I'm working on it one day at a time. Well, that's all you can do. But, um... Yeah. I, I can be someone you can lean on if you need it, or if you want it. Um... If you need me, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. And I won't just... Oh, Flop! No <clears throat> right now! Flop! Uh, could we have a minute, Flop? Yeah. Are you, are you heading out? Huh? Are you heading out? I was gonna go out and patrol. But... Okay, don't wait up for me or anything. Okay. Give me a call. Thank you. Um, I can be uh someone to lean on if you need it or if you want it. Um, I won't ask for it. Um, I won't push you to do anything that you're not wanting to do. Um, that's not how this 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 stuff works. Um. Uh. But yeah, uh, if you if you call me and you need me, I'll I'll, I'll drop what I'm doing. Um, it's not something that I'm just saying either. Like I'll I'll be there. You were asking me what kind of shoes you should wear, and you went. And hey, um, okay. we can, we you know you, you're not doing the best right now, nor am I. So we won't be doing the best together. So you know, you, you don't feel alone, because you're not alone. I think that's part of my issue is that I have a hard time uh wanting help. And it's not that I'm not asking for it or or anything, you know, cuz I I know that I could. It's kind of just a me issue where I I like my independence. And I struggle with just wanting to involve anyone. So that's kind of why things have gotten to the point that they're at. So, uh... I'll, I'll keep it in mind. But if, if I don't 
ask, uh, try not to take it personally. I won't. I, I, I won't. I'm not that, that type of individual. I just want you to be okay. Or at least have someone you thought you can go to. And if that person isn't me, then that's... I'm not asking for it to be me. I just... I care about you, and I think I've made that clear. So... Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I really appreciate that. And I'm sorry you're going through it, too. Now, if you need anything, you can let me know. Is a test tub a mukbang in a tub? Can't really promise I'm in the best, uh... ...state to help out a lot, but... Uh, whenever you gorge yourself on food, for no reason. Um, I, I appreciate it. Um... Been there. Just that. Uh, he, he's just leaving on Friday, that, that's it. Friday? Put around yeah. Me. Okay. I thought it was going to be sooner than that. Because, uh... Two babies develop differently. I was told... I think... Last week was going to be the last day, but then I saw him. Yeah, there was some, um... Some stuff that he was trying to work out, something is something that he really needed, and um, he finally got it. So he's he's heading out on Friday. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I can't, but I don't believe that he yeah, we bought a house together today. A what? Yeah, we got a house in in Mirror Park. It was like one of the first things we sort of came up with, where he was like, if he got the troopers. Then uh, we'd buy a house together. Otherwise, he he would be putting money towards a charger. Um, but it was like one of those things, you know, something for him to get back to. And he's been staying at my motel since like for like a month now. While I've been staying at my dad's place, so I don't know. The ID came up. I offered it. He accepted it. And then yeah, he also got me a car. He what? Got me a car. Did he give you anything else? What do you mean? A couple other things, sure. Mm. He's. I know what you're thinking. Uh, but I, I've been get I've been getting him a shit ton of gifts as well. Um. But so yeah, I'm inclined to think it's not it's not one of those things not not what you're thinking. Yeah, I thought it was really an interesting question. Um, I, I'll be I'll be okay. I'll be honest with you. I'm I'm scared for for him. Like very scared. And uh, th this this whole premise, yeah, him good. leaving, hits close to home. I do that though. Whenever so I. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. Yeah, that's what Tessa think thinks, Jimothy. As well. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with it. Well? One day at a time. That's how... I think anyone gets through this kind of stuff. Not every day is going to be a good day. Uh, far from it, probably. But there will be good days. And, you know, uh, once it's all over, uh, then we won't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, um... I joined the Shark Rangers unit to help out because they've been oh, doing yeah. border stuff. Yeah, yeah, because I, I think, I think, like, see, at least seeing the island, it, it won't feel like he's all that far away. Um, and we don't like the Shark Rangers don't necessarily go over there. So there's that.
Okay. But yeah, one one day at a time. Uh, yeah. I feel like for me, um, I'm gonna go hang out with my brother because I, I, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride with him and talk to him. Um, but yeah, I'm, I meant everything that I said about being here and whatnot for you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I go with you. I think you're the only one that's been, uh, willing to talk to me about it. I don't think you're the only one that's noticed, but everyone else is being pretty polite. Um, I didn't, if I were in your position, I'd want someone to do the same for me. Uh, it's not, cause I, I don't really know how to ask for help, so... I just see it that way, and also you're a human being. Um, who deserves at least the bare minimum, and I see this as the bare minimum. So yeah. Um. I'm not afraid. Well. Yeah. Um. I'm hoping to have my surgery stuff sorted out soon, so hopefully I'll be at least not in any physical pain. Um, let me know what day it is and what time it is. Uh, I'll be there and I'll take you there and I'll see, okay. I'll wait until your surgery's done and then um, take it from there. You can, if I'm not around, just honestly, just, just shoot me an email or a text and, and yeah. All right. Thanks, Juno. Yeah, I got you. All right, you stay safe. I don't know if you're getting out there, but yeah, stay safe. I am. All right. You too. I'll see you out there. Bye bye. So is it the same thing? No, you can't enter the same thing twice as well. Is it? Yeah, you can't do the same thing. That's a different thing. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Now I remember. Uh. I can't really remember. What I was going to say to her, I had I had some tips. So a photo you can't put the number in, otherwise it'll fuck up the yeah, it'll fuck up the uh embed. Which report is it? They're just not gifts, they're TikToks. There's more. But I just found out it existed. What the hell do you know about police work, non solo cadet?
think it was just showing off. Yeah, I, I think it was just showing off. You're supporting racist? Oh god. Hello. Hey, sorry it took me so long. There was a long meeting and then, uh, I had to talk to a couple other people before you. But oh, that's, I'm that's free really now, fine. so what's going on? Well, uh, first things first. Um, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Shout out, J. Cole. Anyway, first things first in regards to our well, conversation. Huh? Uh, don't worry about it. I'm I'm in a good mood. But anyway, um, <laughs> in regards to our conversation, uh, you had an appointment with Tolbot 12 days ago. And uh, you were supposed to have a follow-up scheduled within the week and make a decision on your management within the week. And I was wondering if any of that had been done. Uh, he didn't say within the week, he said, uh, the next week, so I was going to contact him this week. At least that was my understanding of it. I have to schedule, um, a follow-up appointment, and then during that follow-up he said I need to make an appointment for my surgery. Yeah. Yeah, I was just, uh, I will, I was really just checking in to see, like, how you were doing, uh, because from the looks of this report, um, I read it when it was put in, uh, you, you seem to have, uh, some pain. Yeah. Yeah, how's that? How's I, that uh, just recently took my last ultra set, um, mm. and I'd been trying to go without, because... You know, I don't want to be on, uh, you know, opioids, uh, longer than I need to be or more than I should be. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they lasted a little longer than they needed to. Um, so I am in need of a refill, but I was going to contact Tobot tomorrow if I could. And then schedule my thingy. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, I was just really checking in. I wasn't trying to like jump in and 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 take uh, Hillbot's patient or anything. I was okay making sure you were taking care of yourself is all. Um, yeah. Not that you had. Uh, um. Make sure you just didn't give up on getting treatment. Uh. Anyway. Um. Another thing I wanted to ask. Um, so, Wyland's funeral is, uh, Thursday, uh, at 8.30 Eastern. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna have it, um, he's not gonna be buried in the backyard, he's gonna be cremated between the backyard of my house, um, this little gathering with some people. Um, let's have some people speak, um, and talk about him. I, I wanted to extend an invitation to you if you wanted to come. Yeah, uh, Thursday at what time? Um, 8.30 Eastern. Yeah, I should be able to make that. Okay. Okay, for sure. Hey, Tessa, how are you doing? For sure. Um, another thing to... Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, I'm, I'm good, okay. I'm good. I'm gonna do some jet flying practice for right now. <laughs> Sorry, Jeffy. Oh. Oh, you're on the phone, I'm sorry. I am, yeah, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry if I don't look like it. It's okay. I guess I wasn't uh, holding my phone up to my ear. He thought I was um not on the phone. Anyway, sorry. Say that again. Um, I was. I don't even remember what I was saying. I just said thank you for asking. Um, but uh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, you were saying it was just to get together uh, for oh, a yeah, while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a, just a small thing. It probably won't be too big. I'm going to invite some doctors, and I'm going to invite um, friends and people who knew him um, to, to come by. And I wanted to uh, extend an invitation to you, but I also wanted to ask, um, I heard that you had been doing uh, a few things with Toledo Pets by chance. Sort of, yeah. Um, I, um, so Wyland really wanted a dog. And that was like a big goal for him as he was working toward getting himself, um, a dog. Unfortunately, he never got there, but he really wanted to name the dog Zigzag. And I recently have went through the, um, adoption process and paid and, and gotten, uh, a a Westie named Zigzag, and I would really love to have her at the, um, at the funeral, if at all possible. Um, I don't know if I can help with that kind of stuff, because I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not really working for Polito Pets. I'm just assisting them, uh, with their manufacturer, mm. uh, to get the, the collars, so... I would have to make sure that everything's in order that way before I was okay. able to help with anything. Um, because okay. it's not really just something that I can do, if that no, makes sense. Because they've got I, their waiting list and all that. No, I, I completely understand. Um, but I, just, I uh, can try to explain the circumstance, and I think I, that they might be on board, so. I would really appreciate that. Um... Yeah, that would mean the world. I to will me. I will give it a shot and I don't want to make any promises because obviously it's not my not my monkeys, not my circus, so to speak. 100%, 100%. Um so I'll I'll see what I can do, but if not, I apologize. Don't don't apologize. You even making an effort to do something is more than I could ask. Um okay. I just wanted I I just I, I appreciate the help is all. Whatever All right. capacity. Um, I've asked um, I asked a few people today. There wasn't really a lot of Pluto Pets people around. Um, but I'd, I'd put out uh, that's Sean. And uh, Sean said it's a waiting list thing. And I didn't get to speak to Shirley because I think Shirley does a lot of the animal handling nowadays. Um, I think she was homesick today. Um, yeah, thank you, again. Yeah, and Just, uh, if you see somebody that can approve it or, or anything, and they can contact me and tell me, um, okay. feel free. Yeah, I'll... Um, like uh, anyone I'll, that I'll... works for them and, and has the ability, um, I'm probably going to ask Damien if he's around, but I think he might have just gone on an LOA. I don't know. All right. Well, uh, so, if I see anyone around, I'll um, I'll ask them. If not, I'll speak to Shirley in the morning. Okay. And you let me know, or I have her let me know, or whatever. Uh, we'll do. But I'll I'll do what I can in the meantime. All right. Uh, I appreciate it, Tessa. Thank you. And uh, I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right. And I'll um, get in contact with Pillbot tomorrow. Yeah. Sorry if I was. Um, annoying about that. I just no. It's okay. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I didn't even realize it'd been twelve days. Yeah. No. I I, rem I just remember reading over the report. And I knew I was going to talk to you today, so I I just looked it up to yeah. check in. Uh, I think on my days off when I'm home relaxed and I don't really think about it so much because it's not as big of a. It's not as big of a deal. You're not on duty. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. All right. Well, yeah, I'll let you uh, I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. I'm sure there's people that 
need to talk to you more than I do. So I will let you go. And uh, All right. we'll be in touch soon. Okay, Jeffy. Right. Bye bye. Bye, Jessa. Okay, yeah, that's good. Honestly, getting a refresher is ne never a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry bit, about that, Espinosa. <laughs> no, no worries. I was like, <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt the uh, phone call. That's okay. Mm -hmm. How's everything good doing? to see you right. both. Yeah. yeah. How you been, Tessa? I thought you, I thought you died, well, Marco. I'm glad you're alive. Yeah, I thought I would have died yeah. too, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I was homeless for a little bit. That shit was crazy. Uh, you'll be all right. Yeah. Well, I'm just uh, refreshing myself real quick before I actually head out there. Didn't want to just run out there and do something like dumb. Or no, not dumb, but like do something wrong. You know what I mean? I could I have been prevented over a quick read over. Changed that drastically. I think you should be all right. Oh, okay. Bison was the one that was like, yeah, I'll just run you through a quick, uh, like, update of stuff that's changed. So I was like, okay, well, something must have changed in that case. Yeah. A little refresher yeah. couldn't hurt, but I don't think anything's going to set you back that badly. Okay. All right. Well, Unless we'll you plan on, like, shooting people or something. I don't know that. Wait, Maybe. hold on. What, what's changed in that regard? I don't know. I mean, it's still the same thing, right? Like, someone's pointing Presumably. a gun at me, I can shoot them. I, mean, I, don't, I don't just shoot people to shoot people. Well, that's that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I don't think you'll have to worry about any problems. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll take your word for it. I guess I'll just head out there for right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I'll see you, you guys got this, around. Marco? Yeah. I'm going to go practice some uh, jet landing and flying. I haven't been uh, on a jet Ooh, in a while. okay. Yeah. All right. We'll have fun. All right. Thank you. If you need anything, Tessa, let me know, yeah? Okay. Thank you. All right. No worries. Oh, I remembered. I remembered one thing. What, what happened? We can tackle people now. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's no longer an SLP violation. We can't. Oh, yeah, finally. We can. Yeah, it's great. That's that's actually the best yeah. thing I've heard in a while. Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh. Yep. All right, well, that's good to know. We'll All sure, right. Be sure to tackle someone down on the ground. Okay, yeah, do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll see you around. <laughs> Honestly, that was probably one of the only things that he's missing context on. Everything else is like <laughs> common sense. I think as long as he doesn't go out there and start killing people, we're, we're it's not gonna have to worry. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, um... Oh, shoot. I need to talk to... <clears throat> it might be on a call?
collar. Look at all these ship bugs going out. You guys are cute. Little sheepers. Could be handled right off the bat. Hey Tessa, right off the bat without hey. having to worry about anything. All right. Yeah. Uh. Well. I mean, that's pretty like the simple rundown of that program. Um. When the cadets like got their sign off, they'll come. Uh, Jess or. Uh, what's your name? Oh my God, Clive Bob will like scoop you in and let know. That let you know that they've done their sign off and then you're just essentially like it's almost like an approval of their sign off which sounds like you know i don't trust them to do it but they have like five categories to focus on i want people who only have one category to focus on is it going to be the cadet's job to come find me whenever they get their first sign off if like they need their second one Hello, Tessa. Hey, sorry about this. Um, I was gonna talk in the captain's office, but I think it's occupied, so we'll just talk over here. That's fine. Uh, let me just make sure it's locked. Okay, so, um, this is pertaining to a situation, uh, I think maybe last week or maybe a little while before then. Um, I just wanted to pull you aside and talk to you about a situation that happened at the prison. Um, with Avery, yourself, and I think Perry. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you recall yeah. that incident? Yeah, the mayhem thing, yeah. Yeah, could you just run me through what exactly happened there? Yeah, um, so me and Perry were just, like, chilling. We saw that, I think we saw that Kevin and, Kevin and someone, I think it might have been Johnny. I could be making, messing the names up. Oh, hey. There's so many of the boys, I don't know all, <laughs> who's who. Um, so there was Kevin and someone, someone got set up. And I remember just looking at it going, hey, we should go laugh at them at visitation. So we're just going to go do a Nelson haha -ha at them and then walk away. Um, and so we, uh, we have good, like we're on like good rapport with them. They would have laughed at us laughing at them. So we were just going to go and say, can't believe you got arrested while I was busy. Um, and then uh, I asked Avery if she wanted to come because she was not doing much. And we were like, oh, we're just going to go talk to the guys in prison and go on patrol. Um, we asked on radio if the DOC guy wanted to just like fetch them for us, um, if he wanted to kind of like be involved in in that. And uh, so we got the DOC to to grab them for us. We could have it that wasn't really required, but uh, in like in the grand scheme of things. But we got the DOC to come down and grab them for us. Uh, we told him over radio like he don't he doesn't need to hang around. Like we like kind of warned him like we're like you don't need to be here. You know like we didn't say that you needed to be there, but we're like you know you don't need to be here if you don't. 
want anything to do with these mayhem boys because we don't trust them either. Um, so we went to we went there and we just laughed at them. And then um, there was I think there was a joke about Kevin pulling his pants. And then he said, if you say I think Kevin said if someone says I poo my pants again one more time, the DOC guy gets it. And then his buddy there was um, there was like six other mayhem in visitation. Um, so they started saying Kevin pooed his pants and then Kevin took it out on the DOC guy. So then me, Avery ran in and tried to beat down Kevin and Johnny, who were also trying to beat us down. They beat the DOC guy down. Um, and then Perry tried to handle the crowd outside. Um, and then everyone got arrested and then we handed him off to the DOC guy. And then he said he was going to, after we, I asked him, is there anything you wanted us to do on our end? He said, no, I'll handle it myself. And as I was walking out of the house, like in the infirmary, he was like holding a bat or something. So I was like, all right, good luck, Kevin. And I left. Um, and that was pretty much it at the time. So I thought it was fine. Um, for all things considered, I feel like it could have been like a lot worse if, um, but, uh, it was fine. Okay. Um, Maybe not. I guess it. I guess they had a had feelings about it, so I guess it wasn't as fine as we thought we had left it. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I just uh, I had no, something in my I'm, throat. No, that's okay. Libby, do you mind uh, taking over for a second? I kind of missed the beginning, but I, uh, 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 I don't know what yes, just happened to me, but I can't. Uh, uh <laughs> I just had a really bad coughing. Asking. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I don't know. That's what okay. Was asking, what was it? I just asked to, you know, run me through the situation. Um, yeah, give yeah. give her side Is because. Go ahead. Oh no, I was, I was asking, is there anything more you would like me to elaborate on or um, give more um, detail to? Or... I was going to ask, uh, when Processing. when you guys were asked to stop uh, saying that thing, did you we, stop? Yeah, we stopped. Um, and it was one of their buddies one of the that mayhem continued? Boys. Yeah. Who had, like... And then that was what led to the DOC getting attacked. Yeah. The, the mayhem were rolling real deep at the prison. Okay. Did um, uh, did the DOC participate in any of it? Um, well, when we said on radio, we're like, "Hey, do you want to deal with this?" So we're like, "You don't have to be a part of this. Like, we can just get them into like." We were rolling up. We were said on radio, like, "We do want to get the boys for us." Um. In visitation, we're gonna go say hello to him. Um, and he said, "Yeah, I got nothing better to do." And so we thought he was cool with hanging out. And he stood there uh, in visitation while we were talking to them. Um, he didn't throw any so insults still, or anything. Um, I don't recall him specifically saying anything. Um, okay. Because I wasn't really listening to it. like I'm um, I'm like you know we were just it, we were all just talking shit like just there was so many people like <laughs> you know what I mean like there was like twelve people in visitation at the time like with us and the mayhem what, boys and there was everyone was just talking. What would you say is the overall tone of the whole conversation? Was it you know you it know banter. friendly or was it you know actually kind of aggressive? Oh no! It was it was all it, we were all laughing. Um, it, like the the mayhem boys in visitation were laughing with us, laughing at Kevin being in prison. They uh, they just took it out on the DOC guy because he was there. Was um, Kevin laughing as well before? Yeah, yeah. The, he was like, no, okay. yeah, he was not offended at all. Like in none of this.
he was more like, hey guys, he's like, stop telling me I'm pooing my pants. Otherwise, I'm gonna punch the DOC. And then um, I like, I, it was probably like Niall or something said, so Kevin. They kept saying Kevin poos his pants. It was really dumb. It, the whole thing. It was. It was actually dumb. Like it was. It was not even like it was funny because it was not funny. You know what? I mean? Like it was just. It was just talking just stupid shit, and everyone was just having a laugh. Um. And then what happened after the DLC went down? Um, me and Avery just ran in and just beat the boys down, um, and got them arrested. Was Perry there as well? Yeah, she was handling all okay. the mayhem outside. So our, our literal thought process was, if we escalate this, we're not leaving this prison alive. Like, in the grand scheme of things, there was like eight, like, the, there was two mayhem in the prison, and then there was like like six of them outside of the prison. And so if we had, you know, gone in and tried to even, like, if, we, if they had heard gunshots, like, we wouldn't have got out without a 78's call. And if we had called extra backup in, I don't know if they would have let officers into the prison, you know what I mean? There was probably more mayhem than there were officers available for a 78's call at that time because there was something else going on on the radio. Because I remember that being a thing. There was, like, radio chatter when we were doing the thing at the prison. We didn't want to, like, have a whole scene. Um, but that was that was about it. And then, yeah, Perry hung out hey. outside on the gates just with the boys that were in visitation while we basically beat down their boys in the prison. Okay. I think that kind of oh, so answers was, all my that questions. Our, that's kind of about, like, yeah. We, we thought about, like, because I remember us yelling at him, like, you do anything stupid, we're going to have to shoot you, and then it's going to be a whole thing. And then after the DOC got up, he seemed to be in good spirits. He brought the uh, people who beat him up into the back and was yeah. handling it. Yeah. I thought he was He didn't handling. seem like, mad I or thought anything. he was going to be doing his own thing about it. You know what I mean? Like, getting his own... I didn't did question he, what did he was he, gonna do with them. Did he they express any kind of anger? The last, no, no, he said it's fine. I'll deal with it, and he just pulled out about. It. Did he sound annoyed they, like, he or kind of happy? Like, like no, no, he's like he's like no, no, don't worry about it. I'll deal with it. And then, like, I didn't, I didn't take it as like aggressive. I thought it was a, I thought it was like, don't worry, I got this, guys. You know what I mean? Like, okay, like he kind of like laughed, but I don't know. I couldn't tell you if it was a pissed off laugh or, a, you know, he was laughing. But um, he pulled out a bat and they were in cuffs in the infirmary. So I just walked off and said, good luck. Okay. Um, Reed, do you have any questions? Uh, no, that's it for me. Okay. Um, so obviously we're, we're talking because we did hear about this incident. Um... I'm going to say for right now, you're not in any kind of trouble. Uh, we're still kind of in the discussion uh, phase of it to figure out kind of what happened. Um, okay. And there is potential for strike points for uh, possibly going into the prison, um, not requesting backup, etc. That might be an issue. Um, and then, you know, we were thinking that you guys had instigated this, so... Uh, we're going to keep looking into it and, and see um, what the others say, but I think for right now, you're good to go. I appreciate you being honest yeah. uh, and talking yeah, to I us. I mean, I like if, you, like, if it feels as though we were in this together, like, I mean, yeah, we did go to the prison to go to visit. Like, we didn't have it intended for a right to, like, you know what I mean? Like, we were just going to talk to them, and we did say that, we did try to hint to DOC that he might not want to hang around. Because we had a, not like we had a feeling and we didn't want to like say it outright and we didn't want to say it in front of the guys, you know what I mean? Like that. We were worried for him for getting beaten up before we even got there. Yeah. Um, but we didn't want to exclude him from what we were doing either. It was like that gray area. 
we were like heavily hinted that he didn't have to be there if he wasn't comfortable being there you know what i mean so we tried our best to like not cause a scene even though it happened anyway like, we never yeah. went with the intention to cause a scene we actually tried to do everything we could to like not cause a scene knowing that there was a doc there um but like i mean the alternative is like we don't go to the prison and talk to them in visitation but like I, I don't think that's really fair on like not going seeing people who were in prison yeah well i i don't have any issue with people going down there actions. you know I, yeah. it, it's not that big a deal um yeah i think we've had a lot of escalation going on lately with uh people agitating gangs and saying oh, dumb okay. stuff to them so you know, any any time we get a report of that, we want to look into it. So yeah, I respect it. Yeah, that's why I'm just right. being like fully honest. Like, if there is anything you see in that that you don't agree with, I'm I'm okay with it, and I'll you know learn from from anything. Um, yeah. But yeah, we never went with the intention to like start stuff, and we tried. We got the DNC DOC involved because you know we were going down to the prison and wanted to like get them involved in our banter, but it obviously escalated. Um, but I didn't think he had a problem with it, but I guess, you know, I'm not here to assume he did or didn't have a problem with it, but I didn't get that feeling from him. And I tried to like maintain contact with him like the whole time, like before and after. So I never got told, like I kept asking if he was okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Something like that. And he said, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I'm like, all right, cool. Do you need any help? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll deal with it. And then I'm okay. Like, you know, and then I'm like, all right. And then when the infirmary, I'm like, you need any help in the infirmary? He's like, no, nah, I got this. And he grabs the bat, and then he's like, I'll deal with it. We got our own reports, and I'm, you know, I'm like, cool. And so we then we left. Or well, we we stood outside with the boys in the car park for like ten minutes while they were blasting beats out the back of their car, but um, and having a dance party. But that was about it. Okay. Well, um, we're gonna look into it a little bit more, but. Uh, if you don't hear back from us, don't worry about it. Um, we'll let you know. We were concerned issue. about how deep they were. Like we were, we did have that thought. Like if anything happened, they're they're all they were all there. Yeah. All right. All right. Sounds Thank good. You. Thank you for coming and Question talking 20. to us. I think I'm good. Okay. No worries. Thank you. For me. Thank you. Mm hmm. Are you welcome in the office's room? It's not quite noise. Okay. That's very, very, very interesting. Mm. Before she got expunged, she she robbed us, an officer. Did Avery's story line up with that? Uh, pretty much exactly. Um. Okay. I genuinely believe that. Uh they're telling the truth i don't really see any reason why they would be lying about it um they were both very forthcoming i didn't see any signs of deception uh both stories matched up uh i haven't talked to perry yet uh and i wanted to speak with the dlc to see kind of where his thoughts were on it because i mean obviously this got reported and it's something we have to look into now. So, there was an issue. But, you know, if there is if there is that big of an issue, I don't understand why they would kind of just blow it off in the moment. Um, and, and even then, given what the officers are saying that mayhem finished the instigation like i, I don't know yeah right because it sounds to me like it was banter it was two groups of people I just kind of teasing each other and then it got serious the other side stopped but his buddies continued and led to that outcome So, I, I don't really know if I want to punish them for it, because, I, yes, they shouldn't be going and, you know, 
instigating, but I don't necessarily feel like this was an instigation. I think it was just two groups of people kind of teasing each other. Yeah. I agree. I mean, they, yeah. They did it from the, like, visitation area. It's not like they went into the prison. Yeah, they did go into the prison a fight after the fight. To help. So, yeah, to, to save his life, because he'd been beaten down. He getting beaten, yeah. And, um, I mean, if he had a problem with it, why did he pull out a baseball bat? That's, like, no, I got yeah. This, you know? Yeah. Um, and, you know, make it kind of a joke. As if if he had an, a real issue, I don't think he would be continuing to instigate himself. Yeah, I agree. So, I, I don't know. I'll try and catch Perry, but I can't imagine her story is going to be very different. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, I spoke with Avery. She said pretty much the exact same thing. Um, she didn't think it was that serious, and they all stopped as soon as they were asked. So, you know, I the the fact that Mayhem were outside the prison too, and joking around with the police. I I don't think this was a let's go there and agitate a gang kind of thing. It was, let's go do some community outreach that went bad. Yeah. It wasn't a great outcome, but I... Uh, the baseball bat thing kind of gets me. Like, if... Was it him that came to us with the issue? Or was it his superior? No, it was the... It was the... The warden or deputy warden. Okay. Up. And was was his issue more so with uh, them coming down, or was it more about like the the I, response after the DOC went down? I'm pretty sure his problem was the when Johnny threatened to beat up DOC. They thought that it was PD that like pushed it in further. Okay. But they haven't communicated anywhere that there was more mayhem in the lobby. Yeah, I, I think so there was a little more going or... on and yeah, maybe he misconstrued what happened and assumed. Um, but obviously there's still, I think, one more person to talk to, and then, uh, well, I would like to hear from the one that was actually present and got attacked. Because, uh, respectfully, you know, I think the warden might be getting upset on someone else's behalf. I mean, I don't even like the title of this report. It makes me want to take it less seriously, but... What does it say? Dipship, dipshit cops again. Uh, okay. That's rude. Uh... Yeah, that kind of... That doesn't sit right with me. Uh, that comes uh, across... Lewis is the one who brought it to me. That comes across a little bit like somebody who has an axe to grind, and I don't like that. Yeah. But he has been having some issues, so I'm not gonna... I, I don't want to minimize his concerns because there have been police going up there doing dumb stuff uh but i think this one was a miscommunication so yeah 
we'll, we'll try to see what we can do for him. I just told him I guaranteed it wouldn't happen with him again because, yeah, I, you know, it won't. But we'll, uh, I guess we'll try and catch that Mooney person. I, Moona? Ma Malik Moona. Yeah, I think I've met him. I made yeah, his badge. Talking to Johnny. Uh, I don't really know him very well, but. I don't know if I want to talk to the criminals before I talk to DOC. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that pretty much settles it for right now. Yeah. You need anything else? No, that's it. Okay. And I'm gonna... Any idea on what to have for dinner? What to have for dinner? What are your options? Yeah. Anything, really. Hmm. Mac and cheese? Hmm. Maybe. It's a good idea, actually. Alright. I like a good mac and cheese. Yeah, me too. It has to be real cheesy and salty, though. Yeah. I'm going to go 42 for All right. organized food. Okay, you have a good one. You too. I'm going to track down Flop, make him drive me around. Okay, okay. All right, Lucas. Uh, stay in the car for a sec. <laughs> um. Actually, no. Hop in and we're going to go somewhere different. Somewhere different. And then... Game warden. Hello, are you on motor? I am not. Um, can you drive me around? Yes. I got you. Okay. Are we okay. are, are we are we at our boiling point? Um, no, I just have some food and I want to eat it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I am at MRPD now. Whimsy, you want to get the charger? You know what? It's up to you. I actually don't. Okay. Then I'll I'm come not out. gonna lie. I was very surprised at how bad it was. <laughs> you think it's bad? I think it got worse. Maybe maybe it's placebo. I don't know. Oh. I don't think it Do you think it got bad? Well, I mean I do think that these outperform it a bit. Uh but not on like stairs and stuff. Oh, you know what? Okay, maybe we will go grab the charger. Because you, you are right. You. I kind of, I kind of want the benefit of the stairs. <laughs> I kind of want the stairs, think, Tessa. To be honest, I think at the moment that's the only reason people are driving it. Do you know how many chases we lost two two boosts by the same people in a row because they took the Maze Bank Arena stairs? Sickos. We lost them the same way each time. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Sammy. Oh my God, chat. I was dying just a minute ago. Like, I, I don't know what happened. My throat got like super dry suddenly and I, I kept coughing and i i actually i didn't really hear a lot okay. of her explanation um because I, anyway. <laughs> I was coughing so loud and it's, it's still getting me is this the right car yeah okay That was rough. I think I'm okay now, but man, I don't what want to interrupt. But what to me? kind of food did we find? Plasta. Classic. 
Um. <clears throat> you got any like sides or anything you could maybe slide over? Um. Yeah, yeah. Let me. You're lucky. Yeah, just stop that. Harmony, what do you want? You want some French fries? That'd be great. Any, anything really. I'm, I'm ravenous. I got gotcha you with some fries. And I got you with dessert. Oh, thank you. French fries and a donut. The dinner of queens. <laughs> 270, I created a card. If you guys are responding, be sure to attach. Couldn't exactly tell him what I got because it's, um... Beef stroganoff. Tessa, Tessa wouldn't eat that. Flop's in here too! Yeah, but I need to talk to Tessa. Ow, oh, for crying out loud. What's up? Never mind. I'm good. I'm just kidding. What's going no, on? It's okay. No, it's okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow or something. I'm yanking your chain. Come on. Uh, you know the drop down thing that gives us like less time for more fine when we charge people for misdemeanors and below on the MDW. The, the what? If you charge somebody for a misdemeanor on the MDW, like if you go to on the MDW right now, there's a report that's labeled delete because I made one to test it out. If you go and add a suspect and you add a misdemeanor to it, a you're talking about the percentage drop? Yeah, yeah. Like we used to do like back in the old days. Yeah. Are we, do we still do that? Like, are we still allowed to do that? I, honestly, I didn't think that we did. Cause like right now, so like Julio Thomas is on there right now for assault and battery, right? But if you hit the drop down, you can take off 10, 25 or 50% of his time, but his fine goes up, you know, 50% of his original fine. Oh, um. But I didn't know if we were allowed to do that or if we stick with the cuff timer thing or what. Obviously we'll stick with the cuff timer thing, but like, or if we offer this I'm gonna be well. real. I had no idea that even existed. This has been a thing since the since the economic collapse. Bro, you know, I'm gonna I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know it existed either. I well, like when did it. this? Oh my god! It's been here since you know Los Santos 3.0. Well, I mean, it does the math for you, so I don't see why not. But like, do we will... do, can we offer this or the cuff thing, or do we always have to do the cuff thing? Or what I do you will think? say this. I will say this. Um. There, I, when I was a, a cadet, it, I did ask about it because I noticed it, and I couldn't tell you who it was, but they specifically mentioned not to touch it because we were firm on fines, and that they didn't change. Oh but yeah, we I do were see able that. To have, we were told that, obviously, at, at the time, obviously, it was officer discretion on reductions. Yeah. But I, I, from what I understand, was told and was just instructed not to fuck with it. If something's changed, then so be it. That was a long time ago, but I've never used it. But I mean, like back in the day, like when Tess and I went to Academy and we started like our old MDW had the same thing. And that like, it was either you get full time or you pay a higher fine and get less time. There was like no difference. There's like no ifs, ands, or buts about that. So I didn't know like if she, like if Tessa, if you'd be down for like a cuff timer or this option, or like, I don't see who would want to pay more of a fine these days, but like. Um, be down, like to give the option like hey you can either have a cuff timer or you can you know pay a higher fine and get off less time kind of thing which people are always gonna take the cuff timer anyway but. that's something that i'll have to talk to high command about because i can't make that call myself yeah if you wouldn't mind because well so yeah. like uh for for felonies it, it automatically does not let you use the more time for less fine it automatically takes would, the calculator off would you mind um emailing me your thoughts on it so that I could just pass them along and get a detailed response to you. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really have any thoughts. I was just, I just didn't know if we were allowed to use it or not. Listen, I'm a I little cooked. I try to write something up, yeah. Could you just I, write it? I'm cooked. Yeah, I'm, yeah, okay. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> that would be helpful to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm cooked too. Don't worry. I got, yeah, I'll write it up tomorrow. Because if I do it, I'm going to not articulate it the way that you're doing right now. And it's not going to sound right. Yeah, I got you. No worries. 
Okay. I will pass it along um, up the chain and, and see what... Uh, I mean, realistically, the... I'd love to see the cuff timer removed and this be used more often. Yeah. To be, to be quite frank. Well, that's always an option, so... Just, yeah, I'll bring, uh, that, yeah, I'll bring that. I'll, write you know, it that's down. My thoughts. I'll, I'll, I'll write that down and I'll bring it up. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tessa. Mm-hmm. Marco, okay. it's awkward. We can guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I was just, you know, it's good to see you too. I said, yeah. I said hi, Bob. I just want to eat my food. No, no, no. You, you said hi, but you didn't say bye. Thanks for all that. You, you keep it real. No, no, you, you keep it real. I wasn't ready to say bye to Flop yet. That's why I didn't say oh. bye, but whatever. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Was no, that? It's too late now. It's too late. He already said bye. He doesn't want to talk. Damn. Damn. I don't know if the Riz was there or not, Tessa. I don't know. Riz is Riz at the end of the fucking day! I still don't know what that word means. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's the Zoomer term for having, like, game. I think. It's... I, I think I'm you're right. I'm pretty sure that's the direct translation. From, from I, Zoomer to Boomer. Can I be honest? Yeah. That's the dumbest word I've ever heard. Actually, no, the dumbest well, word Riz? I've ever heard was... Yeah. Riz is not the worst. I think the worst probably was the, the, the no cap thing. <laughs> no cap? I still to this... What the fuck does that even mean? And the people started adding to it. No cap on a stack. The fuck does that even mean? It was just like one day I rolled out of bed and everyone was saying no cap and I'm like, what? What? What, what is that? What did I miss? I think we're just getting old. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I think we're just getting old. Oh. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up, engine off, please. All uh, right, my engine's off. Appreciate it. Be with you in just a second. All right, man, yeah, no problem. Dispatch 270, uh, 1038 eastbound occupation have in front of the old courthouse. Rest in peace with a, I have no idea what this is. Purple in color. I think it's an S14. One time's occupied. Hey, bro, I got a quick question. Yeah, what's up, brother? Hey, you got like a dessert or something? I could... Here, let me roll this window down for you. A dessert? You got a dessert or something? Okay, that's a door. I'll tell you what, I'll trade like you. Your, your, your ID, and I'll give you this donut I got. My, I, you got a donut? I got a donut, man. Yes, All right, there you go right there. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mr. Porter. Here's your donut. Let you know, I probably have a warrant. I'm not too sure, though. But All the right. The mask isn't for the warrant. It's just because it's a very stylish mask. Like, you see the cheetah print mask? I'm not gonna lie, it look it looking pretty fly. That's what I'm saying, bro. I got you, I got you. Well, listen, I appreciate your honesty. I'll go I'll go check your stuff, see what's going on. Uh can I ask you a complete Be be completely honest with me. You you're honest with me, I'm honest with you, right? We cool for a sec? Uh, yeah, I'm, li I'm listening. I'm listening. Alright. What's going on with the bullet hole in the in, in the driver's side door? Bullet hole in the drop. It's like a little decal, you know. It's like a little sticker that we put there, cause it's like, see, I'm trying to look, man. I'm trying to act gangster, right? Uh huh. Now, the good way to do that is to look like I get into like serious shit. So I got a, a little like spray paint decal on the side of the door. It's not nearly as bad as the one Tupac had, but his wasn't no decals. Mine's is. I got gotcha. you. All right. I respect it. Is this an S14? What uh? What? What kind of car is this? It should be a uh, S14. I got you. All right, all good. Uh, I'm gonna go run your info. I'll be right back with you. Is is this your vehicle by chance? 
Uh, no, no, it's not. All right, who's uh, whose car is it? I have no idea. <laughs> I was given permission to drive it though. I did, I did get keys. I just had no idea who it is. I promise. Okay. All right, I'll be right back with you. All right, man. Alrighty, Bobby. Um, do you have any weapons on you at this time? Uh, actually, yeah, I got a knife and a hammer. Okay. All right. If you could do me a favor, just for the remainder of the traffic stop, just keeping your hands on the steering wheel, obviously not making any crazy sudden movements. Uh, uh yeah, no I got good news. No, no, you, you, you don't. You don't. Yeah, yeah. No warrant. Uh, but we do have to talk about this car real quick, right? I mean, I, I obviously, you got the car. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight you about it, right? But I'm looking at a couple things, right? You're claiming that you slapped a, a decal on this car, right? Because you're trying to look gangster, yeah. but at the same time, you don't even know who owns the car. So I mean, we, we, we. I mean, yeah, I don't really. You see, my good friend here in the passenger seat, he gave me the keys to it, so he could elaborate more. And, you know, he was really busy playing Flappy Bird on his phone when we put over the stop. So I couldn't like. Hey, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Have to go. We gotta go. Wait, what? Break dispatch 270. Uh, I got a purple and color S14 fleeing. I'm pretty sure I'm ready to BCB on it. North on Street. Driver's gonna be Bobby Porter. Purple and color is a bullet hole on the side of the door. I uh, just left my traffic stop. Last scene, northbound Meteor. Put it turned off on Hawick. No visual. Damn. Guess I'm writing a warrant. I get the uh I get the plate flagged. Who did that plate come back to? Steve Roman? I, I looked okay, up the, the I name. I had the right plate then. I was looking. Yeah. You want to flag it up real quick and I'll write this one yeah, for Bobby? Yeah, I, I will. Okay. Thank you. What should I flag it for? I would just say evading and from 38 or joyriding. I'm going to be hitting him for joyriding. Okay. He told me he didn't own the vehicle. He doesn't know where he got it from, so.
Can you fire flop, please? It makes me angry, right. OC. Well. <laughs> Warren's done. Hey, flop. Yeah. You're fired. For what? I don't need a reason. Actually, this is true. You're hired again. Changed my mind. Oh. Thank you so much, Gay Warden. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I just want to make sure everybody knows that, you know, I can't be told what to do. And if I want to fire someone, I can. And I can also hire them right back. I have all the power. <laughs> also, uh, Oxymoronald, thank you so much for the 12 months. I appreciate you. I mean, you're... You're not wrong. To be fair. Alright, Warren's done. Dispatch 270, all units be advised, Bobby Porter has a warrant. Uh, it's a basic one just for evading and joyriding. Last seen in a purple and color uh, S14, occupied twice. Look, I know. I came down the hill a little bit too fast. Uh -huh. I put my foot, I put a my foot little? down. I put, I put my foot. <laughs> wait, hold on. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Come on, come on. I'm, okay, I'm stopped. Okay. I, you know, come on. Allow I me, mean, you're me. stopping probably because your suspension is right now looking like a fucking spaghetti. But go ahead. You know what? I don't want to speak anymore. You've upset me. If, uh, I'm, I, I, I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. Uh, go I'm, ahead. Go I'm, ahead. I'm, am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Well, if you try and flee, you might be. But you're, that's, you're stopping and complying and having a conversation. So I, was, I mean, that's, that's what I was trying to do. But you interrupted me. Like, I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm just going to brother. Go ahead, I, go just, go I, just, go I just come from the. I just come from. You know, I just come from the bank. It's a stressful day for me right now. I'm, I'm sorry. going through a lot. I'm going, I just broke over my head. It's like the hill. I just, I, it's hard. It's hard day. Did you say that you broke up with your ex? Yeah, it's a hard day for me, man. I'm just a little stressed out. I'm sorry. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by the whole situation. I'm so sorry. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. Well, did you break up with her and she was already your... Like, did you guys get back together? It's like an on and off thing. Like, she's my ex and then she's my girlfriend and then she's my ex and then she's my girlfriend. And it's just really confusing. Homie, there's no hope for you. I should just leave her? Yeah. She's for the streets. I knew it. She's for the streets, my friend. God my damn friend. it! I knew she was for the streets! Oh, the problem is that it. she she's also no, gonna be no, a mangled no, mess no. in front of your car if you're getting air like that in your 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 Mercedes. I need you to slow it the fuck down, my man. Absolutely. I'm so sorry, uh, Rangers. Right. I'm so sorry. Alright. Just 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 slow it down for me, okay? Okay, have a wonderful night. You as well. I'm gonna turn Bye. around real quick and you'll be free to go. Be safe. This motherfucker getting back with his ex. How many times? And he's still emotional? He still has feelings, Tessa. He got problems. He's got to move on. Now, granted, I'm not the, the, the pinnacle of, you know, relationship advice. I may or may not have, I swear to God. I'm not gonna be able to catch up. I'm just saying, I, I may not be the, the, the pinnacle of, you know, relationships. But I'm just saying, if like, you know, if you gotta, if, if you gotta get back together like six times, maybe it just wasn't meant to fucking be.
Flap. Am I fired? No. Oh, yeah. Um, we need to go to Burger Shot. Yeah, that's fine. Apparently, Moose Knuckles has a cow there that I think he may have killed. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't really know what's going on with it, but I think we probably ought to just go take a look. Uh, Lally, thank you for the 14 months. You know, Tessa, if I'm being honest, if there's any, uh, anyone who I can see doing that, it'd probably be Moose Knuckles. Walking. Do you need medical? Do you, do you need me to get you an ambulance? Yeah, I do need an ambulance. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Flop! Oh. Are you okay? No. Well, stop oh trying god. to move around. We are currently at another 52. We will be with you shortly. All right. EMS will be on the way shortly. I have ACDC. All that's, right. Okay. Well, then if you're, you get a spinal injury, more. that's kind of on you. Not anymore. That's what I thought. Oh, oh. Where the hell are you jaywalking? Oh. I even tried to swerve out of your way. Uh, well, and because... you ran into me. Well, see, but I, I usually look both ways before crossing the street, but I didn't notice any police lights coming for me, so I just didn't I didn't realize, you know? You were running to the left, and then I cut right, and then you cut right and ran into me. Wasn't I going right, and then you went left? Wait, which way is right and left again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you gave him brain damage, Flop. Good job. Oh, oh. no! I didn't brain give him damage. brain damage. All I'm saying More. is there's a, crosswalk, there's a crosswalk right here and you decided not to use it. That is true. Also, our lights were on. Um, You were just running in the opposite it. direction. Um, okay, where are they? Moose Knuckles, get back here. I don't know. Oh, Moose, just the, just the individual I was looking to meet. No, you're fine. You're fine, actually. Go, you, you, go to bed. Go to bed. You're fine. Why don't you tell Moose Knuckles that we wanted to just, you know, have a conversation with him? Let him know. Uh, let, Moose let, Knuckles said he'll he come is back going if Tessa brought a, bo a butcher for the cow. No, I haven't brought a butcher. Uh, I no, am, she hasn't brought a butcher. I am intending on documenting whatever happened to the cow. Oh, it's still inside Burger Shot right now. Oh, okay. It's like right inside the front doors. Uh, Moose Knuckles took a big bite out of it, though. How did it die? Um... I, I don't know. Where did it come from? Um... Um... Okay. Never um, mind. What? Uh, I, uh, I. Is this a is this an interrogation? I think you know I what? ought to wait until you get medical attention. I feel fine. Oh, okay. At this time, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Oh, I'm in pain. Oh. Am I getting you medical or not? <laughs> yes, please. Oh. 
Yay from I anyway, Miranda writes. About five seconds well, I have to wait until you get medical. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Was getting and then well, yeah, you could be delirious, concussed, you could have some kind of spinal injury. I can't just question you and have an interrogation while you need medical attention. That's not nice. That's true, you know what? Because then anything you say to me won't be able to be used movie. against you in a court of law. Shit. You also may not understand that you may have the right to an attorney. Mm -hmm. But only if one is available. Oh, Samantha Sanders. Okay, that's perfect. She's my lawyer anyway. <laughs> Arms, thank you for the 57 She's months. Like, she was tired already, like three hours ago. So I'm just going to go take a quick peek. Okay. Yeah, it's in there, right inside the front doors. You won't miss it. We'll, uh, we'll switch out. I can't believe you guys would just run into me like that. I could have died. Well, if you were running around in the street, you wouldn't have got hit. I've been told that the road is more safe to walk into the sidewalks. That's... Whoever that told you that man? is not very smart. Well, is that old guy? I think his name's Hoden or something. And Oh, um... Hoden. Yeah, you don't listen to him at all. Hey, there's a... But I've always been told to respect my elders. Hello! So how could he be wrong? Hi. I'm gonna go My man Scott... Yeah, go for it. I'll stay here with the EMS. My man's got cakes for jaywalking. I hit him. Oh no. What am I gonna find in here? Oh god. Hey! I'm looking at this giant dead cow! Oh, I don't have meat vision, so I can't see it. Oh, okay. I mean, you might be able to see it if you come closer. How come I don't get close to see it? I, uh, I... You know, I, I would love to, but, uh... I... Kinda stuck back here. I'm a trainee, so... Oh. I'm here for the night until I want to go to bed, so, uh... Yeah. I'll, yeah I'm okay. I'm well, um, can I ask you a couple of questions? Mm, no. No? Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, what's up? Where'd the cow come from? Uh. Where did do, the cow do come Do you from? know anything about the cow? Well, I tell you what, Missy. Did she me a couple of rib? Oh, never mind. Did she me a couple of rambling lads come in here with the some sort of reefer van, the reefer truck, you know, refrigerated ones? They dropped off that cow there. That was about it. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I can't keep that up. I'm really tired and drunk right now. Not that I would be doing that on the job. Just that, I was about I, to ask. Um, no. Well, that's not my business Sorry. anyway. But um, yeah. so you saw some people with a refrigerated truck drop off the cow. Uh, yep. They opened the back and it just kind of flopped out. To be honest. Okay, it was already dead then when it came here. Uh, I... fresh meat to the door. Look at that. Yeah, I heard some distant mooing initially, but uh. I think the flooring gave way or something, and, you know, just got the cow. At least it went peacefully, though, you know, under a moving, uh, small semi-truck. Probably got thrown around in the semi-truck and was probably already dead before it, you know, got out, I think. <sighs> What's it? So, yeah, Can you let me go. in the back? Yep. What? Can you let me in the back? I work here. Oh, I can't unlock it. I'm a trainee, too. <laughs> Fuck man, god damn it, Angus, yeah, where is Angus I'm around? Place right now, bitch. <laughs> uh, fuck, is Angus around? Yeah. 
Yeah, sorry I can't help much. I just... A couple of guys... They Wait, sounded pretty you Crystal, circle? thank you for the sub! Can you try poking it? I... It looks pretty dead. It's all carved I mean, yeah, up. but... Well, you want to... Something... Well, I mean, yeah, fair point. I mean... If there Someone rocks, also a took a bite out of it. Explode. Really? Yeah. With uh, if you leave them there like for a day or two and then start throwing rocks at it, the cow could explode. Oh, no, I was talking, no, not that. Just like oh. fuck. I was talking about the bites out of the cow. No, I mean it's already dead, so it's, it's I mean, yeah. It's not like you can just yell it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. It's already dead. Yeah, what's it gonna do? Is tell you to stop? <laughs> it's dead. And that's. Have yeah, an amazing day, miss. Up, Thank you for choosing yeah. burgers. Have a burger tastic day. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Take care out there with that cow thing. Um, what? What are your names? Is there any way you can get it out of here? Or is that... uh, yeah, I'm gonna work on that. Uh, yeah, what what was your name? Oh, mine? Yeah. Uh, it's Wayne. Wayne Freeman. Wayne Freeman? Yeah. Alright. I, mean, I appreciate not... it. Oh, okay. No, I'm just going to take down uh, your you're statement you're is all. I was, I was going to put it in a report. Oh, yes, right. Of course, of course. No yep. problem, no problem. Yes. All right. And uh, your name is? Uh, Lamb. Tesla Lamb. I'm the game warden. Ah, you're the one they were talking about. They said there was a... Yeah. They text, they're texting somebody and there was a truck. Captain something. Mm -hmm. Warden, that's what it is, what you said. Yep. Yeah, I was texting one of them. He admitted to doing some that, stuff, so... He's oh, gonna that be makes in job some easier. trouble. Yeah, that's that's super quick. That's probably the yeah, easiest job you've had all day. Yeah, we'll see, though. Alright, all right, well, you luck, two take uh, care. Good luck with your uh, keys. Yeah, I'll just... I'll, uh, we'll be right back to get this cleaned up, okay? Alright. Just, you know, you can tie it to the back of your car and drag it. Oh. I wonder. I think they brought it here in this truck. Wait, okay. what's happening? Um, Benji might have suffocated his dog at Hayes and is trying to cuff his dog oh, and load it Jesus in the back of his Christ. car. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Love you. Well, we'll be back. Do you need me to go to Hayes? Yeah, I'm gonna have you follow me to Hayes. He's he, he'll have to throw a one. A sprunk cargo truck? Recent uh Could you ask Sanders which way it was headed? Uh be careful if you have Jason Letson near you, he said he's gonna shoot you up with that work. Guys, a complete misunderstanding, man. I don't know. We try to we try to help out this dog, bro. I'm trying my best, man. Fuck. I try to give it CPR and shit like that. Try to give it doggy treats, didn't work. He's still All alive right. though. It was pooping a moment ago. What the hell happened? Oh no. We went. Oh, sorry. What the fuck what? is going on? Where is it? What? I don't see it. I wanted a pet. All right. So, I found one that I fucked with. Then I put it into the van with doggy treats, man. You, Benji. What? You don't, pap you don't papers? It's a wild dog, bro. It's taking care of you, it, man. You, just because I see an alligator in the streets don't mean that I'm going to keep it as a fucking pet because it walked in my car. But what if it, it's a dog? Is it, isn't this the number one way of getting new pets? I think it's a little more complicated, sir. Tessa, I'm gonna stroke out in a second. I I, I need you to it's take a, over it's here. It's a stray dog. Well, did you get it? Uh, did, did, did shots or anything? How do you know it was a stray? Did you get it? It was a stray or a dog, microchip man. or a collar or anything? Motherfucker, look ragged. 
Well, that doesn't mean he's no, he doesn't have a home. Well, if they were, if he had a home, he was getting tortured. He might have been lost. And then you're just stealing somebody's pet. Hey, I doubt it, man. How do you check if it's Chip? Can you check if it's Chip, Flop? You think I just carry a fucking chip reader on me? You think I got an RFID yeah, scanner? Yeah, you're a fucking ranger. Yeah. Hello? Dear God. Isn't that what you're supposed to be doing? You should have to contact the company that has the chip and then and then have that shit, you know, traced back. But it, and then how do the rangers know if something's like a pet then? Well, usually you're provided paperwork with a contract and you sign it with a payment. Yeah, I was going to get that done, bro. Oh, my God. Okay. What happened to the dog? Just, dog? just, just passed out, or what, dog, what's, what's going on? What it passed out. Here, it bro. passed out, bro. Jesus. Look at it, man. Look at it, bro. Give it a shot of morphine, bro. How long have you had the dog? Drug him up. An hour and a half. Is this like, like a, a new record? Chocolate or some shit, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, He's I've, judging. I've, been, I've been taking care of it, bro. <laughs> for fuck's sake. All right, yo. So have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Yo. Right, uh, flop do something actually for well, once. I, I, productive. Uh, what do you mean for once? Covers, for once? I have Alice here. Alice. Here I wish I could see it. A, a, a junior vet. Mm -hmm. It will be yep, able to do more medically than I can. People think dogs before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be fine, man. If it if you guys can't do anything, at least test you us just, here, man. Uh, an actual ranger with an RFID scanner. Mm -hmm. Go? Oh, we don't just have a fucking it's card nice. reader. Uh, I mean, we do Why not? So, what, Alice, you while you uh, oh, while you take, you take a look at the dog, I'm gonna take you know? Tessa aside real quick. Okay. Tessa, come here. Oh, God. The fuck is going on? Um, I don't really know. So, what what was the initial call? He said that he had the dog. That it was in the back of the truck. I think, I think it was trying to. Who called take the, He called me directly. He said he asked if I could save the dog, and apparently Alice got the call too. So we'll have to ask Alice what he said. But he told me that he had the dog, and then he didn't know what the hell was going on. And the dog just passed out. And I asked, "What did you did you leave the dog in the back of the van?" He said, "Maybe." Nobody ran him over or anything like that. He wasn't even supposed to be out of the car. What does it look like? What does the dog look like? Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a Jack Russell, like a, I don't know, like a. Oh, he's definitely a bit Russell. A Jack Russell? Isn't that what they are? Hold on. I'm so bad with dog breeds. Maybe. Sorry, a a a Rottweiler. Flop. What? Flop. What? You are not telling me right now that you just confused Wishbone with the gosh dang Rottweiler. You think I have any fucking idea? I, listen, I know three dog breeds. <laughs> Black Lab, Chocolate Lab, Yellow Lab. That is... Okay. Oh my god. And they're all the same okay. breed. Does the dog have a collar? I just, I, let me check. Or maybe they don't, you know, I thought it was gangsters. They just stopped because of a cop car. What was that private meeting about? That's kind of weird. I'm going to just check uh. the dog real quick for a collar. Oh, what? Not, yo, Tessa, can I talk to you in private for a second? I'm checking uh, the dog for a dog collar, Benji. Is I gonna talk to you for a second, like in private, Benji! about club? Okay. Benji. Yeah. You have maybe something. Yeah, so what's what's going on with Flap, man? Why is he being so weird about everything? Well, from the sound of it, you you heard a dog somehow. Wait, wait, what, what did he talk about with you? Was it like about me? Is he being sus? Yeah. What's it about? He said what, what, what you called him and said you had a dog and you didn't know what was going on with it and then you might have heard it. Okay, are you the one that's trying to get him fired or what? No. What? 
No. Yeah, I made the jump you sure? And I'm his boss. Motherfucker, you think I know? You think I, I need? Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure because like, you know, Come one thing I want to I want to tell you something. All right, Tessa, you know, Flap, right? A couple, I think a month or two ago, you know what he did? What? He told me like he couldn't be nice to us anymore. He said he can he can't be a nice officer. I said why? Because people think I'm actually in a seaside gang. Come on, Tessa, come on. You know he's not part of seaside for real like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with a kid, but he's not a gangster, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'd still well, shoot him if he you know, tried to arrest me and shit like that. You know, I, I'd have to do it. We're getting this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Come on, man. You know, like, it's like, come on. I think he was saying he can't be quite as friendly with you guys. Exactly. Because of your ass, right? Because you were being mean to him and shit, right? What? No. You were like, fuck that Benji guy. Don't talk to Benji no more, Flop. You said that to him, didn't you? No. What? No. Of course not. Okay, okay. Ah, Flop, this is private between me and your high, high, high command. Hello. Benji, is the dog fucking breathing? Was the last time the, the dog was breathing? That's all. The it's dog literally... was breathing. The dog is breathing right now. He literally just pooped. Alice, great news. The dog is breathing. <laughs> Hello. Thank God. Okay. Well, oh my God. I, okay. I don't know what happened with with Flop and, and what he's wanting to do, but, you know, I, I think we're having some issues with officers who are uh, getting a little friendly with gangs. And, you know, I had I had to step back from certain things as well because, you know, I have friends and yeah, I don't want like those biases. Man? I swear to God, you batshit crazy. Also. I heard a lot of shit about you. Excuse me? That's a... I you wanna run that by me you. again, Benji? <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it right now. Of course it doesn't. You know, I mean, like, we all change our life decisions and shit. But, hey, hey, who am I to judge, man? Shit. Hey, shit, shit. You know what I'm saying? Just, just play with you, man. Just play with you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, um, you know, some officers decided that they wanted to kind of Stop you, being so hard. close and rubbing elbows with certain people, and I think that's okay. Uh, I don't think it was anything personal, and I don't think it was anything he was forced to do. Yeah, I know, I know. I think he just he just gets over worried, you know, I to the point you. where like. Oh yeah, for real. I see that in it. Like he gets he gets worried to the point where he doesn't even want me to like like say hi in a nice way or something like that. You know what I mean? Then, what oh. the fuck? I see. I'm like, bro, it's, I, I don't think so he's, go that he's going that deep. Aggressive, does it? You know what I mean? Maybe even. Yeah, like he wants me to be like, hey, when fuck you, flop. What the fuck you talking about, bitch? You know, like, I'm not like that to anybody, man. Unless I really actually hate okay. you, as, you know? Well, I can talk to him. There a report up for this guy? Him, I think, you know, yeah, I think you just need to not worry so much about that shit, man. We know. Yeah. Like, for, for example, like seaside shit like that. We know the limits, man. You know what I'm saying? Even like if a cop was my fucking best friend, I know. He can't give me details about a case or shit like that. You know, I, I know that would just get him fired on the spot. You know what I mean? Well, respectfully. Okay. Um, okay. Gangs and people who hang around them tend to do blatantly illegal things right in fr front of you. Um, That's true. They don't care whether you are on or off duty. Uh. And that puts officers in a really awkward spot. I go off duty a lot. I hang out off duty a lot with a lot of people. And when I see that stuff, I have an obligation to report it. That labels me right away as a snitch or a tattletale or, you know, not, not something good. Um, and that could get That's him true. hurt as well. So probably this was a self-preservation thing. Um... And, you know, he doesn't want to be put in a position where he has to snitch on you because he, he likes you guys. And, you know, being put in that position isn't exactly the best thing. Uh, it doesn't feel good, especially if, you know, he's friends with you guys and likes you guys. He doesn't want to have to be that guy, but he kind of has to. 
I get you. I get you. But that's that's, 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 that's the thing. That's what I, my perspective. At that's least. what I'm saying. I think. I think. Let's let's say for example, right? Let's say you were flop, and then you had to like let's say report a crime that oh Benji's throwing around grenades at people randomly. I'd respect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'd respect that. I wouldn't call, call you a snitch. You're just doing your fucking job, right? Like, the only people that are actual snitches are like Miguel from Hydra. You know what I'm saying? That's how an actual snitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not, not a cop doing their job. You know what I mean? It, it can put you in a weird spot, though, because. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. What the fuck do you keep coming back here for, I'm man? In. What the fuck is going on? We're talking about your bad attitude. Dab and pog, my boy. <laughs> How am I supposed to feel? For what I've, for what I've gathered, Benji, you called me trying to save this dog's life, and I've been told that you threw this thing in the back of what is essentially an all-natural oven and let it bounce around, and then you got here and you it want to know why the dog... It was the nighttime. It was low temperatures. Okay, so you let you let the dog unleash, just running around the back like a little playground on wheels. Exactly. Then I forgot about how gravity works while the car is moving. Forgot. How oh my works god! Is another way. I of put saying a ball no, back gotta, there. Uh, I put no, a ball right back there, and I forgot how, how crazy it would bounce. Maybe it stuck on the ball while it rolled, and he fell. They have Listen, a broken it, neck. How is the dog? How the fuck is the dog dead? I'm not There's saying it's kind of dead. It's your dog. Person. You gotta go tell me if the if thing is fucking dead, Benji. Yet. I don't know. I got EMS over there checking it over. All right, right okay, now it's okay. breathing, but we can't. We, we're, 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 it's, it's, listen, Benji. I don't know what you want from me. Okay. But here's what I'm getting at right now. Where did you? Where did you find the dog? Where did you find the dog? Where did I find the dog? Yeah. Fucking running in the wild. Where? And Sandy. You found it in Sandy and you brought it all the way here in the back of a truck? Yeah, I, it was fucking with me. I fucked you with it. You didn't do that with a cow earlier, did you? No, I didn't do Why would I do that with a cow? I'm Fuck just cow, wondering. Right? Sorry. I already have there? a cow. You have a cow? Yeah, I have a portable cow. I swear to God, Nikes. if you... I... Jesus Christ. Okay. Capital. Oh my God, so it's a very I, nice cow. Thank you. Thank you. This is what I uh, what I what I ride to go around sometimes. I can't get a horse. All right, uh, come over with us. Let's, let's, Excuse let's, me. Remember when, uh, Capital, remember when, when there were problems with the lights. oil and gas? I used to ride the cow around. You better not be riding this cow into war. I've only done that once. I. Oh my God. Oh, I'm telling. I'm telling. Uh, I'm telling Pulley to pet. Jesus. <laughs> Listen, uh -huh. it didn't get hurt though. It didn't get hurt. It didn't get hurt. It didn't get hurt. Trust me. We it's won. the principle of the thing. Okay, I'm never going to do it again. bring a cow to a war. It was, it was a long time ago. Long time ago. I'll never do it again. Please, please. I don't want to lose my dog. Um, you better lose not. Dog. Right. I can't lose my dog. I can't lose my dog. Please, guys. Please, please, please. please. I cannot lose my dog. Let's go. Let's go. Your, your dog. dog. Let's go see what's going on. I'll actually kill everybody if I lose my dog. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Don't <laughs> kill everyone, you psycho. Oh. What, what the fuck happened to the dog? What? What happened? You fucking EMS. No, it wasn't the EMS. The year you killed it! The poor bee! Do I have a gun? You're lucky I don't have a fucking gun. Oh my god. Alice, did you move the dog in the back of the ambulance for further evaluation? Oh yeah, I totally did that. KJ, what's your state ID, KJ? 1604. What's happening right now? Oh, okay. I just forgot. What's the dog, man? <laughs> I don't know. You say the word, Benji. I'm ready. You sure didn't get up and run off? Well, maybe, yeah, maybe he ate, ate the ham. He fucking gave it a piece of ham. That was good. He wasn't waking up. I thought he'd like the smell of food. The you dog mean? only ate halal food, you fuck! What? Oh, he that was all I had in my. Well, you know, Benji, that would have been really good to know before you had a 15-minute sidebar. Yeah, we're, look, we're trying I was doing to, we're trying to figure I this out, serve. Benji. We need, we needed this information, Benji. Well, good job, good job. You were too busy. You were too busy 
sussing out my conversation with Tessa, you let sussing out. an inexperienced vet die. Let the dog die. Yeah, this one Dying? is on you, Flop. This one is on you. Are you it's kidding me? Dead, this sir. one is on you. I'm not getting I gaslit on this. Code. I am not getting gaslit on this. This is no, your fucking I think the dog is fine. You should. The dog you probably got the experience here. You know what I mean? Yeah, the dog probably got up and ran. On the probably. You know, it's nothing probably. You need to have listen. the fact. You know, you're a law man. That's why I walked fact. over to Benji. I asked. I asked all the questions that I needed to ask. And I got nothing. Listen, I wish I'd been able to see the dog. I would have okay, tried to well, revive off, it. But... My monitoring of the junior vet, technically Alice is more qualified than I am to take care of animals. Technically. I actually have no qualifications to medically take care of an animal. Similar to how if an EMS says that you, I got to go to the hospital. Yeah, you should never right. be a ranger, man. Well, what are you doing in that ranger uniform? Man? I thought what you were you... all about the animals, the yeah. wildlife. You know, and you, you, the animals. and you can take care of the wildlife. Like, who the fuck are you then? Take care of. There's a reason why we have a specialty unit specifically. Do you know why I'm not a combat medic? Do you know why I don't go into fucking battle and drag my, my people out? It's yeah, you can revive an NPC dog. dog. Uh, you need to have it's some a little sort spotty. Of knowledge to save um, an animal yes. in the wild. I, I it's a it's a PD a command, when an is and injured, it's basically you spam what if an animal AI is revive, what do you do? and sometimes Listen, they'll come back to I life can? and just start what walking away. No, no, uh, no, no, they no. won't sit there or if anything for you or anything like that, but to try and either resuscitate you can or try talk your way out of this. You know, you're not qualified. Like, you can you also carry animal? them, but it folds them up like a pretzel, and it looks weird. So don't do that. Who is qualified, Alice? Yeah, 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 I fix things. I'm, yeah, I'm going to my job. Mm. Hey, Jay, you're not, you're not going to work your way into this on this one. I'm sorry. Sometimes right, they'll get up and walk this, away. Sometimes mean, they'll kind of just flop around on the ground, and it'll say Listen, that they died of, like, dog's not here. gunshots the or dog's something. Gotten up and yeah. ran. Okay. Not blaming on you. Hmm. You think the dog ran away? It didn't die? It didn't go to doggy heaven? I'm sure it got up and ran. I mean, I mean, I think if it died, we would know. Some of the ham. Maybe yeah. just, like, so if it died, if died it wouldn't like become be a here. dog spirit, right? It's not like he just got mm, banned or no. smacked or anything. I don't know how fast their bodies decompose. Because you see that that mandem guy is still breathing. He's still back there, you see? That one we shot yeah. him a, a, a while mm. ago. What? Oh my god. Yeah, he oh. was trying to hold up the people. In a, uh, let, okay. <laughs> oh. I didn't. I didn't shoot nobody. It wasn't me. You can check me. I'm GSR negative. Well, I hope so. Yeah. You just said you so he, he got aggressive first. He, yo, that guy got aggressive first. For Very real, for real. You can check Very me. GSR too. negative. GSR negative right here. My cow can testify. Oh. <laughs> I'm so. Oh Jesus. Oh. Hello, Thanks. baby. Oh. Your cow just stepped in a pile of shit, but you know. That's, exactly. that's pretty normal that's, for that's cows. Norm. That's no, they that's do that. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, listen. Let me know if you find your dog. Right. Obviously, your dog <laughs> is running around. I'm glad to know your dog is not dead. Alice, thank you for the help. Oh. Check. Oh. Uh, oh. Of course. No, no problem. Please, um, please get the cow. Be out careful. Of the road. Oh. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh. I know he's a oh, cowboy, but go get your cow, right. Benji. Benji. Oh, oh okay, okay, Benji. okay. I'll take care of it. I'll take care. Of it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. All right. Okay. I think here. the dog's okay. Um, so, um he might hmm. come back, but we'll at about figure it out, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Thank you, Alice. Oh God. Get a goddamn grip of that cow! <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck just happened? I think you hurt Benji's feelings. They... Listen. He's sad that you're not friendly to him anymore because you told him you can't hang out or anything. I mean, 
you know, I pretty much, God. I told him that because of, you know, I, I guess more importantly now than ever, I don't want anyone to get the wrong ideas. It, I, there was never anything between me and Benji, but I feel like people in the PD got this weird misconception about me that I was doing something because I was being so friendly with them. I like you worry too much. I think I do. But he said you kind of did a like 180 and you're now just really not friendly with him. You think I can still have he a communication with him? Well, yeah, of course. I don't care. If you, you know, encounter him and you say hello, that's not... No one's going to misconstrue that. I mean, if you even go and hang out with stuff that they do, you, of course, probably have an obligation to report Why stuff that you see. Oh. This is why I, this is why I stepped away. I don't, I don't want to answer this. I'm not his parole officer. I don't, I don't want to answer this. His parole officer's around right now. Is he? Yeah, Barrick. The reason why I did a... I'll call him. Yeah, if you want. The reason why I did a 180 wasn't anything to do with Benji. It was more specifically, I think people got the wrong idea. And then I started getting, uh, and then everything came up with Michael and people got really hairy about I think Erica's that whole thing said, was if, just if hairy, Michael calls no matter you what. because he wants to, oh wait hold on four five eight thirty eight northbound strawberry avenue on blank color muscle car occupied one time huh? I was having a conversation with an officer I apologize hi Michael well the other reason the other times were, were for for I promise you a different reason Calamar said hello. Tessa says hello. Mm hmm. If he's available, uh, we can do the thing. I don't know what Tessa means, but if you're available, we could do the thing. What's the thing, Tessa? He wants to see Akron. Oh. Is he, uh, is he out yet, or...? Yeah, no, he's he's out. Okay. Um, Michael, would you like to see Akron? Okay. Uh, West Eclipse Boulevard Dog Park? I don't know if a dog park is the best idea, but I, I can... See what um, I can do. I don't. Michael, where are you? West Eclipse Boulevard Dog Park? I know there's one. Okay. Up here. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Sorry for missing your call before. I'll see you in a minute. Right, bye -bye. You don't gotta apologize to him. What's that? You don't gotta apologize to him. Yeah, I mean, I, I missed his call. Yeah. I feel like you're coming across overly anxious about it. Well, I know, respectfully, me and Brian don't have the best line of communication. Yeah, you're with me. You're fine. Yeah. I'll handle Brian if he needs to have a discussion. Is this him here? I don't know. 
He said by Dunstable and Greenwich? He's on the bench over there. Let him move. God. At least I think so. Good to be out. So, indeed. Too bad you couldn't be my parole officer, huh? I wish I could give you the details. All I'm going to say uh, is, holy shit! I'm sure I can get the gist of it because of obvious reasons. So, yeah, it's fine. By the way, thank yes. you for the note, asshole. I okay. I'll be there when I'm done here. I am talking to Flop and Tessa. Huh? Oh, that's Benji. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not gonna ask him that. He's upset with me. Yeah, I, I can tell he's upset. Oh, he's being whiny. Tell yeah, him, no. tell him, tell him I'm gonna call him after we're done. I'll explain some things. Try and clear the you, air. You I, don't I'll, need to explain we're... anything to him. Yes, yeah, I'll be there I, soon. I don't. Just stop being a weirdo. Bye. I'm not trying to be a weirdo. Relax. I just want to do... I, I'm high strung. This fucking guy. You are. And that's okay. I have my reasons. I don't want people to get the wrong idea. So what is he upset about? Or something about a dog? He... <laughs> he... Okay, listen. I, I'm, I'm gonna just rip this band-aid off. This motherfucker found a dog in Sandy, lured it into the back of a, a fucking box truck, didn't, like, tie it down to anything, threw a ball in the back, and let this thing sit and spin down the fucking freeway from Sandy all the way to Hayes. And he popped open the back and the dog was incapacitated laying on the ground and he's like, I don't know what happened. Well, motherfucker, respectfully, I'm sure we can figure out exactly oh, what happened. Code four. But I guess he didn't like that answer. So how's it feel being a moderately free man? Moderately free, man. It feels all right. I say Honestly, moderately because you're not exactly free yet. No, not yet. Uh, you know, it's really not that different. Like, I'm not doing much in terms of... Like, I'm not speeding. Like, I, I haven't been speeding for, like, six months, so it's not really that different. The only, the only thing is that I don't have to worry about people and looking over my shoulder. Other than that, I'm, you know... Just hold me. Huh. I mean, respectfully, it's got to be nice to smell actual fresh air and not leftover sweat from Max Sack. A little bit more yeah, walking space. You get to talk to people. I mean, I I feel like those well, are it all. Wasn't even Max Sack. You saw me in that fucking two by two. That that shit was. That was criminal. Yeah. Literally. It's, uh, it's, it is what it is. I'm, I honestly, whatever is going to be on my record, whatever people are going to think, I'm not going to care. Because at the end of the day, it was either that or being fucking locked up in a, in a two by two cell forever. So whatever they think I did, you know, I did it. I agreed to doing it. And I don't know what I did because I haven't received any charges. That's the, that's the other thing. So. Huh. I don't, really? even, I don't really know what I agreed to. Alright. 
Well, yeah. I don't want to get too far into those weeds. Um, because people get no, really touchy about anything relating to that, so. Hmm. It's fine. It's in the past. You know, I moved on. I'm a changed man. So well. far, I have like 85,000 months because of a second degree speeding ticket. <laughs> That's a flex. Well, if anyone asks, you could just run with that. <laughs> that is Why, were right now. <laughs> Why were you in? Why were you in speeding? Yeah. Have you ever had that one, like, girlfriend or boyfriend that just is so needy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that's Benji. All right, so I wanted to talk to you. Uh, how much copium do you have left? I have a couple bottles in the shop. Only a couple bottles? I got, like, uh... Probably about 20, I have to guess. Okay. I know a guy that wants to buy some from you. A lot oh, really? of it, actually. Yeah. Okay. How much we talking? Uh, I don't know. He was talking about like 50. You can get that. I don't know, is, is copium illegal? I'm assuming it's not since you're an officer and you're selling it. Yeah, until something were to change, I don't believe copium's going anywhere. Um, honestly, it's hard for me to get supply, but I could probably, I mean, if, if the person's looking, I could probably get you about 30 bottles. Okay. I can pass that on to him. Let's see what he says. Okay. So, Teza, how has the little shit been treating you? Well, same as always. He's, um, his usual moody self. Do you want right. to see him? Sure. I don't know how he's is going to act. All right. Um, he's been pretty good. I ha I haven't been taking him out since his uh little little escape uh situation because I'm I'm afraid that somebody's going to try and do something to him. Uh. All right. And a lot of the time I, I take him out on patrol with me or anything, we tend to get attacked by people and I, I think it's just because people are afraid of him. Yeah. What? No, I get what you mean. I can go get him. Sure. I feel like this is a decent area. Alright. I don't think there should be any worries. 442 and 10 and um, Flop, do you mind if I run to Beaverbush real quick? That's fine. Okay. I'll be, be here. right back. Don't sound so ominous when you say that. He's nervous. I was joking. I'm messing with Flop so much.
<laughs> it's not a dog, yeah, no, it's a snow leopard. <laughs> Don't worry, he's fine. There he is. Oh, he is happy. Holy shit. Well, he's happy or angry. I don't know. I feel like it's, his, it's, his it is hard to face. tell. Um, yeah. I would say probably more happy. He's doing the little little shuffle with his feet yeah well, he has a tendency to like have one mood it might be multiple but you can't really tell yeah that's fair here boy so what you haven't having that hat that I love I'll try that one again. I have not had him out since... That's, that is a while ago, isn't it? Uh, no, actually, I have had him out. Um, it's just kind of a little bit few and far between. I take him out almost every day uh, at Beaverbush. And he okay. has a little run around. Uh, but for the most part, I don't really patrol with him. Yeah. Me and Damien were going to go... Uh, hang out for a little while he works at Plato pets he had um one of the panthers and we did a little introduction with them and he actually did really well with that uh i was expecting some aggression but he just kind of seemed aloof he didn't really have a a firm reaction either way that's a surprise honestly <laughs> I, it surprised me too. I was not really keen on it, but uh, it worked out. Well, that's good. Uh, maybe he's changed for the better. Maybe I wasn't that good of an owner. Uh, I don't no, know I about like that. I feel like I treated him right. You know, let him do his thing, gave him food, let him. All other animals. <laughs> well, sometimes yeah. changing the environment for an animal in the capacity such as Akron is could be looked at as good. Um, a, a, a change of pace out of a typical comfort zone yeah. could change daily habits. So, I wouldn't. I wouldn't reflect that on yourself. It could just be. Nice the way he needed to grow out of his environment to be more comfortable in his environment yeah he mauled the vet and a groomer and one innocent bystander um it's not too bad in well he was in my care at least um when he was out on his own i have a feeling he mauled quite a few more but you know i i can't control that no that's out of your hands 
Has he been? Yeah. He hasn't tried to escape recently, has he? No, he hasn't, which is good. He might have overheard your, uh... Your brother say he's gonna make him a rug if he did it again. My brother touches him. And make him yeah, well, I told him I'd do it myself if he did anything to him, so... Yeah. I think he got the message, but... Well, he has this fucking... He has this fucking dog uh, called Michael Holdings, which is not awkward oh, at all. He did also I'm attack Sai. Uh, oh, that was provoked, okay. though. That's that's yeah. wait, Akron did? Yeah. That's upsetting. Akron didn't finish the job. Well, I can I can ask Sai to come here. <laughs> no. I don't know oh, if they actually, need a, a rematch. I don't know. I'm. Actually, no, because Sai is going to do something stupid and I'm going to get in trouble. I don't want that. Yeah, I was going to say, yep. calling Sai here would be a good gateway to parole violation. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. If he did anything, I probably shoot him myself, so he wouldn't have to do anything. Yeah, fair. Well, it's not so much that. Like, it's the people being around. Like, I'm just worried that somebody's going to do some stupid shit and it's going to fall back on yeah. somehow. Yeah. It's the same conversation I was having with Benji earlier. A lot of uh, police can no longer be friendly with any criminals because people tend to do blatantly illegal things right in front of you, and if you don't report it, you get in trouble. Yeah. So. That's why, like, I tell people to leave their stupid shit. Like behind them, if I straighten their pulling somewhere. on me severely, they were going in opposite lanes, continuing Are they, uh, if plus if or they have anything plus illegal, plus leave it behind. I'm not so sure what your goal is. Because you plus. know, people, everyone has a fucking illegal gun or some shit. Yep. I don't know, most, most people understand, especially when they know what's under line, so. But I talked to Snow about it as well. Like, I'm worried if somebody tries something, but he said I should just trust the system. And if it comes to it, if I didn't do anything wrong, I shouldn't get charged. Which I can, I guess, cross my fingers that is the case. Sorry, there's something weird going on over there. Oh boy, we get company. Wait, who's that? I'm not sure. Oh, I know. It is right I know who it is, just based on his walk. I think I saw the car yesterday. Here's one. Yes. Good morning. Hi. You said half an hour. Good morning. How's it going? Oh, Tessa. Going? I, I can't even look good that? as always. Thank you. Minutes. Wait, do I? Oh my fucking god. Whose animal is that? Uh, well, it's his, but it's right, under my right, care for right, right now. Five minutes. Okay. Bye bye. like some. Oh, all right. Well, apparently somebody yeah. is gonna. We couldn't do it while he was in uh, Bolingbroke, so I figured since he's out, yeah, might as well. Yeah. I am probably going to have to run to the observatory. Apparently, somebody's going to propose. Oh. So I oh. Need to something is it? Up. Is it finally happening? I I don't know. I don't know who it is. Probably Mari and KJ. Mari just showed me the wedding band the other. Then Actually, you didn't hear be. that from me. You don't know shit. I don't know if I should be saying that. Well, I'm probably going to go up there now and, and, and do that. So, um, All right. If you guys are going to stay, I can always call you when I'm done. Yeah. Uh, or I can do the thing. <laughs> you guys think they're not getting it because she's like, might not be the best idea. that's okay. They might notice, but I'll, they might not I'll say anything. Benji. I know it's Benji. One day he hates you. The next, he's, it's like he forgot it ever happened. 
I know like Rhodes he, knows what that word means. I, it's like he doesn't remember the one time he pipe bombed me over a, an A class shafter. I'll never forget that one. I hope you petty the ever living shit out of him for that one. Um, now nah, he sort of did it on his own because there was another person in my car that was part of his gang. Oh, he's a fucking moron. He is a moron. But it's Benji. What do you expect? Yeah, no, I, I expect nothing less. Mm hmm. All right, I will, uh, we can figure out some stuff, Tessa. I don't plan on taking him away from you. Honestly, I feel like he's in good care with you. Okay. If anything, we can always set up some meetings. I know, I know Flossie wants him back, but I, I don't feel like, I don't know. I don't feel like we have the facility to take care of him, you know? Well... I'm more than happy to have him come and see you guys anytime. Uh, and you know, she has had access to him this whole time. Uh, yeah, anytime she wants to, to, really. Yeah. So, whatever you guys want to do, um, I'm, I'm good with it. I do right. love having him. He is, you know, he's cantankerous, but I appreciate him for it. So, whatever, um... Whatever comes, comes. I'm, I'm good with it. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll figure something out. I'll think about it. I, but at the end of the day, I feel like he's in, he's in a good place right now, so. I right. do uh, love him. I'm glad that is the case. I will go up there and I'll give you a call when I'm done. Flop. If you guys are still here, I'll come back then. Sounds good. All right. I appreciate your time and I'll be seeing you guys in a bit. Yeah, not a problem. All right. That cat. He's a good looks... cat. He's an asshole, but he's a good cat. An asshole in what way? In what... In what... Ooh, ooh. Uh, uh, good kitty. Uh, good kitty. Probably in that way, actually. Um, okay, okay. He's... Um, sit. <laughs> I don't think for... it's... A... Uh, okay. I... <clears throat> uh, Come here. Uh... Come here. Stop being I a brat. I know what the problem is. Quit it. Do you have any food oh, okay. on you? I do have food. Okay, that might be it. Come here, Stinky. You got any meat? Mac, could yeah, you do me a favor? Sandwich. And please close in the circle. This is killing me. I feel like I'm yelling across the damn robe. Here we are. Thank you. Can I ask, who's, whose idea was it to meet here? Uh, it was Michaels. his. I figured a public park is uh, probably a good place. Very interesting because yesterday I had a uh, at least an hour long conversation with, with someone here and he did show up uh, briefly, but he showed up for a bit. Huh. I haven't spoken to that man since he shot a sniper at me. And now I've seen him two days in a row at the same spot. Spooky. How is everyone? Oh, I'm great. I need back surgery. Huh? Yeah. What happened? Well, you remember when I got ocean dumped uh, about a mm -hmm. month and a half ago? Uh, they damaged my spine. And then, while I was in recovery, I did get hit by a car. Uh, oh, no. And it really set me back. So, I have a very compressed spine. And Pillbot said that I need surgery. So, within the next week, uh, hopefully by the end of the week, I might be able to get it done. Okay, do you know how long the recovery time for, for something like that is? I I don't really know, but I've been injured for a very long time, and I've been on pretty strong painkillers, and they don't want to keep prescribing them. So that's why I think surgery is the best option. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Okay. Um, and Flop, how are you? It's been never. a little while since I've seen you. Yeah. I uh, never been better. Never never been 
N n <sighs> Speak your mind, Flop. Ziggy's fucking dead, okay? I haven't seen oh that motherfucker in a He's goddamn not month. Dead. He's dead. Okay, okay, let me ask you this. <laughs> Are all of the cars in the garage at home? Yes. Okay, then he's fine. He's fine. He hasn't paid his ass if he's... Okay, but maybe he's acknowledged that he's not a good driver and it's safer for him to not drive. You could absolutely say that again, but he hasn't been home. I don't know where the hell he's been. He claims that he's at home all the time. I don't see him at home. You see him at home? Have you checked the basement? I don't know. That place came with a basement. What? I don't know. I only stay by the fireplace and the TV. So you're telling me you don't stray from the TV and fireplace and you expect to find Ziggy? Well, I go to my bedroom where, you know, the master is where, I don't know, is I would there, expect him to be. Is there a room in which he could potentially be playing car crash simulator? I mean, I, I, I checked the beach house. I checked, I checked my office. I checked my apartment. I checked my emporium. I don't know. I'm just saying... I saw him not that long ago. So he's not dead. He's not dead, Flop. He's not dead. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Also, we do need to find him, though, because we need to schedule, at minimum, a triple date. If you can make that happen... Maybe a quadruple date, if, if Tessa would like to would like to come <coughs> it would what um so here's the thing what uh okay go ahead me and kiki broke up Oh. Okay. It was a little while ago. Well, you are still more than welcome to show up. Respectfully, I think I'd rather not, but thank you. Okay. Well, you know, you're always you're always welcome. You know, that's that I, that invitation is not going to go away. I'm sorry. Um, I don't mean to make that weird. I just thought you should know. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, we... Myself and Richard had a, a double date with uh, Etta and Beric. And I'm just saying, I think, you know, going out for lunch, me, Richard, you, Ziggy, Etta, Beric, I think that'd be wonderful. I think that'd be a great time. We do need to find Ziggy, though. I, yeah. We do need to find Ziggy. Listen, there's other means I'm of contacting him. I'm just saying there's an axe by Flop's bed, and I'm not accusing him of anything, but I think that we might need to check him out. There's no blood on that axe. I don't know. When was it, your last There was bleach tissues purchase? next to it. My last what purchase? Bleach. Two months ago? Give or take? Eh. Okay, all right. That's I don't, I don't use normal. bleach often, though. I mean, I kind of buy it. It kind of just sits. I'm not a big, like, uh, you know, I don't really go for the bleach very often. Okay. When was the last okay. time you saw Ziggy? I saw Ziggy? Um... Oh, if there's something I've learned from Among Us, if someone has to ask the question back, they're guilty. What? Yeah. Or if they okay. say what? Yeah, there's guilty. a okay. sign of deception. Okay. Are, are we going here? This is oh, coming from the... Where's Ziggy? I don't know, but I can say this is coming from the same motherfucker, by the way, who turned around and said, yo... Flop, suspicious as fuck. I saw him vent. We got to get rid of him. And then admitted after. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't even see you vent. We just had to get rid of you. Yeah. 
It's part of the game. I will never forget that as the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, biggest man. form of betrayal. Jesus. Um, I miss playing Among Us. That could come back, I'm just saying. Well, you know, I might see Maybe. event again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Anyway, oh, we 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 do we do need to we do need to find Ziggy. Uh, we could work on that. Besides that, though, uh, outside of that, I've been I've been okay. Little little wired is of I guess unironically a lot of the a lot of the 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 Michael stuff actually unironically. The Michaels, what? In, in regards well, to what when he was in he ch he kept trying to contact me and we kept being told that we're not allowed to have any yeah. sort, of, sort of communication and i had a problem getting through with anybody um then he wanted me to be his parole officer and i didn't know how to respond because i couldn't get a response from anyone in command or to brian uh and did you was... ever hear back from brian by the way yeah i had forwarded him a pretty extensive email explaining the issue and the day, pretty much the hour that I contacted him was the same hour that apparently on the docket, it was confirmed that Barrick would be his parole officer, which completely negated uh, any issue. I have Snow calling me. Excuse me for a there second. You go. Hey, what's up, Snow? I'm yeah, we were just stressing a bit about it because... Uh, he didn't want people thinking anything of him having contact with Michael and uh, actually, uh, a good time. Let me... uh Tessa Matt I'm gonna step just to the side for a okay. minute. Yeah, that's fine. What's going on? And I certainly didn't want anyone thinking anything weird on account of the cat. Um yeah. so I had to stay pretty far away from that whole investigation. And when when he was actually in MaxSec uh, he'd wanted me to come down, and I, I contacted Brian asking if I could, and, uh, cause I didn't want to step on toes, and, you know, Brian told me it was a Senate thing, so I didn't want to touch that with the ten-foot pole, so I stayed away, um, but, you know, I'm not gonna get between somebody and their pet, so, that's just the way I'm, I operate, and if he wanted to see him once he was out, I was good with that. That makes sense. I, I don't think that's unreasonable at all. And I figured it would be a perfect time because Flop was with me too, so we both had our own little, you know, comfort that we weren't doing anything we shouldn't be. We didn't talk to him about the case or anything either. So, um, so even though he's, I, I'm confused, when he's out? He's, he's on parole right now. Okay. And is there any, any, or were you referring to when he was still in prison? Yeah, he yeah, when he out? was okay. in, like, the max, like, no contact, no one can go near him kind of thing. But he was able to contact, you know, a couple people. And I think Flop was one of the people he reached out to. Because Flop was around. And he's been kind of one of the higher rank people in this shift. Uh, I, honestly, I don't really know why he contacted Flop. That was just my assumption. That is, uh, interesting to say the least. You know what's But crazy? I know Flop didn't want it, so... I but... couldn't tell you the reason for that man's terrorism charge. I've never looked into it. I've had so little involvement that if someone were to have a gun to my head and said, tell me why he got charged with terrorism, I would have to lie and say something and probably just argue medical neutrality or something or breaking medical neutrality or something because I have no idea what he actually did
Is that bad? I... I'll be honest. I don't think so, because personally, I don't really know either. That timing was like movie script. That was incredible. Huh? I think I did know at one point, Matt, and it's been so long and there's been so much that happened between then and now that I just, I don't even really care. I think that's bad. I don't think so. Sorry to butt in. Apologies. That's Stop. okay. No, no, you're good. You're good. And so what was... Again. God. Oh. He said it would call me back and I know it was going to be that quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Continue. Uh, I'm kind of... I'm kind of in line. Because... I know he hurt a lot of people. That's, that's, I think, the more important part to me, is that, you know, he, he hurt Winston, he hurt Bundy, he hurt, uh, I think Pond? Is it Pond? I can't remember. Hmm. He did try to shoot me. Yeah. He never did that with me. But then again, I did have his cat. Uh. Oh, is that Libby? Hello! Hey guys, how are you doing? Come on in. I'm doing okay, how are you? I'm good. What you up to, Libby? He just came to say hello. I saw you guys chilling here. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, I don't it's all know. Right. Um, I was here yesterday. Uh, it's not really complicated. It's just I think we're going over like. Okay, Libby, let me ask you this. If I ask you right now the reason for Michael Simone's terrorism charge, would you know what it was? Um, no. Exactly. How is it that every single one of us couldn't tell or let anyone know what Simone's terrorism charge was about? Did we just have so little involvement or did this, just, did this happen? I think so. Outside of when we were normally around? It, it, it's it more like The only yeah. thing I knew about was the transport. And like, I mean, a gaggle of people to help break him out of the transport after he had the terrorism charge. That's all I know about. I, I know, like, I, I, I don't know what he actually did, like, what actionable thing he did to result in a terrorism charge. And I actually think that's crazy, given how big his case was. Well, I'm sure there is a lot of reasons, but I don't really care to dig into it, to be honest with you. Me neither. It's been so long. I feel like I knew at one point, and I just can't remember the, the initial thing that kicked it off. And genuinely, I have no idea. Oh, wait! I think I just found it in the MTW, but I could be wrong. I'll be honest. What's the reason? I don't, I don't know if I care to know. <laughs> you know what? I think you're right. I think it's better to stay in the dark. I actually think it's better to stay in the dark. I think I'm good. And I think I think the reason is that I don't. I find it hard to entertain a friendship or relationship or anything really with someone who has like knowingly and intentionally done some really bad things and as a result of that 
I don't know. I had a decent conversation with him yesterday. You know, it's not like there's any bad blood between us. Outside of the fact that he shot at me with the sniper. Um, and is that something I want to hold over him forever? But if I knew what he did, I, I would probably be a little more hesitant. Well, I will so. say he did actually shoot a lot of people with the sniper, so... Yeah... He did do a lot of stuff, he didn't just shoot at people, so I, I do know that much. I know a lot of friends that got hurt because of him. So, I wouldn't go as far as to say I think he's a good guy. Uh, at all. Just because he hasn't done anything to me, uh, I think there's a very pointed reason why. True. Um. Oh, gosh. It, he's oh, very easy to, to talk to, things. which is weird. But isn't that... Isn't that what someone who has... I don't want to say bad intentions, but like... Isn't that what people do to sort of disarm you? And yeah. Like let your guard down? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? He may have changed. But to be honest, I... There's a very small part of me, very small, that thinks some people can change. Um, and that's sort of just because of what we deal with on the day to day. Um, and very few people actually change. That said, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want to assume he's going to be a bad person again. Unless I have reason to think he would. I guess only time will tell with that. Yeah. Definitely only time will tell. He's, I mean, he's obviously been given an opportunity, so we'll see. You know what's crazy? When, when I got shot at by that sniper, it was during a situation in which uh, PD were given laptops. Uh, so we were pinged to a location. We arrived. Um, there is a vehicle sort of out in the open, which was suspicious. We checked for car bombs, didn't, didn't detect anything. We opened the trunk, and within the trunk there were these laptops to practice um, the defusal of bombs and so we take that out you know we sort of start to investigate the vehicle a little further uh try to check if it's owned by anyone uh if it has a fake plate you know all that stuff um didn't come up with much and uh, i'm not gonna lie i may i may have poked the bear i'm but it was only after i don't i, I can't remember it was so long ago I can't remember if the car exploded and then I took cover behind another vehicle and then I got shot at or if I got shot at and then the car exploded. I may have taunted him though at that point. Maybe I'm not sure. I, I'm not. Who did you allegedly taunt? Simone. Oh, okay. It was a while ago. New yeah. year, new me. <laughs> Everything uh, good, Flo? Yeah, I just had a really nice conversation. Apparently, uh, Brian forwarded the email over to Snow, and he wanted to talk to me about it. And he just mended over a lot of the concerns I had and laid them to rest. So that was that was actually a really nice uh, phone call. What? Also, hi, Chief. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm all right. Reminiscing. 
<laughs> All right, go mine. I think that's kind of what we were doing too. Um, I mean, it's kind of what I did yesterday when I was here. I don't know what it is about this spot. Um, there are others. When I say others, I mean like general landscape, uh, like the dog park just north of here, and it's off of like North Sheldon. I would say it's kind of similar, but it's out of the way and almost too quiet. What is the schedule? To where uh, we had a late like, start today. We were supposed to do some stuff with um, here where Christopher Yee, Chris Tombstone, and, and Jenny Bear, west of Cliffs, but we and, and have had technical difficulties, you and we we're going to play the Outlast Trials. I don't know. I don't know what it is about um, so we decided to it's reschedule once and also when uh, I'm having a Christopher gets that sorted. Right Police cars parked but, exactly where they are uh, right there. I am trying to start. meet earlier with my streams. I, I was going to a and, call and wake up at a better haze, time in the like day. Like a week or two like ago, there is sunlight. I say a week or two. Sorry, it was probably more like three weeks ago. So this is a, a little abnormal. We had to go up into the Vinewood Hills to help somebody because uh, their house was for whatever reason on lockdown. And it shouldn't have been. We drove by Co Twos and this guy was holding a box. He goes, "You want a box?" I'm like, "Man, I don't got tired for this right now. I need you to put all these box. Just leave the car." Just put the box, just leave the fucking car and get out of here. We were like shooing this guy away. He only had the one box, but same spot. He just, he saw, he, he literally saw the cop car and asked if he wanted a box. Tessa, I'm going to ask a really dumb question and I need you to forgive me in advance. Okay. Why can't I unsee the tail of a raccoon on this cat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, I can tell you why. <clears throat> it's the only pattern that's different on the tail versus the rest of the cat. Yeah, but why is that the case? Why is the tail a different pattern? Why are you judging them? I don't know. Like, camouflage. Because so i i've always uh if you've ever watched um like the animal thingy whatever shows they are they always mention how like the the pattern on the back side of their ears is to sort of give the perception that they've got sort of eyes i guess facing that way uh so that people don't or animals don't think that they can just easily you know, attack a big cat like this, right? But like, the tail. I don't get that part. Well, um, I'll be honest, I don't really know, but I do know that their environment is, uh, mountains. So they are typically against like rocky cliffs or things like that. And in order for their prey to not be able to make out their shape, that's why they have the spots. Ah, it breaks okay, up their, sense. it breaks up their silhouette. So they, they're not as easily noticed. I don't know why the tail would be banded, whereas the, you know, body is spotted, but I'm sure there is some reason evolutionarily that kind of explains that. Yeah, that, that does make sense. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like the squirrel, you know? Is... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, if you look at the back of his ears, too, that's pretty common on big cats. Uh, the, the spots kind of are, are meant to, like, misguide anything that might be looking at it from behind. So that it looks like the animal's facing the other way. That makes sense. I, that is something I knew from, um, 
I don't know, when I was a lot younger, like there being animal shows and I'm always discussing the ears of big cats and how it's intended to give the perception that they sort of have eyes behind their heads so that mm -hmm. they're less likely to be attacked by animals thinking that, you know, they're distracted. But, uh, wait, what's the cat's name? Acheron. Acheron? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Did, uh, did Simone name it? Yeah. I don't really know the significance, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, don't even think about it. Oh, oh, hey! hey! Why, Why me? What a... What a... Oh, hey. oh, oh, nice. Oh my god, I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, Lippy! Oh god. Get oh, out of here, you! Sir, you need to stop. Oh! Oh! That's our chief. Where the hell did they come from? Uh... You were saying stuff, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" I was not paying attention. All of a sudden, I, I, I'm, I'm so. I'm so <laughs> it was Simone. Hawk and Little. They came out of that jeep. They're both wearing that. So what were you saying about the spot being oddly peaceful? That was <laughs> weird. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Listen, I've seen I've seen locals get like angry. That was next level. No, you can't eat them. You can't eat them. No, come on. I don't. I know you want to. Oh, come on! It'd be a waste. Insensitive. I'm sorry. I'm so. I'm sorry. No, no, no. What was insensitive was when we were talking about how Akron attacked Cy Carter, and I said I'm upset. And everyone was confused, and I said, I'm upset because Akron didn't finish the job. That's <laughs> insensitive. Oh, go. Oh. Ooh, okay. All right. What? <laughs> Listen, uh... I bought that man's gun in poor him. He's still mad at me, and as far as I'm aware, he still wants to kill me. He's got no you... rewards for my life. Why should I have rewards for his? Why don't you sell it to him for way more than you bought it for? I tried. Oh, so he doesn't want it. He apparently he doesn't want it, but apparently, according to him, he still uses it for his deals, which I've never caught him there, but I've seen him talking with people in the parking lot. So I don't know. That's so weird. He like, oh. he like is inspired I've to be around him, but doesn't want to own it. do that like that before. All I'm saying is my name's on the billboard. <laughs> well, I was expecting them to go after Akron, You need to but... take a picture of the billboard and text it to him. Say this could be yours for... 1.5 dollars. I paid that for a mill. I bought that thing for a mill. An investment. Worst investment I ever made. I'll never make my money back. But hey, who knows? Not until you sell it. Hopefully to him. Wait, why don't you just sell it to someone else? Who else would want it? Anyone who wants to forehead forehead has sold me an rpg before i'm sure he would love the gun emporium you know honestly <laughs> damn he probably do good things with that gun emporium i'll be honest i'm, I'm telling you you know most I, times when he's selling guns he just grabs a box truck and pulls it into the alley that we run through to mission rail from the bus station i mean he knows where, he knows where to find business that's 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 what that's what matters 
Have you considered calling Forehead? Do you need his number? Oh, Forehead and I are good friends. Oh, good. good. We're good. For a I might. I have to talk to, to Bundy first, though, because Bundy uh, and I went halfsies on it. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But. All right. I am probably going to go assist with the plus plus. Yeah. Um, we got to get him back. All right. Uh, here we are. Anyone hungry? I got food. You know, actually, I would not mind a little something to eat. All right. Is Akron hungry? Oh, my God. It was donuts and fries. Come on. Thank you. I'm going to leave with the steak sandwich before I become the sandwich. <laughs> now you come here. I'll get you your food. Come on. Pop, we gotta get to Beaver Bush. She's hungry. Yeah, well, we're about to become lunch. So I if you don't lunch. hurry up, he'll well, become you lunch. From Ziggy when he's gonna be around, we can try to schedule around that. I will let him know and try and get in touch with him so that hopefully we can make something happen. Come on, get in here. Call me if you need anything. Will do. What happened? I'm mad. What? He's so talkative. I mean, he's I could normally get... like that. I'm just saying, ever since, uh, listen, I mean this in the most respectful way possible. But ever since he, uh, you know, hasn't had as stressful of a job, he's become relatively more available. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine that. Slow down! How much you want to bet a house robber is going to pop off up here? I give it... I give a, a few minutes. This is behind us. Hey! Hey! Back off! Stop tailgating us. So you feel better about the small stuff? You good? Yeah. Um, Snow was very genuine. And he pretty much said that, you know, the Senate was getting involved. And when you distance yourself, you did it at a good time. Because when the Senate gets involved, it, you know, you never really know. Yeah. He said, but outside of that, you know, as far as Snow's concerned, he did his time. And now he's a free man. He said, at this point, if he talks to anyone, he talks to anyone. But if you ever have any questions or concerns, let me know. I never, uh, I I'll, I'll never see you any differently, essentially, is what he said for having the communication if he ever reaches out. Yeah. So. And I, I am in the same boat. I think that, you know, if he reaches out to you or whatever, that's fine. Um, you know, he's, he's going to be on parole and, and even once he's off parole, if you have contact with him at all, I don't think it's right for anyone to say, you know, uh, there's an issue or, you know, you can't ever speak to him ever. Um, I would probably advise against becoming his best buddy. Uh, yeah, that's probably not a good idea, but that's your prerogative at the same time. Just like with Benji, you know, oh, come here. Hold on. Heck, run. Where did he go? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Flop. I 
think he got a splinter in his paw. Can you get it out? That's a... That's a relatively big splinter. Hold on. He's not gonna, like... Hold on. No, no, certainly not. Let's see what I can do here. Alright, I'm just gonna... There we go. Perfect. You good, buddy? All right. Oh, I don't know. I can't tell if that's good or bad. I don't he's think he liked it. I, back I mean, away slowly. Back away what? slowly. Slowly Maybe back away. Maybe he won't do the stairs again, Tessa. I'm there. Is he skittish around the stairs now? Nah, I don't know. I'm gonna put him away. Okay. But yeah, uh... Just like Benji and everything, you know, you don't have to shun people. You don't have to be, uh, you don't have to remove people from your life. Um, simply because they are criminals. I think if that was the expectation for all police, uh, we would not have very many friends anywhere. Um, yeah. so, your mileage may vary with certain individuals, but, uh, just be careful with what you're doing, and if it comes time where you have to pick a side, just to make sure that it is the correct side. Um. It's been. It's always been. Yeah, it, and. It, it, it was, I, it was more with the Michael affiliation and. Yeah. I, I personally I think got a little... deal with that a lot. Uh, I have a lot of friends um, in, you know, not not the best of groups. And, you know, the, the clowns, I, I struggle with a bit as well. You know, and they tend to be a little bit bad um, when they're dealing with other people. But when they deal with me, they are typically a lot more well-behaved. Uh, and it's because I have a rapport with them. I don't have to stop having my rapport with them, but if they do get into something, I have to throw my friendship with them on the wayside. Because other police come first. Other civilians come first. If they're doing something illegal, you know, I have to do my job. And that's, that is it, essentially. Um, if they do something they illegal while I'm off duty, in front of me, I do feel an obligation to, at the very least, report it. And then it's on whatever officer I report it to, to carry out whatever they need to. Yeah. And I think Benji knows that. I think everybody in Seaside knows that at this point. He I've does. I've been very clear about that. And I know that... I, I know as... Dumb as Benji is at times, respectfully, um, the guy's still smart. And we've had that mutual understanding. And he's always said that he knows. He literally texted me the other day because I, I, uh, I was kind of. I was kind of. Sort of distancing myself, but he said. He said, who the fuck is checking your texts anyways? You've never helped us in anything illegal. In fact, you have arrested us more than any other cops, numb nuts. So I, 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 I think <laughs> respectfully, that was also in all caps. Yeah. Um, I pretty much told him, I'm like, listen, 
with everything going on it's nothing personal but at the same time you know if if, if i'm if i'm you know understand why i am stepping back on maybe our our our, our communication and he I, I didn't give him details i just told him to to understand the situation essentially just just kind of read what's been going on recently and that was his text on the follow-up so he uh he knows and i know that everyone else in seaside knows and i just hope that as long as people understand it and understand who i am and know that i will always keep the job first that hopefully my personal communications don't obviously put my integrity as an officer on the wayside i've never done yeah. it i never want to and i'm hoping that people see it that way and hopefully don't change your opinion on me for that well i think you're doing fine i appreciate but that i think i'm gonna head to sleep so you have a good one and Thank i'll you. see you tomorrow all right possibly i don't know if you're gonna be around i will be all right awesome well you go get some sleep i will talk to you tomorrow then and we'll uh yeah we'll link up feel free to use the charger um and if someone tells you to put it away put it away understood as usual absolutely you got my word all right all righty well you go get some sleep i'll talk to you soon all right it was good talking okay. today good ride thanks flop goodbye not a, not a prop, sana coming in with the tier three 50 months welcome back glad you enjoy getting scammed once again Oh, man, chat. I'm gonna get out of here. It is late. Late as heck. Actually, later than I thought it was gonna get to tonight, but... You know, I wanted to make up for the schedule, so... Tomorrow, uh, should be a more early stream. We will see how things go. Uh, got a... Sounds like a driving test tomorrow with some interesting characters so didn't do a whole lot of police stuff today but that's okay we'll uh we'll get out there that was important we needed to meet up with michael All right, let's see. I hope that you guys stay safe and that you are kind to yourselves and one another. Is uh, Curvy live? I think he is. All right, I'm gonna send you guys off to Curvy, show him some love. I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.